is up everybody welcome back to the city life project youtube channel for yet another live fight companion today we've got octagon 53 and i believe the first prelim one or two of their prelims is going to be free on youtube but then you can watch it on the zone or ok mma tv we're about what two a minute and a half into this first round here this first free featherweight prelim and it's already a banger man it's already a banger. Zarabi up against about Falaski. What's up, Kick Ass McGrass? What's up, Matt Art? <laughs> I already did my business today, Matt Art. Dangerous submission threat. What's up, Activate A? Good to see you, buddy. I know he's got Zarabi. I've also got Zarabi for this one. Hawk from home is here. What's going on, everybody? Good morning. A great day of fights ahead. Full day of Octagon. Then some UFC. Then we have some RWS Japan. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. It's going to be amazing. But Flosky now looking for the takedown here. And good reversal by Zarabi right into side control. Oh, uh, actually, half guard here. My mistake. Oh, yes. Yesterday was one of the... the one of the few days... That have actually just like indulged on food and only went on a small run, didn't go to the gym. So I was full most of the day yesterday. It's time we are live. And I got a new toque. I'm pumped. Shout out to my friends at Wago Golf. All those funky hats. I should it's like I don't have the best lighting in here. I have lights that just like stare right down at me that are nice and bright. I gotta dim them. Too bright, but anyways, shout out to Waggle Golf. All those funky hats and winter hats that I wear from Waggle Golf. Um, they have sweet drops all the time. It, it, my, one of our friends owns the company, so like again, this, they ain't paying me to say this. But uh, here's the website if you like their stuff, if you're into business casual gear or, or golf gear, um, that's the website. And I do have a promo code, it's 10% off one time. So if you if you are going to buy some shit, you might as well use it. Um, and it's it's 10% off. But anyways, yeah. Shout out to my friends at Waggle. Yo, what's up, Phony? Good morning. Happy Saturday. Yeah, a little octagon. Does anybody check the schedules, bruh? <laughs> Schedule is on the community tab. And for those in the Discord, it's also on the on the Discord. Let me some oct octagon lives going. Yeah, me too. Me too. Dude, Octa er, uh, Waggle's awesome. I don't even golf, but like... You know, I wear their shirts for like business casual shit, and I love their hats with the funky logos. We uh we work with them on my podcast side, the Soda Pod. Is there every guess now to think? Yeah, final uh, fifteen seconds. I might be a little bit behind you guys. Final fifteen seconds of no ten seconds now of this first round, but honestly, but Flosky's been able to fight at a pretty good pace here. I forgot to look at the schedule. Fair enough, fair enough. I just tease Herbo about that because Herbo, Herbo's been a subscriber since I think like right when we hit 1,000. Bro still doesn't look at the schedule. Yeah, I'm calling you out, Herbo. I just think all judges got a 10-9 Zerabi. Zerabi 10-9, okay. Yeah, they just started it like two cards ago. I, I really like it personally. I really like it. <clears throat> Alright guys, round two coming up here. Again, I might be like 20-ish seconds behind. For some reason, whenever I... F um, I didn't... I don't... Um, I didn't use the DAZN app. Because I have to like re-sign into it. I, I'm using my roommate's DAZN. But uh, he's sleeping right now. Because he had to work late. And I don't want to wake him up for the password. So I just bought the uh, OK TV one. But because I bought the OK TV one, it's just slowing my shit down. I have I have it even on like a measly 720p here, so so it, it like cuts every couple couple seconds. And it's, if I forget to click live, you know, just assume I'm like 20 seconds behind. But comment away in real time. You ain't spoiling anything for me. If anything, I'm gonna be watching the fights as well. All right, round two. Yeah, Zarabi win the round, but he expended a whole lot of energy. The first, the first fights on YouTube. The first fights on YouTube. Um. Then it goes over to DAZN or OKTV. What's up, Volcan? Good to see you, buddy. 
Hope you all have a good day. You too, man. Excited for UFC later, Volcan? You're going to be hanging out with us for that? All right. Let's get it I got four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Nice takedown by Zarabi. Right into side control this time. This time he's in side control. Oh, come on, Batflaski. Get your toes out of the cage, bro. Get your toes out of the cage. Volcan, did you like the D-Gen parlay this week? I feel like it was rather degenerate. Yes, bro, I will, but towards the main card, I'll join. Sounds good, dude. Many two women should be a snoozer or a brawl. Hey, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Nothing's going to be as good of a brawl as we saw in LFA last night. Those women crushed it, man. They were amazing. Gave up side control here was that of Zarabi. Good job by Bob Flosky. Back up against the cage. Trying to push off with that left hand. Back up to his feet is Bob Flosky. Now looking for... Oh, a nice knee by Bob Flosky in the clinch there. Yeah, bro, I was, sharing, I was sharing that post to everybody last night. Just that round. Uh, the whole fight will eventually be posted on... Uh, Oh, a nice takedown by Zarabi right into side control. Yeah. And it was an excuse for them to put on a title fight, too, because it's not, you know, it's not the best division. Co-main events and um, featured fight are like the people's main event. Hell, even David Zawada is a people's main event. You can take down the same way, but Flosky making a dumb mistake with the knees. Keeps getting take down with the same knee in the clinch. Anyways, the link I put in the live chat was one of the best round, like so early, early candidate for round of the year, and it was the women opening up the the card on LFA. So shout out to them. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Fatima McLean is bigger than Blanchfield, but still flyweight, or or still will fight at strawweight. Sorry. I was just watching the breakdown, but didn't get to the end yet. Uh, what is your safe and DJ and parlay, if you don't mind telling me again? By the way, two minutes on the clock here. Double left jab by Buttflosky. Finally escapes his grass. Now Buttflosky looking for the takedown. The degenerate parlay is Poteria, Tavares, and Kwamba. The safe parlay is Pfeiffer, Guskov, and Prates. One minute and 46 seconds. Now clinching. Is Buffloski and I was just gonna say Zarabi, he's gonna easily be able to counter and push him up against the cage. But but Flosky looks gas now. Oh yeah, we're all just chilling. What's up, Dylan? We're all just chilling, enjoying the Saturday. Oh, Potentially searching for the neck was but Flosky, but yeah, Z Zarabi just sneaked right out of that. They break. I probably say this all the time, but they're in they're in Germany here at a big stadium show. Big cage, big traveling cage here for Octagon. Oh, nice right hook by Zarabi. Couple jabs there. As yeah, but Flosky looks gas, man. He's looking to just lay on Zarabi and push him up against the cage here for the last 50 seconds or so. I like the safe parlay. The degenerate one is rather degenerate, though. Zarabi 2-0 clear. Oh, another takedown by Zarabi in this one. Yeah, I thought Zarabi was gas. Turns out it's the other guy. Big elbow at the end. Girl fight yesterday was the dive version of Zong versus Wei Li. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. In in one of Napoleon Blown Apart's videos, I remember he like refers to that, and he like shows just a couple scenes of it with just this like... This Japanese guy in the background going, oh my god, oh my god, and every big hit, and it was just like perfectly edited, and that's what it was reminding me of last night. I was like, oh yes, we got we got to do some clips for this one. Dude, we have so many highlights that are going to be on the membership stream next week. It's going to be crazy. Oh, I'm pretty behind you guys. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. What's up, hockey from home? Good to see you. And big shout out to everybody here. Guys, I need some um I need some suggestions for a poll question. I'm fresh out of ideas. I I, I don't have enough caffeine in me yet. 
to be able to make a good poll question. Now, I'm not making excuses. That's just the truth. I need your guys' help. Suggestions for a poll question here today. And I don't know. We've hit 40 likes on two videos in a row. Do you think we can hit 40 likes again on this one? I don't know if we'll have a big crowd. I don't know if we'll have a big crowd for this one. But what do you guys think? 40 likes for this one again? Let's aim high. Let's aim high. Let's do fucking 40 likes again. Let's go. Uh, round three coming up here, guys. Again, you're probably a little bit ahead of me. I'll, I'll refresh this in a bit, but I'm just going to ride with it. So bear with me. Don't like... C continue to comment live in the live chat. You ain't spoiling anything for me. They both earned security jobs after that, 100%. No, I wasn't up early enough for Eternal MMA. That was like 5 a.m. my time. Um, their cards are actually pretty good as well, though. The top uh, league in Australia. Let's get it I'll have to check some of that out later. Because isn't it for free on, on YouTube or Fight Pass? Shout out to Eternal MMA. They got some, uh, pretty much all the top Aussie guys come out of it, uh, Eternal. Urseg just came out of there recently, too. Poll question, who really thinks Paul Cost is actually going to fight? Okay, that's, that's an idea. That's a good one. Give me some other options, too. I'll pick the best one, but that's a good one. Uh, poll question, should be the best regional MMA event of the year so far. The women's fight? Is Costa pulling out? Okay, so that's two for Costa. Oh, Eternal's free or Fight Pass? Okay, I knew it was free on YouTube or, or Fight Pass. Dude, that's sweet. Okay, I'll have to check that out later. And honestly, when, when our clocks go ahead an hour again, I'll be able to... I'll, I'll not be able to. I'm able to now. I'll have the drive to be able to wake up a little bit earlier. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. just sounds a lot better than 5 a.m. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I know. He doesn't have any kids. No whole event, not one fight. Mm, okay, that's that's a good one. I feel like that's that's content for a whole video. Best underdog for this card. That is a good one too. Okay, it's between Costa and this one, I think, just because it's really related to this one. I'm sure you guys are all betting. I like that idea. Okay, um, we'll do Costa for the UFC stream here today. We'll do two for one, guys. We'll do Costa on the UFC stream here today. That'll be the poll question for the UFC because it is related to the UFC. We'll, this one, we'll do uh, underdog. Um, let's get fight odds up here. Another takedown for Zarabi. Sorry, I haven't been calling this play-by-play -play here. <laughs> Uh, we will with the other fights moving forward. Octagon 53. Uh, this Jacob guy would win this fight if he just struck at distance. He was working due to distance negative IQ. Peyton Talbot's good, man. Peyton Talbot's good. Isn't He's fighting um, Cameron Simon, right? Brush sure is my only underdog I have, though. Payne's definitely a good prospect. Talbot in Contender Series was a machine. His calm demeanor was hype. Also, I don't know why the fact he's in college majoring psychology perks my interest. Um, Yeah, like, he made easy work of the guy in Contender Series for sure. He's good. Okay. All right, I'm going to update the poll question here in a sec, guys. Oh, in pretty, oh, pretty much full amount here. Oh, no, he's... Modified half guard side control, but yeah, Zarabi's just kind of laying on Buffaloski. Okay, guys, we're just going to fire up this poll question, then we will turn our full attentions back to the fights on real time. Appreciate you guys in the live chat here. Okay, I do have the odds up. Oh, okay, I got, I got some juicy ones here. I got some juicy ones here. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. See, that's the thing. Like, How do you guys feel about them putting two prospects up against each other early? Kind of like McGregor, Max Holloway style. Do you guys like that? Because you're like, okay, it, you know, kind of like, um, well, Usman, Leon Edwards, right, back in the day. Although that one wasn't as high level as you know as this one's probably going to be. Let's let's be perfectly honest. Um, how do you guys feel about that? Two young prospects going up against each other here. One one of their, you know, I mean, assuming it's not just a good fight like that, uh, Surrey City fight. 
what do you guys think about that? Do you think they should have waited to do this matchup? You know, a couple fights down the road, assuming they still win, or like put them together now, and it already sets up a storyline for down the road when they when they're both at the top. I love brass jewelry to kick ass. You see Tabo say man going the distance. Are they going to throw hands? Plus one, Zarabi Cash. 30, 27. All three judges started off well. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Okay. I'm just going to get this poll question up, guys. Again, appreciate you guys chiming in. And again, we have uh, we already have a poll question for the UFC stream as well. So we're good. Again, smash that like button, guys. That like button. We hit 40 likes on BFL. We hit 40 freaking likes on LFA. We got all day in Germany here. Octagon 53. Let's try to get freaking 40 likes on this one as well. I know it's a long shot. I know it's a long shot. But I think we can do it. We got a long way to go, though, guys. So keep, keep smashing that like button. All right. Best underdog on the card today. Best underdog on the Octagon 53 fight card. Okay, I got a few here. We'll, we'll start with one of the women, all right? <laughs> just, just for shits and giggles. Um, and then we'll go with your guys' boy. He's only he's plus 275. Is there any other suggestions here before I get my finish my list? PGI is just green. Seems good for the future, maybe. Um, who else do we got here? Who else do we got? Oh yeah, Akpika is gonna win too. So I mean, I don't even know if this other guy even stands a chance. What about Pokorny? Plus one ninety, plus one forty on some books. How is he? Should he be my last one? I'm leaning towards him as the last one. Some of these others are just way too crazy. So, oh, is the water's a minus 500 favorite? The guy he's fighting must not be great. Huh? Uh, yeah, just crush cans. Okay, we'll go with him as the last one. We'll go with him as the last one. Again, I haven't I haven't done uh, as much research as I probably should have for this card. All right. The poll question is up, ladies and gentlemen. I should have put the odds next to them, but whatever. The poll question's for those gambling today anyways, so let's freaking go. Pokorny, a decent dog. Didn't pick anyone in that fight. It's too close. Pokorny only has losses versus quality guys. Lots of real experience against actual talent. Nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, do a little refresh of my stream here, guys, because I think... I don't know. This app, I'm just like... I'm going through an app, going through another you know, broadcast stream. On my old iPad, so it is what it is. Um, but not a bad fight to start this one. I'm telling you, it, it wasn't it wasn't the fight we saw from those girls in LFA guys. And I'm I'm sure LFA is gonna post it, but if you guys don't have fight pass, I mean, what what are you doing with your life? What are you doing with your life? There's one guy yesterday who was like, Oh, I, I don't have fight pass anymore. I'm like, bro, that's not my fault. You think these big streaming uh platforms are are showing freaking LFA? Like, are you kidding? All right. The Germans starting well. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Let's see if Tapology gets the bout order right in this one. Uh, Amir Ken Al against Votava. That should be the next fight. Let's do it. All right. If you guys are new to the channel, we do live play by play commentary reaction. And interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. Thank you for helping me form the poll question. Like I said, I was a little lazy this morning. Couldn't think of anything good. Hadn't, hadn't got a coffee in me yet. 
Good to go. Nice and cozy. Got the new winter hat, as you guys call it. Canada, we call it the toque. Got the new toque going. Yeah, definitely had to make the decent or make definitely had to make the decent to pick up these fight pass a couple months ago. Honestly, hard to call yourself an MMA fan if you don't. Uh Paulo Kaj must be a real world beater fighting the we love MMA fight promotion the last two years. Oh yeah, we love MMA. That's the German promotion. Got a mirror next. <laughs> Walking it in. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and then we'll we'll get right back to it. Hide the next fighters as they make their walkout. So, um, was this the only, was that the uh, only free show? They should at least do two, right? Like Ryzen does like two or three. I'm talking free prelims on YouTube. Ryzen, oh, they get you though. Ryzen gives you that fourth one. They go right until, like literally right into the bell. Like fighters are announced and it's like, boom, changes, but the live stream's still on. It's like, go buy the pay-per-view. It's savage. I respect it. It's savage and I respect it. As I said, kick ass, all my homies buy the annual fight pass. Striker versus grapplers versus ju or strike striker grappler versus jujitsu guy. Yeah, Amir Khan against Thomas Votava. Make all the prelims free. It's good for promo. I got two of my friends who started jujitsu thing. Your annual fight pass counts for Christmas. Mm -mm -mm. All right, Emil Can Al, the Turkish bull, making his pro debut in mixed martial arts, but he uh, has fought quite a bit as an amateur here. Um, lost his last fight. Uh, oh, at the World Championships, crazy at the amateur MMA World Championships, he lost to a ten and two guy. No contest against a seven and two guy. Before they was on a hell of a run, but hadn't beaten. Hadn't beat anybody of who's who's that good, anyways. Two and one guy, two and zero. Oh. Even when he's put on his you know his other win streaks on the amateur, but holy fuck, he has a lot of amateur fights. That's crazy. Twelve and seven, not the best record, but still, like it's a ton of amateur fights. Making his pro debut against a guy on a losing streak on the amateur scene. Oh my goodness, seven and seven as an amateur. Oh my god. Who actually has some knockouts? He must be the caught like the the striking grappler, eh? Lost through two and oh, three and one, three and one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going with the German. Just based off the records alone, man. I'm guessing he's more of like the, the jujitsu guy. This guy's more of the striking jujitsu guy, given that he actually has some knockouts on his resume. What's up, JL? JL, the real Bilal has entered. The MMA community, the real Bilal, has entered the chat. Bilal with the spinning heel kick. I will remember his name, dude. I will remember his name. It's all good, buddy. It's all good. Amir. It's all good, uh, Jay. I know you've been busy, man. Jay, you're working full time. You're going to school. Like I said, I did that when I was in college. So I really, I respect it, brother. I got two of my, oh yeah, two of your friends who started uh, Jiu-Jitsu and Fight Pass. Let's go. He's the one who we're gonna remember. He's the one who we're gonna remember. Crazy horse style. I remember. I remember. I need that on the the iPad. Not the iPad. The freaking sound pad. Dude, we gotta start like making bets on like when this iPad's actually gonna die. Say like every stream. This iPad's just my streaming bitch now. I use it to to has all the apps. I buy the pay-per-views on this, but like it's it's slowly but surely dying. It's dying a slow death. And it keeps tripping out. So I don't know how far behind I'm gonna be from you guys. I keep refreshing it, but even if you guys are like 30 or whatever seconds ahead of me, 20, 30 seconds ahead of me, comment away. Red uh, uh they only show the first prelim on YouTube, then you have to go on DAZN or um OK MMA TV and buy the pay-per-view. Below look like Roman Copula versus Leo Leon. 
Uh, yeah, so I'm going with Amir, Ken, Al, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. Again, if you're new to the channel, we'll do play-by-play -play commentary. You'll see my reaction, and we want to interact with you guys. Don't forget to vote in the poll question. Who's the best underdog on this card here today? Guess who's back? Hockey. <laughs> you can't... You can't... <laughs> Fuck, you gotta understand. We can't bet it if you're too self-aware. You just gotta let it happen naturally. Bilal, remember the wheel kick. Hassan Muhammad. Jacob, smoke me. I need good picks for this card. Yo, help our boy Funkmaster play. All right. Both, both fighters are in the cage. Oh, never mind. Both fighters aren't in the cage. We have Mr. Amir Kanal making his walk out now. Again, I think you guys are a little bit ahead of me. Just bear with me. It is what it is. I might have to whip out uh, the other computer. I haven't been using my actual like computer, my desktop, my baby. I've been using my work laptop for streaming. Um, because the freaking Windows patch, man. Windows like freaking Microsoft hasn't fixed the patch yet. There's an update for all Windows users, um, like January third, and it just fucked everything. So. I don't want to fuck with it and fix it myself. A patch was supposed to be released, but delays, delays, delays. So we're thanking the work computer for doing a good job here. This fight night is dry. Honestly, I think this one will be better than, than last week's, which isn't saying much. What's up? <laughs> the third hoggy from home. Make a note to check out the Kevin Rutt KO from Brave CF 31 Vicious. Note made. What's up, JD? Good to see you. Never mind, they only have one fight left on Bet US. Um, can you use Bovada? I think they're still up on Bovada. Hockey from home too. There we go. There's the parlay, guys. There's the parlay. There's the parlay. Lock it in. Oh, bro, I'm still in my pajamas right now. <laughs> my Reebok sweatpants that I wear way too much. So much the logo's fading. New hat by Waggle Golf. They're my friends. Go check them out. Get your waggle on dot com. Fuck that profile picture. Which profile picture? Oh, activate A's. I don't know who that is, but I remember Bilal. Dude, Bilal is going to be champion before Bilal Muhammad. Bilal spinning wheel kick. Right off the right off the regional, he's gonna be champion. Uh, I want to see Kevin Lee versus Tony Time. Uh, wait, Tony Time or Tyerson? <laughs> I don't want to see that fight again. Tony already beat him. A friend tells me allegedly still have six fights open on Bovada. Okay, JL, you got like I, I posted the um, the highlight in in the live chat. It was incredible, and Moicano was on the broadcast for it. Yes, happy lunar year. My Google picture changed. <laughs> All right, fighters are being announced in the cage. Round one coming up here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Tony to stab infection, young Lee. Hey, Lee still went in there. Lee actually still looked good in that first round. Lee just always gassed back in the day. Lee's one of those guys who, yeah, 165 is his weight class. Not quite 170, not quite 155. Jacob has zero fight IQ. Lunar New got hella sales on stream for the nerds out there. Oh, sick. Who said that can't see most of JL, huh? Chinese New Year, Happy New Year's, Israel Desanya. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's Magic Tony funny again. Okay. JL hates BJ Penn, Tony Ferguson, Chuck Liddell, all the old guys. Maybe hates a strong word, but. Likes to get Ishi going. No respect to those who help build the sport. Except for Ryan Bader. You like Ryan Bader, which hey, shout out to you. Ryan Bader's still fighting. 
But yes, yikes indeed. Uh, go knock the fuck. Oh, what's up, AJ? It's just for today because you're the dragon. Um, I don't know what what are all the animals in for Chinese New Year. But anyways, I gotta I gotta commentate on this fight hockey from home round one, guys. And here we go. Oh my goodness, the Turkish bull with a huge combo already. Again, I'm a little bit behind you guys just because my laptop's bugging out here if you guys are watching live. Watching from Philippines, thank you for this live. Absolutely, sir. Thank you so much for joining. Smack that <laughs> like button. And Votavo was looking for the takedown, but Al's got some hands. Left and right. Left and right. Huge hooks. Right uppercut for Al. Trying to go for a takedown is Votava, but knee on the break. Oh my goodness. Again, trying to go for the takedown is Votava. Cannot get him down. Oof. Ow, the kick to the body. Oh, that's it. Oh, is that low? I thought that was a kick to the body. I thought at first I hit his liver there, but no, he says it's low. <laughs> Crowd is booing. Chuck was cool. Just personally, I don't like BJ and Tony, especially BJ who got mopped against a bouncer. Yeah, but I'm not talking about them outside the cage. I'm talking about like when they were when they were stars, like your boy Izzy, like your boy Jared Gordon. I don't know if he's quite a star, but like your boy Bilal. They were they were some of the they were they were those guys even better in the UFC. Maybe not, you know, head to head, but like Anderson Silva too. The elbows up the clinch, plus he got jabbed up two, three. Seems like layup matchmaking. Jake had moments. I think the moments was too big for him. Another dude played it super safe, but it is what it is. Them knees three times in the clinch and got caught up. All right, we're back at it. We're back at it. Four minutes on the clock here. I know it was a mistake. All right, four minutes on the clock. We are back at it. Oh, huge left. Huge left by Mir Canal. Mir Canal's got some hands. Well, up against this guy, anyways, he's got some hands. Three minutes, 45 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Yeah, I mean BJ Penn outside the cage. I, I, you know, I don't, I don't think we'd probably get along, but inside the cage, he's one of my favorite fighters. He just stay, he just stuck around too long. Same, same. It's exactly the same situation with Tony. Oh, a nice left hook by on that drop, Votava. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is. He's on top of him. He's on top of him, landing big elbows, landing big shots here. It is, it is. Oh. It is over. It is over. He's going to get knocked out. It is over. Oh, my goodness. That was his pro debut. That was his pro debut. Now, I know it was against another guy, you know, three fight losing streak on the amateur scene, but that was dominant. No mistakes, dude. No mistakes. Holy shit. Oh, my God. That was pure domination. He tore through him, dude. He was out after the second punch, dude. He has no idea where he is right now. Domas Votava has no idea where he is right now. He was like, I ain't gonna try to get hit. I ain't gonna try to get hit by one of those. Oh my goodness. Jail, you have to use this profile picture. Bilal loses deal. Clean finish. I'm not addressing activate A until he changes his photo. Amir was cooking. Yeah, that's why but see, like why why are you watching the the ones when he was like on his decline in the end of his career where he should have retired? You gotta watch you gotta watch his best fights, dude. Oh my goodness. I heard noise in the chat. Who is it? Amir Parlay one out of three. Jay accept the deal. Sign the contract. Sign the contract. Sign the contract, Jay. Sign the contract. Uh, Jay, I want in on this too. I'll I'll make my profile picture Tony's face getting 
you know, kicked by Michael Chandler. And activate A, you got to make uh, if when when Bilal got hit by or so not when Bilal when um when Leon got like hit by Diaz or something, and we got to keep that those ones up. Do you accept JL? Do you accept sign the deal? I'll I'll spice it up, bro. I have to like change the city life project profile picture to to put Tony Ferguson's face for like a month or something. Let my manager take a look at it. I'm I'm. I'm raising the stakes, Silva. I win. You leave the division. You win. I leave the UFC forever. <laughs> Fuck that. It's, that. That wasn't part of the deal. Deal. Let's fucking go, dude. Let's go. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Um, let's do for like a month. For a month, that's the length deal oh this is awesome remember this I, I can't remember the name of the fighter in activate a's profile picture but i I can remember this deal and we will remember this deal <laughs> fuck that guy dude <laughs> i know the animals are ox tiger rabbit rooster horse monkey dragon sheep dog and pig is chinese zodiac animal i'm pretty sure mine is like the worst one i'm pretty sure i'm the fucking rooster um a good ox um tiger we're all about the horse meat up in this mouth so horses i um monkeys are cool dragons aren't real um no those are probably my favorite if Bilal wins i'll join jl in supremacy and below picture too he needs all the supporters he can get dylan I'm near the rat dog. We out here, dude. The year the rat's sick. I'm fucking rooster. Rooster sucks, man. I remember year, yeah. Rooster sucks. Ish wants to go head to head with me with a pay per view. You must be mad. The gods must be crazy. I know, I know. It's by the way, it's a good movie. The gods must be crazy. Old. I mean, JL wouldn't like it because it, it's like just some old artsy class, like cult classic movie, but it's good. I'll be here no matter what for that day. Even, even, <laughs> even, dude, I'll wear a fucking suit for that one. Is Charles Oliveira on the same card? I think I have to cut my hair and dye it, don't I? Well, that's only if he wins. <laughs> Are you crazy in your head, man? Are you crazy, man? I'm not impressed by your performance. I'm a horse. My bro's a monkey and my bro's a tiger. My mom is a horse. Oh my God, you're a horse? Oh, that's another sound for the sound pad. Oh, man. <laughs> Dude, honestly, like, there's some there's some banger Family Guy episodes out there. I know it kind of got drawn out on TV for so long, but, like, kind of like The Simpsons. They're, I think it was from, like, season... F and, and this one, this clip is older. But, um... From like season five to like what, like 12 or 13 of Family Guy was fucking savage, dude. Savage. Shavkov's favorite animal, horse. Well, I was going to say, um, Overeem's favorite animal, horse, meat. Bilal Hansen, remember the name. Remember the name. Shavkov's favorite food, horse. <laughs> It's Sandy doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result, just like Isha thinking he will beat me in a pay per view made of that fix. Exactly that. <laughs> All respect, but I warned you. I don't know. You got this, like, you, I, I'm not getting, like, I, I'm not saying that you're cheating, but I feel like, I feel like you got some sort of, like, curse on me, you know? Like, there's some sort of weird Canadian maple syrup ass juju that you got going on here. But, uh, but I'm still fighting. Having said that, it's not an excuse. I'm still in the race. I'm still in the race. This will be the game changer. Like, if Bilal beats Leon Edwards, it's like, Leon Edwards, bro, what the fuck? Like, I've been supporting you for, like, almost a decade, Leon Edwards. If you lose to Bilal, what the fuck? So, like, it, it'll be it'll be sad all around. I mean, I, and Kyle will have to see the profile picture of our channel change. I'll have to make a video on it, addressing it. Jail's going to dunk on us for that entire month, as he should. I'll have to burn the fucking suit that I wear to the occasion. Oh, my goodness. 
Uh, he hasn't fought yet, buddy. He hasn't fought. Islam might lose. Yawn by submission. That's why I always pick Shavkat inside the distance. He's an absolute madman. All right. Yeah, we're going to highlight these fighters in just a moment. I'm just updating the ticker on the bottom of the screen, and we'll get right into it. Again, big shout out to everybody who's joining us for this if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. A uh, cold open for the next fight is on screen now, and what a finish in that last one. Again, let me know your predictions. Activate A's got his in. Andre can scrap, though dude is all st steam. All right, all right. Denial, I think he means the guy in this card. All right, let's freaking go. Jean Fa John Fatchk. Is that how you say Fatchk? Fuck it. Fatchk? <laughs> John Fatchk. 4-0 as a pro. 4-1 in his last five. He lost his last amateur fight before going pro. Um, He beat a 9-6 and six guy. 2-1 and one and 2-0 and oh in his last few pro fights. And honestly, going into his fourth fight, that's not bad. Look, this guy ain't good, but he's got experience. Fought him in RFA. Um, a new RFA. And before then, fought a 2 and one guy and 2 and 0 guy when he only had one pro fight and two, respectively. Um, both of those being at Octagon, by the way. So he is familiar with this promotion. Damn, he had a long amateur career going 9-4 and four on the amateur scene. Mind you, just crushing Kazans on the amateur scene. His opponent, Enrit Brashori, who is a lot of people's favorite here tonight. 2-1 and one as a pro. He is 2-2 two two in his last four fights. He did lose his last fight, too. Um, and yeah, this is being fought at middleweight, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, lost his last fight at Octagon 43. Lost rear naked choke before then got a doctor stoppage win against a guy making his debut and got a, scored a first-round knockout in his first ever pro MMA fight. He lost his only fight on the amateur. You guys like him as the underdog, eh? What are you guys saying? What are you guys saying? Who the fuck is that guy? Uh, Taporia, double champ incoming. Down goes Islam. Down goes Volk. Johnny. <laughs> Sorry, I got to head out. It was on my break. I'll try to make it for tonight's fight. Sounds good, Jail. Have a good one. Uh, Benil. Or not Benil. Sorry. Um, Belil. Bilal Balil. Bilal uh <laughs> he's the new Bilal, dude. Bilal is the new Bilal. Remember the name. I even forgot the name there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's go, Brashori. Hogram Holmes, the horse. The fact he's doing a documentary and changes record and title and socials make me to against him. I'm all for confidence, but arrogance is different. You should look at the Islam guy. First pro fight at featherweight, six foot six. I think they might be wrong, though. I think he looks more like six foot four. Which guy? Look at the Islam guy. Uh, up the card. Um... Oh, it's uh, Dulatov. Jeez. Dude, that shit's nuts. He's fought in Brave, too. Dude, he fought a 13. Oh, shit. Yeah, dude, he looks good. 3-1 GMC. Th whoops. That is crazy. Yeah, I mean, Tapology might exaggerate it a little bit, but, like, shit, man. <laughs> like, over 6-3 for that weight class? Like, are you shitting me? Almost got you. Someone almost got Moicano the other night. Still, dude, that's absolutely insane. Um, I'm I'm still I'm still gauging the chat. Yo, what's up, the MMA upside? Good to see you, brother. Oh my god, you a horse? Either way, six foot anything at featherweight's wild. I don't know what hog from home beyond, but I want some. <laughs> don't we all? First fo pro fight, yeah, dude. That is nuts. Again, big shout out to everyone joining, guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We are trying to get to 40 likes on this video. That's right. We hit 40 likes on BFL. We hit 40 likes on LFA. I know we can hit 40 likes here as well. 
both these fighters are making their way into the cage. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Fag- Fagic. I'm going with Fagic here. I'm going with Jan locking it in. He's a good underdog, sure. He's got more experience. These Czech guys are monsters. The bright lights, I think, for Brashori. They're gonna get to him here. I don't know. I just made that shit up because Jan's actually been here before, but we're going with Jan, ladies and gentlemen. Yo, MMA Post Daily, what is going on? Speaking of Moicano, he's one of Moicano's mods in his live chat. Dude, it's good to see you. Hope you're well, guys. He is MMA Post Daily, which means he makes posts on his YouTube channel daily. So go check him out. It was more in relation to a dude's name that is a straight troll job. I have no idea who to, who to choose. I got Yan submission round one or two. I'm doing five bucks for every five likes starting now, y'all. What? Dude, there you... Dude. Hey. For every five likes, he's donating five dollars. That's crazy. You don't have to do that, brother. But those in the live chat, start start liking the video. Start liking the video. <laughs> oh, anyways, you're too kind, Dylan. You're too kind. All right, guys. Fighters are being introduced in the center of the cage. Again, I might be like 20 or so seconds behind you. My my iPad that I that's my stream bitch that I watch all my fight events on. It's she she's having a rough one. She's having a rough one, but uh we're getting through it. We're getting through it. Round one is coming up next here. We'll give live play by play. Run his pockets, guys. Donating five bucks for every like starting now. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. I should be strategic right now, Dylan. Start sharing this on Twitter. <laughs> oh, thank you, Hockey from Home. Thank you. Dude, Fagic a little bit looks a little bit more doughy in real life than in this profile picture. And uh, Brashori is huge. Uh oh, uh oh. Started creating alts. <laughs> it's over for you, Dylan. Hockey has five hundred accounts coming up. <laughs> Fadik is thick. It's the wrong guy. It's the wrong guy. That's Brashori. Fajik is is way taller though. I think he's six six foot tall. All right, guys, round one. Here we go. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Again, appreciate everyone joining us live. You don't forget to smash that like button. We'll uh, we'll rejig the poll question here as the card goes on. But fight has begun. <laughs> four minutes and 51 seconds on the clock we're trying to get to 40 likes guys there's 30 of you smash that like button four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock outside low kick by Fagic active days Fagic has some good submissions in his arsenal here and he predicts a submission from him but a nice right hand by Brashori Brashori with a nice right as well and Fagic looking for the takedown good takedown defense by Brashori How about for every like he gives a membership? Four minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. Left and a right by Brashuri. Four minutes on the clock. Going for the takedown is Fajik and psh, evading it with ease. Almost 40 people watching. We're trying to get to 40 likes, guys. If we could hit 40 likes, that's three streams in a row where we've hit 40 likes on smaller promotions, and that would just be awesome. Shows how much you guys care about the smaller promotions as well, which is sick, and I appreciate it. Four minutes and 44 seconds, and here we go, Fajik. Trying to secure this takedown, but Breshori doing a good job here. Back up against the cage. With the defense. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Now chasing the single leg. Trying to drag Brashori off the cage. Bro, Dylan gifting the one membership. <laughs> Dylan, thank you, buddy. Appreciate you. Oh, my God. You, do, dude, you don't have to do this. You don't have to break the bank here. I know we can get to 40 likes even without your incentive, brother. Dylan's going full BFL finish and bonus incentive up in this month. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you, buddy. Hockey, it wasn't a troll. I never said I said you were trolling me because I you knew you got a reaction out of me. If it's a rumor, it's a rumor. I'm just pissed because Rasmus Ristolainen sucks. 
And if the Canucks trade for him, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be angry. So I mean, please don't clip that. Joe Hogan's the lucky winner. Let's go. Dude, thank you, Dylan. Appreciate you. Still fighting for the takedown, by the way. Two minutes on the clock here. And Fajik just, yeah, just doesn't look too strong on the takedown here. Yes, sir. And then RWS Japan after that. Oh, big knee. Big knee by Brashori. Right uppercut by Brashori. Another knee by Brashori on the feet. Yeah, you can find your content elsewhere, Hockey From Home. <laughs> you need you don't need to clip me for content. I told Iris the same thing. Woman, 45 seconds on the clock. Look for the takedown again is Fajic. Easy work by Brashori here. Oh, Fajic actually gets the takedown. The white Nate Diaz Gaethje. <laughs> That, that is wrong on multiple levels. One minute and 18 seconds left on the clock. Back up to his feet is Brashori. Limion, subscribe to the channel, please, and like this video. Fifty-three seconds on the clock, or sorry, uh, forty-three seconds on the clock. Yo, main card minute. Let's go. It's also on the zone and OK MMA TV, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Thirty-five seconds. Fajik with the sheet round. That was bad. That was bad. That was worse than a dad joke. 25 seconds, or sorry, uh, 15 seconds on the clock. There you go. There you go, kick ass McGrath. Subbed MMA Post Dailies. Let's go. Salute. Do MMA Post Dailies the one who organized the Guru Raid and Moicano Raid? On a knee there at the end of the first round by Fajik. Man. I'm sure he wins that first round, no? He landed the better shots on Fajik. I'm playing some Eminem. Dude, Till I Collapse? This is this one of my workout songs. Let's go, baby. Till I Collapse. I'm spitting these raps. 10-9, Bashori. You two main card minute. Much love, gents. Keep grinding off uh, to do that shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Round two coming up here. And yeah, this John Fajik guy. Oh, man. That one elbow that Bershori, or sorry, that one knee that Bershori landed on him, that right knee. You guys just saw the replay to that, too. Whew. Yeah, dude. MMA post daily has organized raids. Literally, if it wasn't for MMA Post Daily, like, we, we wouldn't have gotten all those subs from Moicano that day. I think we got, like, almost 100 subs from the from the Guru raid, too. And that one guy who was like, what did he say? He's like, Guru's a cheap-ass motherfucker donating 10 bucks, so he donated 100. So, and it was like, a, I always forget, because it was a random LFA stream, and, so, and sometimes, like, even Kyle begs, you know, it was this LFA stream made, like, this much money? And I was like, yeah, it's because the freaking Goo uh, streamed that one, or rated that one. And Moicano's was, uh, he told everyone to go and fight me in the streets, and I was so confused. Go tell the city life prospect that you're going to go beat them in the streets. It's very important, my brother. All right, round two has begun. Four minutes on the clock here. His spec post daily. Much love. Hockey from home. We'll see you later. That's logged in. Let's go. Guillotine. Oh, yeah. It's in. It's in. Oh, my God. What a statement win. 
back in the win column. Endreet Brashori, the underdog. Let's go, baby. Gets the guillotine. The gilly. He gets it. It's tight. And he subs out John Fajik. Kick ass. We had Brashuri from the get go. Activate. Did you take him to activate? Had Fajik, bro. Monday dog of Octagon card hits. I'm tickled. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Dude, he looked dominant from the beginning. Yeah, let's go, man. Let's go. Three and one now as a pro back in the win column in front of the German crowd. Yes, sir. Let's freaking go, guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. We're trying to get to 40 likes. It would be three days in a row that we hit 40 likes on streams, on lower promotion streams as well, which is awesome. BFL, LFA, and now Octagon 53. Dude, that was tight. Usually, I don't like dropping for Gillies in the second round, but this one was cinched, and this guy's fucking huge, dude. Didn't bet it was juiced, but I predicted Jan sub one or two. So he's screaming around, they said I'm not a grappler. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, indeed. That was nuts. That was nuts. Big shout out to everyone tuning in live here on the City Light Project YouTube channel. I appreciate you all. Dude! Don't you get to tell you're dealing with another gifted membership? Let's go! <laughs> you do not have to do this. You're far too kind. Another membership up for grabs, guys. And Monday's membership stream is going to be insane because there's so many regional highlights from the weekend that we're going to that we're going to highlight and then we're going to react with Kyle, Jen, probably Rufus, their dog. We're going to be watching all those highlights together. It is great. Five likes and another gifted guys, five more likes on the channel and Dylan will gift another membership. Five more likes on the channel and Dylan will gift another membership. Let's go. Yo, kick ass. McGrath is the newest member on the channel. Let's go. Giovanni. Let's go. Giovanni. What's going on? And it went to kick ass. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh my goodness, guys. Smash that like button for every five likes. Dylan's going to give out a membership. Dude. This is crazy, man. This is madness. The UFC hasn't even start, started yet. And there's, there's freaking internal giveaways going on here on the channel. This is amazing. Dylan, thank you so much. Look at this, man. Dylan wanting to help grow the community. Unbelievable. Dude. Thank you. Dylan's wearing the crown here today, man. Holy shit. Let's go. My poor ass is heading to euphoria. My luck today. I love it here. Hey, look at this. Dylan helping to grow the community too. This is amazing. MMA Post Daily helps grow the community. Mr. Grant Gregory helps grow the community. And every single one of you who join us every single weekend help join this community as well. Irish Snack Box is here. Dude, yes, seriously. Thanks again, dude. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Let's go. I should share this on Twitter now. I should. Oh, my goodness. All right, we'll highlight the next fight in just a moment. Oh, my goodness. I'm just... I can't believe it. Thank you again, Dylan. I appreciate you. Because when the next wave comes, I'm going to say thank you a thousand times again. So, um, Wow. Okay, I am going to share this on Twitter. A little, little bit of selfishness there, but also just because uh, I've been sharing them on Twitter lately, and you know, at least one person, at least one person uh, shares it. Our boy Zach from... <laughs> Four ounce to freedom. I should make like city life accounts. I mean, I feel like the YouTube channel is getting big enough where, you know, I could do that. But when is Islam fighting? Not for another like two hours or so. Not for another like two hours or so. All right. I'm just updating the ticker on oh, the ticker. Good. I'm just, uh, what am I saying? What am I saying? Making a Twitter post, making a Twitter post here. Um, sharing the link. And then we'll get to highlighting these next fighters. They're about to make their walkouts now. Guys, thank you so much for all the support. Seriously, every single one of you. You all you all are amazing. Um, yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. We might adjust the poll question here in a moment as uh well, as one of the underdogs had a great win there. One of the underdogs had a great win. So we'll probably readjust the poll. 
question here, but 30 likes already, guys. We're trying to get to 40. And if we can get over that, that would be amazing. But 40 is our like goal. Sometimes we move the goalposts, you know, if we got a lot of competition still left. But guys, appreciate you so much. I cannot believe it. We were struggling early. We we're struggling early. We we're like 20 minutes into the stream. We only had like five or six likes. So I was like, all right, guys, let's set the bar high. And Dylan, man, you're the real MVP. Really appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Okay. Just finish here and then we will get back to your guys' comments. Uh, the next fighters haven't even started making their walks yet. Um, so there's been a little bit of buffer time, which is why I'm taking advantage of it here. Okay, again, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, I see um, some of you have started following me on Twitter. So thank you so much to those who have. Really appreciate you guys. Uh, at VI Sports Talk. That's my Twitter account. I am uh, I am way more active on Twitter than than any other social media. I'm not even on Instagram. I think I have an account on Instagram still, but like I'm, I ain't on it. Um, but yeah, if you want to interact, I, I am totally interactive on Twitter. You'll see I, I tweet way too much shit. I actually, had to, I actually had to take a step back the last few weeks and just be like, yo, just, just tweet links to your content. Stop getting involved in all this shit, you know? <laughs> Sometimes I waste too much time on Twitter. Um, all right, let's get back to your guys' comments here. Let's get back to your guys' comments. Uh, Piper's going to smack Lil Hermanson around. Uh, 30 likes, let's go. Yeah, uh, Orky. Uh, what's going on, Orky? Just uh, check out MMA or uh, Main Card Minutes got you. LN, Main Card Minutes got you. Sounds good, Hockey Firm. We'll see you there. This card is shite. This card's pretty good, the Octagon card. City Life Clips. <laughs> All right. This is Orky. All right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. We have Jaroslav Pokorny, who's another underdog on our poll question up against uh, Hecioni Palukaj, who's 7-3. and Palukaj, fighting out of Germany, 7-3 uh, is a pro, like I said, but he's 3-2 and two in his last five fights on a two-fight win streak. Let's take a look at him here. He fights in... I love MMA. What what a funny league. What a funny league. Or we love MMA, I should say. Four KOTKOs, two submissions, one decision. Uh, first round, ground and pound TKO. Second round, KOTKO against a five and three game, five and one guy, respectfully. Those are two good wins. Those are two good wins. Five and one loss, six and two loss, split decision. And before then, he actually beat that huge guy, that tall ass motherfucker who's on this card. Four and one guy, dude. This guy's legit. He's got a good record. He's got a good. Re oh shit! Another gifted membership. Let's go. Let's go. That's beautiful than a motherfucker. Guys, thank you so much. Another five likes, and Dylan will gift another membership. Dude, shout out to Dylan giving out memberships like he's freaking Oprah Winfrey up in this motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Dylan. Thank you so much, guys. For every five likes on the video, Dylan's gifting memberships. This is crazy. This is crazy. Thank you so much. Oh my god, another one. Another one. Oh my goodness. Dylan more like Santa gifting all day. LN, come on, man. LN, you're a smart guy. You're a smart guy. I literally gave you a gift in the live chat. It's not my fault you decided not to take it, brother. I literally put the gift in the palm of your hands and you said, Isha, no, I don't want it. That is on you, LN. That is on you, brother. That is your fault. That is your fault. You missed it. You missed it. Dylan is goaded. Damn. LN missed it, dude. I, I put the gift in LN's hand. He decided to throw that shit on the ground and say, fuck it. I don't want it. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. When do we boo this, man? It's not my fault LN wanted to throw the gift on the ground. Threw it right in the garbage, dude. Threw it right in the garbage. All right. Let's take a look at Pacorny here. Thank you again, Dylan. Appreciate it. Um, for every five likes on the video, because we're trying, we're just trying to get it up to as much as we can now. If that's the incentive, brother, that's the BFL incentive of the day. Holy fuck! 
Um, <laughs> our original like goal was to 40 likes. Let's try to hit that. Let's try to hit that. Um, Irish now one of the the, the new uh, members. Let's go. Um, Jukebox here on a two fight win streak despite being two and three in his last five fights. Eight KOT gave five submissions, three decisions. Honestly, a pretty well balanced career here. Uh, fought in ACB twice, nine and three in Gladiator Championship fighting, four and two in XFN. XFN is actually a pretty good league in two and two in Octagon. Be a 12 and 14 guy, eight and three. I mean, one of those two wins is good, right? One of those two wins is good. Um, he is the favorite, though. Oh, no, sorry. Picorni's the, the underdog. He's the underdog at plus 200. That was one of the underdogs we were talking about. Sorry. Um, probably just because he has that experience. And he has some decent wins on his resume, but then he loses four in a row to, you know, arguably guys that he should be beating, right? So he's kind of a hit and miss guy. He's got some good wins on his record. He's got some bad wins. He's got some good losses in the sense of, like, no shame. He's got some bad ones, right? So um, I, I think he extends the win streak in this one. I'm going with the underdog. Let's go jukebox. Let's go, baby. Uh, the only two things Isha hates asking for stream links when it's already in the chat and grabbing the cage. Don't be grabbing the cage. Yes. <laughs> Guys, there's 40 people watching. Smash that like button. Seven likes away from the goal and we in the early prelims still. Yeah, like if we hit 40 likes in the early prelims, then maybe we can hit 60 by the end of this. Maybe. That would be insane as well. So the same team as the guy that came out in Toy Story kit the one youtuber yeah, i commented on his channel i commented on his channel and emailed him i'm trying to get him on the podcast azad i already gave it in the live chat man i already gave it in the live chat so now all i'm gonna say is DAZN and ok mma tv uh when's denial corny is the policeman oh pacorny is the policeman i just picked the popo to win Who's this guy? Uh, is he Connor? The walkout? He's the favorite. I heard the over and under is 80 at minus 115 on Bet US. 80 likes, I mean. That was funnier in my head. <laughs> All right, guys. I got Pacorni. Popo Pacorni. That is my pick. Let me know your guys' pick in the live chat. Corny is the underdog coming in at plus 200 on Bet Online, plus 190 on Bovada, plus 140 on Bet US, and plus 140 on Betway. Again, big shout to Dylan Shaken in the live chat here. Handed out membership after membership after membership. Every five likes we get on the video, he's handed out a membership, guys. Fight starting in about ooh, two minutes. As soon as the fight starts, I will provide commentary, my man. I promise. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. Gabriel, if you like and subscribe, I'll help you out, brother. There you go, guys. Kick ass McGrath. It's funny in your head. <laughs> in my head. All right, fighters are about to enter the cage here. Both of them will be in the cage, and then we'll have the fighter announcement, and then we'll get right to it. What I like about KSW is they do all the announcements as they're walking, so once they're both in the cage, the fight starts. I got you, Gabriel. I got you. You seem like a good dude. You seem like a good dude. <laughs> I ain't as generous as Dylan Shake in here, but uh, hopefully you come back. Hopefully you keep coming back. Oh my God, Casey Zakaria is everything I hate on uh, about life right now. Zakaria is everything I hate about life right now, bro. Read the chat. Read the chat, bro. Come on. Emotional damage. Is the younger generation really, really this blind, ladies and gentlemen? Are they really this blind? Sorry, visually impaired, as we're getting. You know, you know this is the correct term to say. Boo this. Boo Zakaria, dude. Honestly. Organized booing here. That is crazy, man. That is absolutely crazy. See, Gabriel seemed like a good dude. Zakaria is, what's, is, is everything wrong with the world right now. <laughs> Fucking boo. <laughs> All right. Fighters are being announced in the center of the cage. 
Again, if you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing <laughs> folks in the live chat. Come on in the ring, you and me. <laughs> Zakaria, please read the live chat. I literally gave you a gift. I put it in your hand. It's not my fault that you don't understand A, or were just that dumb that you threw it on the ground and was like, nah, I don't want your gift. I don't want your gift. For you, I need two seconds, I swear. Come at me. Come at me, bro. Zakaria, I gave you a gift. This is how you treat... This is how you treat those who give you gifts? Come on, Zakaria. Come on. This is how you treat those who give you gifts? You're a rude person, Zakaria. Very rude. Them Gen Z Roblox-ass motherfucking Zakarias. All right, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> oh my god you are blind you are blind dude Zakari like guys come on I'm not even trying to be mean at this point it's just like it was literally after I put it put it there for, for them scroll up user eyes this is crazy bro this is crazy this is absolutely insane alright guys Round one upon us. It's not my fault, Zakari. I, I put a, I put the gift in his hand. He decided to throw it on the ground. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. All right. Oh, right away. The action starts here. Four minutes and 46 seconds on the clock. And go over the takedown. Easy takedown. Right back up to his feet here. Another takedown. Body lock here. Dude, this has been a quick start. Looking for the trip takedown. Oh! Man, Picornia, he's got some good grappling here. Oh, see, Dylan's too kind, man. Dylan's too kind. Four minutes on the clock. Body luck by Picornia. Knee to the body. It's going to add for Creed. <laughs> Again, dragging uh, Palokaj to the ground, but right back up to his feet. The band, not the movie. Couple shots to the side of Pokorny's head as Palokaj is trying to get out of this. Three minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Three minutes and 35 seconds. Knee to the body by Pal Palokaj. Palokaj. Three minutes and 25. Oh, no. Three minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Look for the takedown. Just lifting him up via underhooks. Funny, you say this every week. So it's 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 it has been. It has been. That's MMA, brother. It ain't Muay Thai or kickboxing. It ain't Muay Thai and kickboxing, I'll tell you that much, brother. I thought the movie Creed was based on the true story of the Ben. DAZN shows the fights. Yes, DAZN does show the fights. Oh my god, Zakari's blind, dude. Yeah. See you later, dude. Bye. DAZN does show the fights, yes. Uh, it's on the app, I'm pretty sure. I'm not using it today because I, I use my roommates and I had to sign in. So I just bought the pay-per-view, but someone can help out Lars here. Two minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Uh, fire up the DAZN app if you have it, Lars. And you should be able to find it pretty easily. Underhooks here by Picorni. Oh, Picorni looks tired. Circling right now is Picorni as Palakaj, keeping him outside that center line. Excuse me. Gesundheit. I can't, uh, I can't hold this man down, so I think I'll just hug him against the cage. What a plan. A nice left and a right by Palakaj. 
Looking for the single leg takedown is Pokorny. Pokorny gets it, but it's not clean as the right knee of Palakaj was planted. Oh, actually, good reversal here by Palakaj. Is now Pokorny's asses to the mat, back to the cage. Pokorny won't last all three rounds of this pace, no chance. No, and he's already breathing deeply. We're at one minute left in the round. Clamping the legs of Pokorny here is Palakaj, too, in the final minute. Palakaj is good. Manages the pace well. His striking looked crisp enough. Was able to scramble with this guy who clearly is going for the grappling. I like it. I like it. If he keeps us on the feet, man, Palakaj is going to start this guy. And if they and if Corny wants to keep grappling, well, he's just going to keep slowing down, and Palakaj is going to take advantage of that. All right, end of the first round, guys. End of the first round. Let me know your thoughts on who you think won this one. I, I think it's pretty evident, though, to be perfectly honest. I think it's pretty evident. Oh, he gets his back late. Gets his back late. I don't think he's going to get the choke in here. Someone grab the cage here. Probably Pokorny. That, oh, my God. Fuck Pokorny. Pokorny pisses me off more than Zakaria. Yeah, I think uh, Palakaj takes this one. Pokorny had his chance, but the moment's lost now. Oh, all right, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. There's like 40 of you hovering around this live chat right here. Appreciate you all. Our like goal is 40 likes. We are almost there. And if we can hit our like goal before the main card starts, dude, we, we might be able to get to 50 or 60 by the end of this card. And that's before even UFC here today. But yeah, I reached out to that German fighter. Like I said, Activate A. I've been commenting on his YouTube channel. I emailed him. His English, I think, is good enough for him to jump on a podcast. I'll ask him easy questions. Um, and I even said I'd clip up parts of the podcast so that he can post it on his channel. By the way, big shout out to everyone who watched our Liam Harrison interview. Over a thousand views. That is our highest viewed podcast episode yet. Really appreciate you guys. It was an awesome interview. Really appreciate it. Corny started strong, finished slow. Indeed, indeed. Indeed, indeed. Yeah, and I went for the underdog on this one. I went for the underdog, but he ain't looking good. He ain't looking good. Yeah, surprising in his post fight in the cage, he was talking English well. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep respectfully peppering him. And I think it would be cool to bring him on the podcast. Be cool to shed some light on his YouTube channel. I mean, I I've honestly watched some of the videos. I just put on English subtitles, dude. I also have an app it's or an extension that adds subtitles to stuff. So that helped. That's how I watch Korean zombies, YouTube stuff. <laughs> and some of these other, and like rising confessionals and shit like that. Well, the rising, uh, they, they allow English subtitles on those. Anyways, round two guys. We're about 30 seconds in. Speaking of rising couple weeks, man, couple weeks. Already with the takedown, easy stuff by Palakaj here. Clamping the legs of Pokorny. Now, I just want to see Palakaj do some work here with this. I just want to see Palakaj do some work here. That's him just laying here as he ties those legs together. I mean, that's not going to do him any good. That's not going to do him any good. Now, Pokorny is going to continue to gas, and then maybe he strikes in the third round, but we don't want to see that shit. We don't want to see that shit. Back up to his feet is Pokorny. Body lock again is Palakaj looking to sweep that leg right from under him. I do love how Octon already like promotes like three or four shows ahead every single time. Like they already got, you know, advertising for their 55th event, which is awesome. And what a crowd here in Germany, man. What a crowd here in Germany. Three minutes on the clock. Clinch fighting here. Knees to the body by Palakaj. Oh. Palakaj with a beautiful takedown. Right in the modified half guard side control. He's good, man. Palakaj is good. Three minutes on the hook. Palakaj takes the, or tried to take the back and he has that left hook in. Yo, what's up, Eddie? Good to see you, buddy. What's good? Yes, UFC in a few hours, dude. Just starting off the day watching Octagon. They're doing an event in Germany and it's actually, it, it's really good. It's really good so far. This, I mean, this fight, not, not the most exciting, but overall, it's been good. 
Some good underdogs already getting some W's. Our chat making some money. Dylan donating five bucks for every five likes on the video. Shh. Unbelievable. They got one in the UK, Birmingham soon. Apparently uh, got Shamrock on the card and George Staines, the Octagon Tough winner. Oh, nice. Dude, I, I want to hit up an Octagon event overseas so bad. I think my buddy did when he was in Prague. I know, I think Colby went to a boxing or, or MMA event and it might have been Octagon. Oh my goodness, dude. Paolo Kaj reversed Pokorny's takedown there and just landed right on top of him. Now he's looking to get uh, Pokorny in the crucifix position, but a good job by Pokorny who continued to scramble there. And now Pokorny pushing Paolo uh, up against the cage. One minute 55 on the clock here, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't already, subscribed to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. And don't forget to smash, smash, smash that like button. Be like, be like that crazy YouTube meme, meme ass murder and smash, smash, smash that like button. One minute, 29 seconds on the clock. But it sucks. These one-trick ponies, pure wrestlers. Uh, so frustrating. Yo, I thought I caught that Kai, the hitchhiker reference. Yeah. <laughs> one minute and 12 seconds on the clock. I can't believe Pacorny still has gas left in the tank to be able to grapple with this guy. I'm, I'm floored. I'm floored, to be perfectly honest. Can't quite get the takedown there, but able to get back up to his feet. 54 seconds on the clock. Knees to the body. Palakaj may be starting to get a little tired here. As Pacorny's gas tank, I mean, he looks sluggish out there, but it seems to be endless. Two old Palakaj. He's literally dancing. They waltzing up in this mouth. All right, yeah. End of the first or end of the second round, guys. End of the second round, and they be waltzing. They be waltzing. Knees in the clinch. Not really many elbows here. Polokaj easily got the takedown early in this round, but is slowed down tremendously here. Popo's losing. Y'all think Jack Romanson kills everyone's plans like the Joker? I mean, if there's anyone to burn that pile of money, it's the Joker. It's on DAZN, or you can find it on OKMA TV. It's the waltz. They be waltzing. It's called the waltz, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, third and final round coming up here. And then after this, we have... Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. The next fight actually should be pretty good. Eh, never mind. I take that back. The first fight on the main card is going to be good. Uh... Akipa's fun to watch. He was on the last Germany card. He had a, he scored a good win. For or sorry, no, he lost actually on the last card. My apologies. He lost on the last card. Last card. He had a good win before coming into Octagon. Uh, I remember. Yeah, he lost twice in Glory as well. He lost a decision, but that actually was a fun fight. His last two good wins. Yes, he destroyed the guy in fucking N N F C. I don't think we streamed that. We might have. Anyways, that'll be a fun fight. That'll be a fun fight. Akipa and Ivika. Anyways, back to this one here. Sorry, we're a few seconds behind. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Only one judge 2-0. Oh. The Joker burn money wordplay was underrated. Polka's doing nothing. Yoshi, I finally found out why those uh, fans are so pissed and started throwing tennis balls on the pitch. Why Why was that? Why was that? No damage, no control. Boom! Another good <laughs> Did we just hit a like goal. Did we just hit the like goal? Dude, thank you so much, guys. For every five likes that we get on this video, Dylan is going to be... Do Dylan has been donating 
and and provide and helping to grow the channel by providing a gifted membership. Guys, thank you so much. Dude. Oh my goodness, let's freaking go. Pokorny might steal this. You don't see the judges' scorecard, so in between rounds they show them. Student initiates the grappling. It's MMA, brother. You can grapple in MMA. Just because we don't want to see it doesn't mean that, that it can't happen. Don't worry, we'll be doing kickboxing streams soon. Yeah, I'm not showing the fight, buddy. I'm not showing the fight. That's illegal. Fight is on to zone. Three minutes and 27 seconds on the, on the clock. Oh, I am, brother. I am. There's literally nothing going on right now, Prince. There's nothing going on right now, Prince. They're, they're still literally clinching up against the cage. Three minutes on the clock. Back in the center of the cage. Will they throw some hands? I know, dude. It's YouTube. Oh, dude, Pokorny actually landed a nice shot. Step back left by Paulo Kaj. Spinning back his attempt by Pokorny here. Initiates, initiates the clinch again. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah, no problem, buddy. No problem. Trust me. I, I, I'm, try, I, I'm trying to uh, highlight whatever highlights there are, my man. Clinching right now is Pokorny. Yeah, Pokorny might steal this round. Someone, let, someone uh, said that in the live chat. Let go of the cage, Palokaj, you apps. Oh my god, they're both grabbing the cage like a bunch of cheating bastards. Dude, I do not care if you kick someone in the face. I do not care if you stomp someone in the face. I don't care if you oblique any or oblique kick anybody. But if you grab the cage, you are dead to me. And you are a coward and you should not be fighting. Now, if you want to use if you want to grab the cage and use that to help stomp, then I'm okay with that. That that's you know Kinoshita. Shout out to you. Picorni still trying to get the takedown here on Palakaj. Body lock trying to drag him off the cage. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Five takedowns in this fight for Picorni. What time is Pale Logos fight? Um, let's see. Probably another hour and a half, I'm guessing. Two hours. Hour and a half, two hours. One minute and 32 seconds on the clock. Some elbows in the clinch. By Palakaj, but nothing, nothing that's doing too much damage at all. One minute left, left and a right by Pokorny. They separate. They're scrapping now. Center of the cage, right hand by Palakaj. Forty-five seconds on the clock. Oh, big right hand by Palakaj as Pokorny tried to enter and take him down. Step in right by Pokorny. He's looking for one more takedown. Knee attempt by Palakaj. Dude, there's some nice strikes here, folks. There's some nice strike for here. Palakaj taking it back now with the striking. Knee in the clinch by Palakaj. Yeah, in this final minute, Palakaj has looked damn good in the striking. Why wasn't he doing this earlier? Corny going for a late takedown. Corny ain't winning this, bro. Corny ain't winning this. Palakaj is winning this for phony. Palakaj is winning this for phony. Oh, big knees by Palakaj. Palakaj just took that round. Palakaj just whipped out a sign and said, this is for you, phony. This is for you, phony. <laughs> we love MMA. <laughs> Best moment was the last minute. That's amazing. Now looking for the rear naked choke. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a fight. What a fight. What a third round, I should say. Not a one fight. What a third round. What a third round. Palakaj, statement, statement, statement round by Palakaj, ladies and gentlemen. If, if, if that's not stealing back a round, if that's not winning back a fight, I don't know what is, ladies and gentlemen. I do not know what is clear path to victory by Palakaj, who was, our, who was up two rounds on one judge's scorecard, was up one round by two judges. Easy, easy third round. Unbelievable indeed. Exactly that. Exactly freaking that. Oh, that's what happened, Irish. Got you. Great third round in front of his home crowd here in Germany. Let's freaking go. Um, we're waiting the official decision, but like, there's no way he's not going to win. There's no way he's not going to win. Unbelievable. Guys, again, big shout out to Dylan here. 
for every five likes on the video. He has been giving out a membership, man. Thank you so much for all the support you show this channel. You're already a member. You donated last night, and now you're growing the community, so thank you. He hasn't fought yet, TG. And TG, what's up? One of our members here live. Appreciate you, TG. He fights not after... He fights as the first fight on the main card, so there's one more prelim before he fights. And the Prince, we're just awaiting the decision still. Akeep is a safe win. Absolutely, absolutely. Guys, I cannot believe it. We've hit our like goal. Let's try to get to 60 likes now. Let's try to get to 60 likes. We're not even out of the prelims and we already hit 40. We hit 40 on BFL. We hit 40 on LFA. We hit 40 now on Octagon 53, but it is just that 53. Let's try to get over 50. Yo, what's up, Svakin? Good to see you. Thanks. I'm just nervous. I have money on him. Let's go. New 40 would be easy. We have 45 people watching right now. All of you guys smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Let's go. We're almost at 8,000 subscribers on the channel too. Palico's winning means that no matter what happens the next two fights, I'm guaranteed a $40 parlay win. Put three bucks on two five-leg parlays. One has Jan next fight. The other has Luca next fight. Let's go. I hate Octagon. They owe me money. All right, Paul Koja, he, he won here. He won. Yeah. Okay, well, they haven't announced it yet, but he won. Oh, no, they did announce it. He wins. He wins. Let's go, Paul Koja. Ben, subscribe to the channel, and I got you, brother. All right. Um, announcers just interviewing here, Pal Koja. Palakaj, my apologies. We have one more fight here on the prelim. We have Jan Malach against Luka Mili Dragovic and guaranteed money for our boy Dylan Chaikin. Uh, regardless, I got you, Ben. I got you, Prince. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you. We do these live fight companions for every Octagon event. We do these live fight companions every single weekend. Guys, we've already covered BFL. We've already covered ACA. We've already covered LFA, a little bit of Cage Fury FC. We've covered Octagon. We're going to be covering UFC. And then later, first thing Sunday morning, we're covering RWS. We're going full ASMR, Isha, Japanese kickboxing, ladies and gentlemen. What's up, Leo? Good to see you. Leo, just scroll up, dude. Come on, Leo. Use your head. Lose your, use your head. You're a smart guy. Luca is a last minute 24-hour late replacement, by the way. Okay, got you. Luca win. He hasn't won yet. He hasn't won yet. They're about to enter the cage. All right, guys. We'll highlight these fighters in just a moment. If you guys don't use your eyes, I can't help you. Like, you're human. I, I can only lead the horse to water. I can't force you to drink. Because if I shove your fucking head in the water, that shit's abuse in 2024, right? Can't do that. You can't do that. As much as sometimes I want to, guys. I can't do that. <laughs> All right. Keep the comments coming, guys. Don't forget to smash that like button. Our original like goal was 40 likes. We smashed that like goal. Now we're trying to get to 60. Now we're trying to get to 60. And, I mean, if you like the video, you have a chance to become a member because Dylan Chaikin has been donating uh, a membership for every freaking five likes we get on the channel. I don't know if he's going to continue to do, to do that but now that we hit our like goal. And, and if not, I don't even care because this was amazing. Thank you for the BFL incentive. But anyways, guys, let's try to get to 60s. Um, I checked it on YouTube. It hit 40 a little bit ago. Let's see where it's at now. Um, again, the fighters, the next two fighters haven't made their walk out yet. Um, oh, now it's at 39. Now it's at 39. But it was at 40. Come on, guys. Let's hit 40 again and then try to hit 60 after that. There's 40 of you guys watching. I know we can hit it. That gorilla mascot, a little handy on them ring girls. <laughs> I mean, it's 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 that whole mentality where like they can't see my face, so I can do whatever we want. You snooze, you lose. Uh, Palakaj won. Yes, he won, Prince. He won. 
He did win. He did win. Um, Irish snack box. There's a whole thread in the Discord, bro. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen, guys, and we'll get to the last prelim, the featured prelim coming up next. Yeah, baby. <laughs> featured prelim next before we get to the first fight on the main card, which should be a banger, ladies and gentlemen. should be an absolute banger. Uh, so this Luca guy took this fight on short notice. So keep that in mind. I don't know how people bet on things they can't watch. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. So he took this fight on short notice. He's out of Croatia, 24 years of age, three and oh, as a pro. He's just, he's saving this matchup. He's saving this featured prelim. Three and oh, as a pro. He beat a two and one guy, and two guys making their debut. Uh, second round, ground and pound. First round, knockout. And this one's just a win. Who the fuck knows? He went two and one on the amateur scene, lost against, well, the guy who already had an amateur fight and he lost unanimous decision. So he's a late replacement, ladies and gentlemen. Probably like a crazy underdog. If you, I don't even know if you can bet on this one or not. Yeah, it's not even on my betting line, so you can't even bet on this one. Um. Anyways. Uh. Next, John uh, Malach, fifteen and fourteen. It's not the best record here. He is, uh, ooh, three and two in his last five. Lost one, one, one. Lost one, one, one. Lost one. He's out of Prague, out of the Czech Republic. Good, not quite 500 record yet, but getting there. Nine KO, TKO, one submission. Oh, he gets subbed a lot. Five decisions. Uh, seven and three, Knight of Warriors. Two and five in, in Octagon. He's like their sacrificial lamb. He's their Pato uh, Poteria. And one for in Gladiator Championship Fighting. Lost an eight and one, beat a seven and six. Beat a 19 and 12. Yeah, he's just losing to competition that's better than him. Beat a 10 and two guy, though. Um, she, I kind of want to go for Luca here. I'm going with, uh, Jan is probably going to win. Let's be perfectly honest, but I'm, 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 I'm picking Luca. I'm going for the underdog. Smash this old man. Bro, dealing with another gift of membership. <laughs> Guys, keep smashing that like button. Keep smashing that like button and for a chance to win a freaking member. We got like an internal contest going on right now. This is absolutely insane. Dylan, thank you, brother. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. Look at all the memberships that Dylan has been dishing out. I didn't know this was Christmas. I thought it was February 10th, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's some good prospects, Phony. The, that one guy who was on Contender Series in the last event, he beat the shit out of his opponent. That was a fun one. Goal regained 40 legs. Let's go. They showed us the wrong highlights. That's not Luca. That's the guy that just won. He kind of looks like the Czech. Uh... Oh, never mind. Ilya or Volk. I'm, I'm leaning Volk. I'm leaning Volk. Damn, dude. Thank you again to Dylan for the for the gifted membership. Guys, we hit our, our light goal of 50 <laughs> likes already. The main card started, which is just incroyable. Incredible. Let's try to get to 60 by the end of it. We have we have a whole main card and this featured prelim to get 20 more likes. There's 42 of you watching right now. I know if all of you smash that like button, we will hit our goal of 60 likes. Man, I think Vulcan show why he's the featherweight goat, but it is not easy task, 100%. Phony, there's a guy on the card today that's good. Robert Brisek from Octagon. Let's freaking go. Okay, guys, like I said, we highlight these fighters. Luca's taking this fight on short notice, but Jan isn't the best fighter here. So I, I Jan should, you know, should win. Jan should win. I'm going to Luca here. That, that's my crazy pick. I'm rolling the dice on this one. Guys, if you're new to the channel, we do live play by play commentary reaction. And most importantly, live interaction with you guys in the live chat. So keep the comments coming. Really appreciate the interaction. We got a good crowd here today and guys, we hit our like goal already of 40 likes, which is amazing. Really appreciate you guys. Let's try to get to 60 by the end of the stream. Let's try to get to 60 here. And straight up, if you like this video, if you hang out in our live chat, you have a chance to become a member because Dylan's been gifted memberships like crazy. Thank you, Dylan. Thank you to all the members here. 
Thank you to everyone who goes above and beyond to support this channel and those who just hang out with us every week. It's truly amazing. Is your type of fighter KO round one? You find Eeyore has a one and three record, but dropping down from 205. Luca, let's go. Orky's in the chat. What's up, Orky? He's supporting his boy, Luca. Luca already made his way to the cage. Should be a stand up fight. The king of the north, Jan Malach. They can just walk out now. Boom, 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 boom. Again, guys, let me know your picks in the live chat, much like Orky. Much like Activate A, Phony, you guys have been picking all night as well. Speed Moments is on DAZN. So if you have DAZN, it's, it's on the DAZN app. You can find it there. I got the pay-per-view at OK MMA TV. Just because I got logged out of my roommate's DAZN app. So I just bought the pay-per-view. Luca got the call in a nightclub apparently at 2 a.m. for this fight. Add a boy. Add a boy. Just smash the like, homie. Let's go, Bonehead. Love the profile picture. Let's <laughs> go. Luca, let's go. Bonehead, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for liking. Appreciate you guys. Again, we do these fight companions every single weekend, guys. We've already done BFL. Um, ACA, LFA, Octagon. We're doing UFC and RWS Kickboxing Japan. First thing Sunday morning, ladies and gentlemen. We got videos that drop every day. We got UFC prediction video live streams. We got membership streams on Monday. We got so much on this channel, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you so much for joining. One time, Luca was my coach. He's very strict. And Dylan with another membership. Let's go. Let's go. Holy fuck, Dylan. Dude, Dylan is going ham in the stream. So you've got to be kidding me. Dude, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Holy fuck. I can't even type. Dylan, guys, for every five likes on the video, Dylan's been handing out a membership in the live chat. This is insane. How many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six new members. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Guys, thank you all for liking and helping to get this video pushed on youtube and thank you for dylan for handing out them bfl incentives man oh my goodness thank you holy shit i cannot believe it i cannot believe it fighters are being announced in the center of the cage now guys we'll go back to the focus play-by-play -play here in a moment cool stream i'll be sticking around look at that hm one of our newest <laughs> members it's an og for real for real Good timeline, Rigo. Two more to hit the big 50. Guys, holy shit. That means we're 12 away from 60. Let's go. Could you imagine 60 by the time the main card starts? That would be insane. That would be insane. All right. Milri Darovich, who was literally partying it up in a club at 2 a.m., when popping bottles of champagne in the club at 2 a.m. when he got the call for this fight 48 hours ago is in the cage up against John Malach. Malach actually looks like he's in pretty decent shape. HM sticking around my money, making money now. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. Really appreciate you. Like I said, Dylan is handing out them BFL incentives, dude. If you like this video and hang out in our live chat, you have a chance to become a member. Membership streams this Monday. I will post the Discord link in the community tab of our YouTube channel here in just a moment. But we do want to comment on the fight here as well. All right. Round one, ladies and gentlemen. Round one. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Bet my house on Luca. All right, fight has begun. Again, I will share the Discord link in a moment here, guys. All right. What are we, about 30 seconds into this fight right now? Body kick by Luka. Bro, Malach looks like Volkanovski compared to him. Way taller, way lankier is Miladrovic.
And you see, uh, Malaric usually fights at lightweight. They're fighting at welterweight here just because you know, Luca took this fight on short notice. A left hook by Malach. Uh, oh my goodness, guys. Thank you again to Dylan. Look at all these new members. I'm just posting our Discord link on the community tab for exclusive members here, ladies and gentlemen. Boom, it is posted. Welcome to the Discord. Three minutes and 54 seconds on the clock. Medi, I got you, bro. Just, just like and subscribe. Guys, 50 viewers right now. Smash that like button. Smash that like button and we'll get to our new goal of 60 likes. Bro, if we get to 60 likes before the freaking main card, we might up it to 80. Because apparently, apparently you guys, you guys go to task, man. So I appreciate you. Three minutes and 22 seconds on the clock and rushing is Malach. Counter left and right is Luca. Luca's doing good on the feet here. Luca's doing good on the feet here. I know he's a little bit bigger than Malach, but this is Malach's game, man. High kick by Luca Miladrovic. Outside low kick by Luca. Good job by Malach get it, escaping those twice. I'm interested to see how Luca's gas tank lasts here at the end of this first round. Two minutes on the clock. Luca with a nice step back rights though. So far, it's a good scrap. How's my last favorite when he's... Oh, because I just said Luca took this fight on 48 hours notice. He was literally hanging out, clubbing, popping bottles in the club at 2 a.m. when Octagon called him 48 hours ago. That is why. That is why. And Malach is fighting up a weight class two, TG. So there's a lot of factors to this one. Malach, I'm trying to enter the clinch. Knee by Luca. Knee by Malach. Another knee by Malach. Explosive. Oh, and Luca looking for the takedown and he gets it. Nope. Can't be in the in the live chat, man. You got to be an exclusive member to be a Discord. I posted on the community tab, Orky. Come on, Orky. Use your eyes, brother. Orky, you're a smart man. I know it. I know it. Look in the live chat, bro. Look at the look at my comment. Luca going straight back to the club in his gear after this fight? Probably, probably. One minute and 22 seconds on the clock. Yo, some of you in the live chat here, I really appreciate all the support, but some of you are killing me, man. I swear, Orky's going to make me age a little bit. We had dude, we had the block who was aged me probably a year. Orky, you got this, bro. You're a smart guy. I, I believe in you. I believe in you, Orky. I believe in you. I can't dunk your guys' heads in the water. I can only lead you to the to the pond. 55 seconds on the clock here. Luca, looking for the back of Malach. See, wrestler, we're trying to finish ground and pound. Show the fights or I'm leaving. 45 seconds on the clock. Or sorry, 35 seconds. Looking for that rear naked choke. Dude, this is crazy. This is crazy. God, I want Luca to win. I want Luca to win now. And he ain't going to be gassing from this position. Right at the end, final seconds of this first round. And he ends with back control here, man. Unbelievable. Show the fights. Are we picketing? Show the fights. Show the fights. Man. Great, great first round by Luka Miladrovic. Great first round by Luka. I'm interested to see what his gas tank looks like because, again, he, was, he wasn't he was just eating steaks and drinking beers in Brazil. This guy was at the club, bro. Popping champagne at the club, 2 a.m., 48 hours before this fight. Rainer, look at my last comment. Yo, 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 what's up, Habib? 
How's it going, Habib? It's been a little while, brother. Are you going to be watching UFC with us later? All right, guys. Let me know who you think won that first one. I think it's pretty evident that Luca won that round. Some good striking, good control time. He got the back. He landed some ground and pound. He won that. He won that first round. He won that first round. And all the judges think so too. 10-9 across all the judges scorecards. Two days notice at the club, popping champagne. Oh my goodness. Oh! All right, guys, round two. We're about, what, 20 seconds in? Luca, next UFC start, if God will it. Let's go, Luca. I mean, this is his fourth professional fight, man. Fourth professional fight on short notice. Yeah, he's crushing a can, but still, on 48 hours notice, dude. He's looking pretty good. Let's just, let's just see how his gas tank is. Let's just see how his gas tank is. He's still sweating out that champagne, baby. Good pace for last Luca. No need to waste energy for the late fight. Nice left hook by Malach. Malach now. Body lock. Good job by Luca. Luca with the takedown. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Luca won uh, round one. 10 9 on all the judges' scorecards. Luca with the top position. He's got his right hook in. He's looking to try to get that back take again, like he, got, like he did in that first round. Again, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. No, he looks pretty fresh, to be honest. Despite coming into this fight on two days' notice, Luca looks like he has just as much or more of a gas tank so far than Malak. Don't think he's that good when even win an octagon tournament. Luca? <laughs> Three minutes and 34 seconds on the clock. Oh, nice knee by Lucas Malik's going for the takedown. Hey, he's Orky's brother, though. He's Orky's brother. Damn, I wish I bet him. Oh, beautiful slam takedown by Malak. Huge takedown by Malak. And right back up to his feet is Luca. Three minutes on the clock. Or actually, two minutes and 45 seconds, I should say, on the clock here in this second round. Malak continuing to try to get more takedowns here. Lucas Wrestling is elite spars with Carlo Caput, who won second place at ADCC World Championship. No, his, uh, his grappling is awesome. His grappling is awesome. He dropped for a guillotine here. Luca looking for a guillotine. Looks like Malik might pop his head out. Malik might pop his head out. Should be glad you didn't know. <laughs> oh, a nice job by Malik for getting out of that. Malik here reversing. Malik trying to push. Oh my goodness, Malik just. Oh, Malik's gonna win. It is over. Two. It is over. It is over. Malak just reversed Luka. Now he's landing ground and pound. It's over. That knee to the body cooked him. It is all over. Malak. Malak. Malak gets the win. Oh my goodness. The comeback victory. Malak was getting schooled in the first round. Schooled in the second round. And oh my goodness. What a comeback. Oh my goodness. What a comeback, ladies and gentlemen. That is crazy. What the fuck? That is crazy. That is crazy. Orky, your boy look good on two days' notice. Your boy look good, man. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Lost to a vet and on two days' notice. No shame in that, brother. No shame in that. He's still sweating champagne. Now he's 16 and 14. Let's go. Good display of respect, Malak. Thanks, Luca, here. Taking this fight on short notice. Damn, dude, that was instant. The page turned in an instant. Wow. Crazy. Hey, we got a fun fight to end the prelims, guys. We got a fun fight to end the prelims. Five fight main card, too, which honestly should have some good pacing to it. Wow, dude. What a way to end the fight. What a way to end the fight.
Bro probably still has alcohol in him. No wonder he gas. Exactly, dude. Yo, what's up, fellow members? Guys, don't forget to smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload as well. Subscribe to the channel. We are almost at we are almost at 8,000 subs to this channel, which is absolutely insane. I think we were like 50 away. So, I mean, if all of you in the live chat right now subscribe to the channel, I mean, we'll probably get there. We'll probably get there. We're so close. We're so close. 50 likes. Let's go. Let's try to get to 60. Let's try to get to 60 on this main card. If we can get to 60 on this main card, Dylan, if he's still doing it, we'll give out a couple more memberships and we will hit, we will hit a double goal. Cause originally we wanted 30, then we upped it to 50 and, and, and now we'll up, or then we upped it to 40 and now we'll up it to 60. All right, being announced as the winner right now in the cage is John Malak. All right, guys, we're going to take a quick break after this, but before the main card starts, I'm going to grab another coffee. I'm going to drain the main vein. I, I got to line up the piss jugs for the UFC stream, uh, Ray from Trailer Park Boy style. But I'm going to drain the main vein. I'm going to grab some more coffee, do a quick stretch, and we'll be back, you know, two to three minute break or three to five minute break, we'll say. Um, so don't go anywhere. Have a quick stretch yourselves, refill your coffee or whatever you're sipping on this afternoon. And uh, yeah, and you know what? We'll do that right now. We will come back on the other side and highlight the first fight on the main card. That is right. Siad Akipa against uh, Iv Ivika Tusiak. Oh my God, talk about a veteran. Layup for the German in front of his home crowd. And you know what? I don't mind it. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> layup of a pick at welterweight for this next one ladies and gentlemen i'll update the ticker on the bottom of the screen and i will leave you guys just for a couple minutes here like i said gonna grab a quick cup of coffee gonna drain the main vein gonna do a quick stretch here while i'm gone don't forget to smash 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 the like button ladies and gentlemen oh fajik got submitted and put to sleep what's up diego great to see you buddy great to see you diego Hope you can hang out with us a little bit longer. All right, guys, on the other side, we will be back to highlight these next two fighters and continue to provide you guys with live play-by-play, -play, commentary, reaction, and interaction. Main card next. Don't go anywhere. Back in three to five minutes live here on the Sea Light Project YouTube channel. Love, love, love 
da 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 We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We can just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We can just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and I've approved it Never tell her, but I put it in the music Well, that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We could just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We could just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and I've approved it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Take the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, da, da, da We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We can just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We can just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Best friends, but we rocking all the same things Say you need me, but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life, I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons, always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat Like We could be friends if you wanna We could just talk if you wanna We could hold hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do I just bought a new way Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and I've approved it I never tell her but I put it in the music Well that's okay All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day Thank the Lord up above Get the cream on the side Make you have to know it That's the stuff that I love La, la, 
da 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 We can be friends if you wanna We can just talk if you wanna We can all hands if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do We can just laugh if you wanna Late nights on the stars if you wanna We can just kiss if you wanna Hey, tell me what you wanna do It's like the story of my life Rocking all the same things Say you need me but you really trying to change lanes Well, I don't even care In my life I don't battle with no fear Fighting dragons always been a real one Hate you saying you're showing love, you a real chameleon Get the facts freaking straight, always on repeat And we are back live here in the City Life Project YouTube channel for another live fight companion, Octagon 53, ladies and gentlemen. The main card starts now, and apparently there's an injury. Apparently someone has to pull out, and the fans are voting if they still want to see the fight go on with the replacement or pushed at another date. This is crazy. Octagon is insane. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Oh my goodness, Dylan with the freaking another donation. <laughs> Let's go 50 likes, guys. Let's hit 60. I know we can hit 60. Our original like goal was freaking 40. We've hit 50. Let's see if we can hit 60 here. Dylan Gifton, another membership. I don't have Instagram, but I have Twitter at VI Sports Talk. Um, my boy Matt, it's great to see you as always, brother. How are you? How are you, Matt? One of the OGs. Matt has been subscribed to this channel and supporting us since we were even before a thousand subscribers, man. Um, what fight is the Dulatov fight? Probably in what, like 45 minutes? Xenon. Conman gratis streaman? Huh? You should be able to come back to 10 to 10 to 12 more viewers and another gift. Dude, this is awesome. I don't know. I literally just got back in my seat. I just grabbed another coffee, ladies and gentlemen. I just sat uh, sat in my seat, and they said that the fighters are voting on if they want to see a fight still go down here. It's good to see you, Matt. It's good to see you. Guys, look at my comments in the live chat. I'm helping you out. Um, What's up, Sino? It's good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining yeah, Akipa's going to win, guys. Akipa's going to win. Let, let's highlight these fighters here. We got Sihad Akipa, the Punisher. 6-1 and one as a pro out of Germany. He's 27 years of age. Four KOTKO, one submission, one decision. decision. Four and zero oh in GMC, which is actually a pretty damn good promotion. Lost his last fight though to Matthew Bonner, who's fifteen and nine. He probably should have won that fight. He, he just got outclassed by a veteran. Let's be perfectly honest. Got a easy, easy win where he knocked this guy the fuck out at NFC. Um, didn't have you know much luck in glory as a kickbox, let's be perfectly honest, but he does have some very good striking in mixed martial arts. Just hasn't really proved it against a very good opponent yet. So I know Octagon wants him to pan out. I know Octagon wants him to get some highlight reels in this promotion. And who else to do that against the freaking Ivica Trusiek, who's 42 and 39, 36 years of age out of Croatia. One and four in his last five. Okay, activate A. Sorry, I have my by volume super low on the broadcast. Who's out of the tournament? All right, 24 KOs. Nice. 15 submissions, three decisions. This is actually crazy, man. 40 out of his 42 wins, okay? 24 have been by knockout. 15 have been by uh, submission. Th only three have been by decision. So he likes to finish his opponents. Fought in KSW, FFC. I mean, he's fought everywhere. Holy shit. FNC, like, look at that. Look at that. Lost to 7-2 and 8-3 and three guy. Yeah, it's it just a simple case of he beats cans. He can't beat guys who are, like, just legit fighters. But I'm sure he's got some good wins. I'm sure he's got a good win. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my God. No damage. Okay, well, like, that's not bad back in 2011. 
Bro, Akipa better. If Akipa doesn't win, this is like this. This is this is better grounds to riot than when Jubilee lost in the UFC. Let's be perfectly honest. Uh, let's go, Croatia. He's coming up next. He's coming up next. Forty-two thirty-nine must be one of the wilder pro MMA records I've ever seen. Right. And, and, and only three decisions victory, a, uh, HM. Have you ever heard of Travis Fulton or Jay Ellis? Just looked him up. Crazy record. Muay Thai style. All right, guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with the German here. It's pretty easy. This one should be a layup for the young man. What's up, Azad? Akipa's going to win. Yes, Akipa's going to win, dude. Akipa's going to win. There's like... If Akipa wins, he brings dishonor to Germany. If Akipa, or sorry, if Akipa loses, he brings dishonor to Germany. If Akipa loses, he brings more dishonor than Jubilee did to the entire country of India in the UFC fights. It's absolutely insane. You can watch it on DAZN or OK MMA TV, guys. Luca got a membership. Let's go. Shout out to Luca. <laughs> What is up, Matt? What is going on, lol? <laughs> it's great to see Matt, by the way. Like I said, Matt has been a subscriber since before we even hit a thousand subs. All right, guys. Main card is about to start now. There was a cancellation here. Let's see if Topology has been on it. I don't know if it was for this fight or maybe it was for the next one, but they, they're literally getting us to vote online. If we want to see the fight continue. Or if they want to to move it down the line, but I don't think there was a tournament final tonight. I think yeah, there's just there's just strawweight championship belt on the line on the women's side. So I think it might be for the next card. Trapster, honestly, you can find it. You know wherever you have your UFC ones. To be perfectly honest, but it's sweet that in North America they have it on the zone now. All right, guys, let me know who you think is going to win in this one. Again, I think it's pretty I think it's pretty evident that a keep is going to win. But we do have, like I said, we do have a Croatian supporter here in the live chat. I saw the comment. I saw the comment. Uh, HM, if you want to see one of my favorite unknown MMA records, look up Kenneth Allen. Real life glass Joe. Dude, look at this. We almost have 70 people watching. That is amazing, guys. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. I don't think there's any late cancellations. Okay, I think it's for a different card. I think it's for a different card. <laughs> this is the last time I'm doing it, guys. <laughs> Ready, set, go. You see that shit? Boom. All right, guys. One more time. Akipa, 6-1 and one as a pro. He's only crushed cans. He does have some finishing ability. But he took a step up in competition against a guy who didn't even really have a good record. And he lost. He freaking lost, dude. So this should be a layup for a guy that they do want to build up. A guy who they do want to put on the main cards when they come to Germany. Because Octagon does puts on great shows in Germany, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, look at the crowd we have here. If this doesn't say it, I don't know what does. They put on a great show in Germany. Um, Lars, I got your back. Roddy, I got your back. Uber, I got your back, guys. All right, guys. First fight on the main card coming here. There's actually a lot of buffer time between these two fights. But I guess, like, like I said, Octagon, they're always like a few fights ahead. So they're already previewing their 54, 55 and probably on the next card, they're going to um, preview their 56 card. Let's see. I, I think that Tapology even has them. Dude, they have them already up to 58. Is this even a full card, though? Okay, no. They only have one, one fight announced, but still. None for that one. Anyways. Like I said, but as you saw there, more cards in Germany coming up. More cards in Germany coming up. But start of the main card here, guys.
Oh, you're talking about the Kieta injury. That's something completely different. It's because Kieta was in the Game Changer tournament and he got injured. So Octagon are getting people to vote on either they rescheduled or pick another backup. Oh, okay, got you. So yeah, I just I sat back down after grabbing my coffee and I heard that on the on just like, oh, someone's being replaced. You can vote online. I was like, what the hell is going on? Oh, thank you, Hockey. But Lars, I, I, I shared it with you, Lars. I shared it with you. Dude, the new generation, they just want their heads dunked in the lake. You can lead them to, to the lake. You can lead them to water. I guess the lake's a bad example because that, that's gross water. You can lead them to the river. There you go. <laughs> Uh, again shout out to everyone who's been joining us throughout this entire event the main card starts now the prelims have just wrapped up we just highlighted the first two fighters on this main card look it's a pretty easy matchup for a uh, akipa if you guys want to watch this if you have the zone in north america it is on the zone um i bought the pay-per-view at ok mma tv and you can also find it uh we'll just read my comments in the live chat that's all i'm gonna say snowball scroll up All right, guys. Let me know your picks in the live chat. Let me know your picks in the live chat. Again, big shout out to everybody joining us here, the members, and all. big shout out to Dylan, who's been handing out memberships left, right, and center. So don't forget to like this video. Dylan has been handing out a membership for every five like on the video. We're trying to hit our next goal to 60 likes. There's 70 of you watching right now. If all 70 of you, 70 of you like the video, we'll, we will hit our like goals 100%. <laughs> it was a bad example. It was a bad example. UFC 300 event announcement at the Super Bowl. Oh, maybe. Maybe. LN, I gave you a gift. It's not my fault you you, you don't want to take it, buddy. I, I literally gave you a gift, LN. It's not my fault you refused to read the live chat. That is your fault. Snowball, I got you. Look at this. Snowball is one of the smart ones. Snowball, I love you. You you are what is right with the world, my man. All you others who, who refuse to use your eyes, you are what's wrong with the world. You are what's wrong with the world. Snowball is one of us. One of us. One of us. Dazone, OK MMA TV, or use your fucking eyes in the live chat, bruh. All right. <laughs> Finally. Finally, we're gonna get some fights, man. Does it, or, uh, Octagon taking way too long between their prelims and main card for this. It's been what twenty four minutes now. <laughs> Eyes, I used my wallet. Peace. All right, guys, picks for this next card. We already know who's going to win in this one. Akipa is the minus 600 favorite, okay? But David Zawada, former UFC fighter, back in Octagon um, with his brother. The Zawada brothers are back in Octagon, ladies and gentlemen. He's making his return to the promotion here. 18-9 and nine as a pro. Again, didn't really look good in his last few UFC fights. Fun KSW and PFL as well. Um, he lost to Magomed. Karimov and Carlos Leal in the PFL. Alex Morono in the UFC, which isn't a bad loss. Morono is actually really good, but you know some of these other losses weren't necessarily the best. He did beat Abu Bakar uh, Nurmagomedov. The triangle took in the first round, which was a good one, and you know lost to Li Jingliang, which was one, which wasn't too bad. But anyways, it's it's cool to see him in in octagon here and in, in front of his German crowd. Dal uh, Dulatov, that should be an interesting fight too. This guy's huge. That should be a fun one. Um, Greek fighters always bring it. But I think I, I would say that these three are like the people's main event. This one, you know, they needed a title fight at the top of the card. So, so we got one. We got one. Um, anyways, let me know your picks. Let's share them here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Advertising, Lars, advertising. Jenkins Jenks, new around here. Discovered y'all from Octagon 52. First, thank you uh, for the go who gifted a membership. And two, thank you for the other gift. I got you loud and clear. Jenkins is one of the real ones. Jenkins <laughs> understands. We love you, Jenkins. Thank you so much for joining. Appreciate you. 
there's only there's only so many gifts I can I can give. You know, it's, it's the same with Dylan. You know, sometimes eventually the well runs dry. Um. All right, guys. The fights are the the looks like all like the buffer and and updates and advertising for the next fights. It looks like it's all kind of over now. The broadcasters are saying a couple more things here, and then the next fighters are going to be making their walkouts. Jenkins, Jenks, welcome. Um, if you check out the community tab, you guys can join our Discord now. Dulatov fights in two more fights, guys. So we have this one right now. Dulatov fights after these. Um, the chat's buzzing here. The chat's absolutely buzzing. All right, so this is the next one. Like I said, this is the next one. But I I'm more excited for the Zawada fight. This fight should be fun. Both these guys, only three losses. This one should be an absolute banger. Everyone's excited for Dulatov. Or, and uh, and then we have a title fight, which, you know, nothing's going to top that LFA prelim yesterday. Nothing's going to top that, but th this should still be a fun one. Octagon Man is becoming one of my favorite promotions. It's so consistent, too. They put on so many shows. And it's like, I, I don't have high, exp I don't have KSW expectations, yet it impresses me like KSW sometimes, right? So I, I really like this league. Not yet, buddy. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, the chat's making me stay. Uh, me, dry, well, psh, don't, don't be crazy. The gifts will continue. I oh, appreciate it, dude. Guys, smash that like button. We're trying to get to 60 likes on the video. Let's freaking go. Dylan the go. Yeah, dude, Dylan's going ham today, dude. Growing the community, man. There's like a little internal competition going on. It's crazy. Your internal giveaways is absolutely insane. Everyone who likes this video and hangs out in the live chat literally has a chance to become a member because every five likes or every goal we've been hitting, Dylan's been handing out membership. So shout out to you guys. Uh, Deliza Dulatov, bro, Zawada, Akipa, my bet. I like it. I like it. What's up, Victor? Thank you so much for joining. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it, dude. I like it. All right. Main card is about to start now, dude. Crosby looks like he's fucking... Canadian, honestly. He looks like a Crosby. Holy shit. Oh, man. Chushek is... <sighs> They're literally serving him up on a silver platter to a Akipa. Akipa cannot disappoint, man. Like I said, if, if Akipa disappoints, the poll question is, who disappointed more? Jubilee or Akipa? Straight up. Because the Jubilee started riots in India, man. I swear to God. People were like, getting their pitchforks and like torches and just running wild in the streets after Jubilee lost. When is Jubilee fighting? Am I right? Am I right? Exactly that. All right. The people's main event, my ass, dude. Don't even say that on the live chat. This is a layup for Akipa. He has to beat this old man. Boom! Boom! <laughs> Smash that like button. Smash that like button. Let's go, Dylan. What the fuck, dude? Oh my god. What do you all think? Look, the well looked dry. Oh my god. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you so much. Dylan with another gifted membership. Let's go. And it's all because of you guys. You guys are liking the video. And that Dylan said for every five likes. And then you guys started smashing that like button. And he started just handing out membership. Let's go, dude. Holy shit, Dylan. Thank you, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Jubilee brought a lot of shame and tears to India. Oh my God, Dylan. Thank you so much, dude. That is crazy. Dylan has given how many memberships out so far? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, eight freaking memberships. We hit our like goals. This is crazy, man. This is crazy. Thank you, Dylan. Holy shit. Just watch Alvazetta will maybe be the next person to get him to turn on memberships now. Colin, what's up, buddy? What's going on? Just watching a little Octagon 53. The main card is finally just starting. They're showing the cold open for the main card here. Fighters should be making their walk to the cage in about two to three minutes. We already went through these fighters, and it's, it's 
there's not really much to talk about, which is the craziest thing, right? Because this guy doesn't have any great wins yet on his resume, although he does have finishing ability. And and they've served him up an old man, right? Who's 36 years old, but in his picture on freaking Octagon, he looked like he was like Ken Shamrock, you know, pushing 60. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look at his crazy record, too. This is absolutely insane. It is on DAZN, Ghost. It is on DAZN. DAZN or OKMMA TV if you want to buy the pay-per-view. Tusek fought Islam. Where did he fight Islam? He fought Benoit Saint-Denis in Brave as well, dude. Benoit Saint-Denis. Um, Abus Magomedov. Hey, he's walking out to Metallica, though. So how can you not love? Yeah, Islam Makachev at M1. Yeah, he lost to him. Boom, 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 no, no. Nicholas Dalby. He fought Nicholas Dalby. Dude, this guy's fought a lot of UFC guys. That's crazy, actually. Walking out to Metallica, though. How can you not like that? Everyone's booing him. The crowd's booing him right now. No problem, M. Thank you for joining, as always. David Zawada's last UFC fight was against Alex Morono, who's a great fighter to watch. Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go. If you guys are new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction. All the amazing folks in the live chat. Keep the comments coming. Keep the comments coming. It should be there. Go. So it's on DAZN in North America, anyways. It's on DAZN in North America. Um, Ghost, hold on one sec, buddy. Try this. Don't say I never did anything for you, Ghost. I like your profile picture, so there you go. I feel like Dylan today. <laughs> Shout out to you, Snowball, as well. Snowball's the real MVP. I'm more of a Megadeth guy than Metallica. The members will know that. Kyle and I ranked uh, Megadeth albums and Metallica albums. And I just prefer Dave Mustaine's aggressive guitar style. And those voices kind of fucked. It works. It works. But anyways. Good walkout song here. Like Till I Collapse by Eminem. Like that's a good walkout song too. That gets you pumped. What I want is I want like UFC fighters to start walking out to the Pride theme song. Like the UFC straight up owns that shit. That boom, 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 dude. That would be hype. Horiguchi comes back to the UFC, walks out to the Pride theme song. Him or Kai Asakura. Oh my god, I would lose my mind. Yeah, pre Black album. Boo. Nah, man. Kill 'em All is the Metallica's best album, and you know why? Because Dave Mustaine wrote the best seven songs on that album. Let's go. <laughs> um, are you putting some clips on the channel for non-members of the music talk? Probably not. Hockey from home. From Brazil, Wanderlei Silva. All right, Akipa's making his walk out right now, guys. Akipa's walking out. Akipa's walking to the cage. He wants to punish him like the punisher that he is. <laughs> That's what the broadcast is saying right now. Honestly, shout out to the Octagon English broadcast, man. They're doing a great job here tonight. They're doing a great job. Yeah, hockey, I'm not, I'm not going to clip up that stuff. Probably just the MMA talk. He's just a big Al City. Is he Azalea rap? Adele kind of guy to you for those who like him. <laughs> I don't even know who is the Azalea. Yeah, Adele has Adele has a good voice, bro. I'll give her that. Uh Iggy, I don't even know who Iggy Azalea is. Although I knew I know who a Jerome Ginla is. His nickname's Iggy. Uh Owl City. I know three of their songs. Um, but they're old, older. I know they're like 2007, 2009 band, eh? Ishii gets caught in Vanilla Twilight, I hear. Vanilla Twilight. I saw that movie twice, but I, that, that was an excuse to hang out with pretty girls in high school. 
You want to go see Twilight? Oh, fuck yeah, bud. Um, gotcha. Now you know Alf, how Alpha Zeta feels. Hey, I got you. Got you, ghost. That's the song by Owl City. Oh, Vanilla Twilight. See, I don't know, bro. I've been listening to Megadeth Rust in Peace lately. I'm not doing it justice. Uh, Akipa TKO round two. Iggy Azalea is an Australian musician pretending to be a southern black woman who just loved Twilight. Ghosts, I gave you, I gave you a gift, brother. I gave you a gift and it didn't cost a thing. JD, thank you for the five dollar donation. Oh my goodness, JD. <laughs> I can't keep up with our penthouse dwelling purple belt holding piano play in Patreon who likes to eat foe, but I can give you five bones for 55 likes guys we're almost at 60 likes dude jd thank you so much for the five dollars dude jd you already go above and beyond and support us by being a member month in and month out my man so thank you jd you supported us with eight dollars yesterday as well dude so i don't need the donations i know how much you support us jd and i really appreciate it having said all that holy fuck 55 likes let's go guys let's go thank you jd Ish was this year's number one listener of the Gangnam Style and Party Rock by LF. Dude, Party Rock by LMFAO. That was like my my like age group when everyone just started drinking beers. That's when that song came out. <laughs> JD is awesome. Party rockers in the house tonight. Something, something. We gonna have a good time. That's that's LMFAO, right? No, no, you don't have to pay, Ghost. You don't have to pay. Ghost, I already gave it to you, brother. Last time, Ghost. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. I, be I believe in you. Ghost, this is your last chance, brother. All right, fighters are just being announced in the ring, guys. All right, well, I I don't know what to tell you, Snowball. It works for everybody else, buddy. All right, time to commentate the fight, guys. A round one, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. This guy's an old man. This guy's an old man. Ghost, I promise you it does. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen. And right away, right away, I keep it with the left. And look over the takedown is Trusek. Trusek, look over the takedown. He gets it. Akipa looking to try to get back up to his feet. Oh, my goodness. By the way, if y'all don't know, these fighters have big beefs because Akipa thought Trusek made a joke about Akipa's mom. Dude, Trusek's landing some big shots on Akipa early. Oh, my goodness. We're about 50 seconds in. Trusek's pushing Akipa up against the cage looking for the takedown. Scroll up. Four minutes and 16 seconds on the clock. Three minutes and 50 seconds. Still looking for the takedown is Trusik. I mean, Akipa, he's, his MMA is being tested here. We know he's a striker. His MMA is being tested here. Three minutes and 50 seconds. Trusik still hunting for this takedown on the long and rangy a keeper, a keeper with some elbows here. Three minutes and forty-three seconds. Three minutes and thirty-three seconds on the clock. Three minutes and thirty-one seconds. Three minutes and 14 seconds.
Still pushing a keep up against the cage. They don't want to use their eyes. They don't want to listen, brother. Eye patch cornerman is goaded 100%. Exactly that. I got you, Ghost. I got you. See, Ghost knows, guys. Two minutes and 40 seconds. See you later, Hog from home. These people got no respect. No respect. What's up, AJ? Two minutes and 32 seconds on the clock. True sick. Pushing a keeper up against K. Still can't get the takedown. Still can't get the takedown. So, Trusik's just going to try to grind him out here, and Trusik gets the takedown. A keeper on the bottom here. Trusik with the right hand, plant, or right foot planted. Modified half guard side control. Uh oh. A keeper facing some adversity here, trying to get back up to his feet. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock. Now looking for a neck, looking for a Darce, maybe. One minute and 45 seconds on the clock, controlling the right shoulder of a keeper as Trusik. Trusek looking to maybe try to get the back. A keeper back up to his feet. Oh, a nice knee to the face of a keeper by Trusek. One minute and 44 seconds. He's 41. He's not 36. He's 41 years of age, ladies and gentlemen. And he's outworking a keeper right now. This is absolutely insane. A keeper is losing this round, ladies and gentlemen. One minute on the clock. A keeper is losing this round. He can't do anything. Trusik's just smothering him. Couple right hands by Trusik. Now, let's see if Trusik gasses here. He is a lot older. A keeper now. Body lock. Looking to maybe take Trusik's back here. Final 45 seconds of this first round. Fifty-four seconds on the clock. Forty-four, or sorry, uh, thirty-four seconds. Looking to get his own takedown as a keeper here. Do not grab the cage, Trusik, you crazy old fart. Twenty-five seconds. Two in two more fights, Ghost. Two more fights. Exclusive members. If you want to become uh, exclusive members, we can help you out in Discord. Oh, a nice right hand by Trusik on the entry here. Looking to get one more takedown, and he does. He does get one more takedown right into side control. Oh, my goodness. What a great end to the round there by Trusik, who honestly, he won the first round. Trusik wins the first round. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. What's up, Jorge? Jorge Miller, is that right? Um, I think Akipa should win, dude. Akipa should win. But Trushik, man. Hey, appreciate you, buddy. All right. I mean, Trushik apparently is over 40 years of age. Who do I want to win? Well, I kind of want a keeper to win. I, I want Octagon to be able to, to put him on big big cards in Germany, right? I want him to be able to be like co-headline and headline those, those cards in Germany because he could be a good local star. But, you know, he's only crushed cans at this point and he can't even take out this guy. Yeah, all judges have a 10-9 after the first round for Trushik, who rightfully won that round. Dude, big shout out to Ghost, Miller... AJ, all you guys in the live chat here watching, Mamo, HM, Kickass McGrass, Hockey, you guys are all awesome. We have really bad charisma. Even worse than Dulatov, I think. All right, round two, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, some big knees on the feet by Akipa and clash of heads here. Ref's going to warn him. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Trusik. Trusik with the left and Trusik going right back to smothering Akipa up against the cage. But Akipa did land some good shots early. Those body shots are going to slow him down. 
Four minutes and 10 seconds. Hype, Chusick experience showing here. Absolutely. Chusick with a takedown. Chusick pulling him away from the cage too as the keeper was doing a good job of using that cage to get back up to his feet. And Trusik with some big elbows on top. Dude, Trusik, oh my goodness, is exposing this guy. Trusik in full mount. Trusik in full mount. Oh my goodness, Trusik is in full mount. This is crazy. Trusik might go for an arm triangle choke here. Holy, holy crap. Full mount for Trusik. Three minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Oh my goodness, some big right hands by Trusik. Akipa's just holding on for dear life right now, trying to pull him down, but Trusik is beating up this prospect. If you can even call him that at this point. Back take by Trusik. Trying to scramble out of it as Akipa. Trusik staying right on top of him full mount. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay, a little bit more, a little bit of a better scramble by Akipa on the ground here. And now Akipa reverses Trusik. Maybe looking for a guillotine. Trusik looking for a guillotine. Oh my goodness. He's asleep. He put him to sleep. Oh my goodness, Akipa's asleep. Terrible stuff. Akipa's asleep. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely insane. He's out. Good stoppage. He was asleep, dude. He was asleep. He was asleep. It's over. I cannot believe this. Great shame. Great shame. He brings great shame. Oh my goodness. What is worse, ladies and gentlemen? What is worse, Akipa or Jubilee? Oh my goodness, that was one of the... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Ivica Trushek just choked out a keeper and put him to sleep. He was out for like 10 seconds. No, like 5 seconds. Trushek had to tell him. Ref needed to be on that. <laughs> Guillotine to sleep. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, dude. The huge underdog just won this one. The huge underdog. Okay, apparently he's okay. Oh my god. Yeah, dude, he was out for like tech 10 seconds. He like it was a while, dude. Oh my goodness. Vika Trushek gets his 43rd victory. By choking out a keeper. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love MMA because you never know when you're going to witness. Oh, jeez. Dude, a keeper was asleep for so long, man. The ref was asleep. The ref was asleep. That was crazy, man. Biggest upset on the card. Biggest upset on the card. Biggest upset on the card, bro. He was plus 425, man. He was plus 425. A guillotine so good, it put the rev out. Yeah, dude, his fights are like, he hasn't beaten anybody good. Yeah, he's got four KOT gives, one submission, one decision. Yeah, he's 4 known GMC, but look at this. When he fights a guy who actually has had fights, not super good. He beats a guy making their debut. He beats a two and three guy. Okay, he's beaten a six and eight guy. That that I mean, in this case, I guess that's I. And then before it was just guys making their debuts, right? So he hasn't really beaten anybody of note. Whereas this guy's fought. I mean, he old. He old as fuck. But he's fought everybody, man. He's fought everybody and everywhere. Like look at some of these guys he's fought. Even even lost to right. Soldik. Abus Magomedov. Islam Makachev is on here as well. Yeah, Nicholas Dalby's up there. Absolutely insane, dude. Absolutely insane. Wow. Cauliflower versus no cauliflower. See, those those people always think they're Habib, but just turn their stats to just an empty bubble. Absolutely. Absolutely. What's up, Mickey? It's good to see you. Love the profile picture. Dude, great win, man. Great win. Oh my goodness, dude. That was insane, dude. That was insane. All right. Do we have should we change the poll question now? Should we change the poll question now? I mean, who brings more shame to their country? Jubilee or this cat? Oh my goodness, dude. 
Absolutely insane. Good display of respect between the opponents here. Good display of respect. All right, we will highlight the next fighters here in a moment, guys. Let me know your picks in the live chat. I keep a lost, dude. I keep a lost. Hello from Serbia. What's up, Mickey? Good to see you. Shout out to Mickey all the way from Serbia. Let's go. Akipa's getting interviewed after he just got choked out, dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, dude. All right, we're changing up the poll question here, guys. Thank you so much for everybody who has uh, voted on the last one. We kind of know who the good underdogs are at this point, eh? We kind of know who good underdogs are at this point. A big shout out to everyone joining us. 65 likes on the channel. Let's go. Let's get to 70, guys. Let's get to 70. Let's freaking go. Um, best underdog on the card. 42% go to Eva Dorthe, by the way. We're going to close this one and we're going to start a new one. Thank you guys so much for voting in the poll question. We're going to start a new poll here. Who brought more shame to their country? Was it Jubilee? Was it Sihad Akip Akipa? That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. That is the poll question. The poll question is live, ladies and gentlemen. 66 likes, let's go! You guys are awesome. Really appreciate you. Uh, he hasn't fought yet, buddy. He hasn't fought yet. He's coming up next, though. He's coming up next. Yeah, we'll look at his stats. Don't worry. We'll look at his stats. I heard his stats are also made pretty with weak opponents. You think Dual will win? The Greek is really strong. He beat Jung Wirth, but Eckerlin beat him. I do think this is going to be a good fight. I don't think it's going to be an easy fight for Dual Tov. It hasn't, they haven't fought yet, George. They haven't fought yet. Uh, Yeah, newbie, ask the chat, dude. I gave it to the chat a bunch, man. The chat can help you out. All right, we'll quickly look at Dulatov. We'll quickly look at Dulatov. Again, he his record's good. His record's good. He's tall. He's, he's a weird fighter to prepare for. But again, he doesn't have the greatest opponents. Five KO, TKO, four submissions. Freaking Will Chope. 42 and 19. Like, actually, you know, he's actually not too bad. Five and two guy here. Um, and a lot of and four and one on the amateur scene, but yeah, not not the greatest one. Nine and five, thirteen and seven, meh. Five and two is good. So I'd say like three good wins on his resume. Uh, Trushek is apologizing for the Twitter beef. Uh, what's up, Dylan? Smashing David Zawada. Let's go. Uh, Islam, Dulatov is tough, but only fought Khan. This Magomedov, Soljak, and other tough, tough, tough people. Yeah, guys who actually uh, Jirchak, um fought. There you go, there you go. Again, appreciate you, man. Thank you so much for joining. All you guys, thank you so much for joining. I got new glasses. Maybe that's why I look a little different. And my freaking light is blaring over me right now. All right. Four more fights left on this card, ladies and gentlemen. Four more fights left on this card. <laughs> okay, we get it. You apologize. Next. Let's highlight the next fighters here. We got... David Zawada, former UFC fighter. This guy's a character, man. It's pretty yoked for 42 years of age. David Zawada, 18 and 9 as a pro. 1 and 4 in his last five fights. Oh, it ain't looking great, but he's back from the UFC. He is back in front of his home crowd of Germany. He's in Octagon. His brother fights in the promotion and now at 33 years of age, I think he has the potential to be a star in Octagon. He's not a bad fighter. He's got good stand-up. 12 KOTKOs, four submissions, two decisions, one and four in the UFC, three and two in KSW, and zero and two in the PFL. That's right. He crashed and burned in the PFL upon having a meh career in the UFC. Magomed Karimov beat him. Carlos Leal beat him. 
Who the fuck is that guy? Am I right? Alex Morono, who's actually a pretty good fighter, one of the better fighters in his division outside the top 15. That was a good scrap. That was a good scrap. Amiv beat him. He did beat Abu Bakar Nurmagomedov. That is that is a win that will always age well, in my opinion. And Li Jing Liang, I mean, that's not a bad loss in the UFC either. He was on a great run before entering the UFC in his spec. Um, he also beat a 12-4 guy in KSW. Some good wins in GMC and KSW. Like, So he is a good fighter. He's a good fighter. Just got overwhelmed by that PFL and UFC talent. Can't believe I give PFL any credit there. His opponent here out of Iran is 7-3 and three as a pro. 4-1 and one in his last five fights, and he's on a three-fight win streak. One KO, TKO, four submissions, two decisions. I imagine he's a little bit more of a wrestler. And his record's not that great. He's beaten eight and six guys, seven and nine, two and oh. He, he took a step up in competition to fight Will uh, Flurry, lost. Other than that, has just crushed cans. So I, I imagine Zawada, this is a layup for him, and Zawada's going to kick his ass. So we're going with David Zawada to get back in the win column. Time to start his career here in Octagon. All right, guys. Uh, David might lose as well. Probably will get out grappled. Hopefully he lands a knee on the way in or something like that. Akipa needed to take a nap. Dun, 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 dun. Akipa got knocked out. Akipa, or sorry, Akipa got choked out. Choked out via guillotine choke. Keep a loss, ladies and gentlemen. It wasn't a good loss. It wasn't a good loss. All right, let me know your pick in the live chat, ladies and gentlemen. No, Marv, he hasn't fought yet. The water coming up next, guys. The water coming up next. Oh, man, I'm excited. I actually am excited for the Crosby bout, too, after this one. Tom Crosby. Where's he from again? Came from Cage Steel. Oh my goodness. And he's just knocking people out left, right, and center. Oh shit, thanks. No problem, buddy. Zawada will win easily. I, I think so too. I think so too. I think Zawada will win as well. So yeah, it's a Persian wrestler. He's not a Persian kickboxer. I, I want Zawada to win as well. I want Zawada to win as well. I I tend to root for the Persian kickboxers because they like they they usually have like a, a a short wrestling background and then like apply up that power to their striking. But this guy seems like he just smothers people for victories. No, uh, we're good on my end. We're good on my end, King James. Oh, no, I think it's DAZN's broadcast is freezing here, but we should be good. We should be good. We still got time as the uh, the cold open is still playing. The cold open is still playing. Again, guys, let me know your predictions in the live chat. He's from my hometown. Let's go. What's up, man? Good to see you. Um, who are you guys rooting for? Who are you rooting for? Are you rooting for Hojat Kav Kajevan Kajevand? I actually haven't heard that one. Moja or Hojat Kavejan against David Zawada. Who do you guys have in the live chat here? I'm picking David Zawada. Yeah, I think the DAZN uh, broadcast just froze here, guys. He trains where you train. Nice, no name. You also a fighter? Hojat. Oh, sweet, sweet. Is it mostly a wrestling gym or how's this, how's this striking? How's this stand up? How's this stand up? I'm just refreshing my iPad here. Just refresh it, guys. Just refresh it. You should be okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. First MMA. Okay, it's more so an MMA gym. Okay, here we go. It, it's it's unfrozen on my end now, but it's unfrozen on my end. Looks like we're good to go. And Zawada's making his walk out now, guys. Zawada's making his walk out now. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. Making his debut in Octagon. <laughs> Zawada is walking out. But he comes from wrestling. Yep. Zawada from the UFC. 
Didn't look good in PFL, but honestly, I liked watching him in the UFC. He's got a hard task ahead of him. Someone who is a very good grappler on a three-fight win streak right now. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go. No name, his training partner and friend is watching in the live chat here. All right, guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Guys, there's 83 of you in the live chat. Smash that like button. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So what about to enter the cage? Look, there's I cannot believe there's 80 freaking people watching. That is amazing, guys. Support your boy. Like I said, German MMA fans show up. They hang out. They support their own. Let's freaking go. Yeah, Zawada's brother retired, what, uh, two cards ago? Like it up. Thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate you. Main card minute. Guys, big shout to Dylan. He's been handed out. Memberships left, right, and center. We got JD with the donation as well. Guys, thank you so much for all the support you're showing this channel. Appreciate you. Don't forget to vote in the new poll question as well. Guillotine choke. Guillotine choke. I, yeah, they're all here to support their boy, baby. They're all here to support their boy. Let's freaking go. No, guillotine, guillotine. Guys, smash that like button. All right, the Persian fighter making his walk out now. The audience is going to boo him. The audience is going to boo him. Hojat Kajevan. Round two, round two. So he was born in Iran, but uh, he's been living in Germany for a while. He's the number... F oh, wait, he hitchhiked from Iran to Germany? That's crazy, man. So he escaped Iran, hitchhiked his way to Germany. That's nuts, man. That's nuts. That's cool. That's cool. Okay, so he, he actually like carries the German flag versus the Iran flag. That's pretty cool. Like on his graphics. So shout out to him. I like that. I like that. Um, but sorry, buddy. David Zawad is gonna beat you. That's my pick locking it in. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Who are you rooting for, guys? If you're new to the channel, we do live play by play, commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat here. Let's celebrate a win from Zawada. I, I rooted for him when he was in the UFC. Look, I'm half Persian. I should be rooting for my Persian cousin over here, but I'm rooting for Zawada. I want to see him get back in the win column. I mean, look at the records as of late. Nothing but success for this young man, but freaking. Zawada, not good in the PFL or his last couple of UFC fights. He won his only, uh, I mean, his only win as of late was in Octagon. So he's back. Some good juju. Let's go, Zawada. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Did they just say this guy missed his sister's funeral to fight right now? I missed it. I missed that, dude. Is David's bus driver brother still in his corner? I think so. What's up, Mikey P? Good to see you. He was he's retired, thankfully. Yeah, I remember he he fought two two cards ago, two or three cards ago. Oh yeah, his sis, dude. His sister's funeral was today, dude. How can you not like kind of like root for this guy in his story? Hitchhiked his way from Iran to Germany, escaped Iran. Okay, now fights like with the German flag. He's like, I am German. Um. And he's skipping his sister's funeral to fight here tonight. That is crazy, man. I mean, this is the people's main event. Because you can root for both of these guys now. This is crazy. Wow. Yeah, I, I'm rooting for both of these guys. I hope both of them have success. I hope this is just an entertaining fight for the fans. Zawada will win. What's up, Herbom? If Luca won his fight, I would have won a thousand on a twenty dollar bet. I'm super salty right now. Damn. David looks not in great shape. As I remember him in the UFC and PFL is losing. Oh no, you're right. He doesn't look like he's in great shape. Uh oh. I keep a loss. Gonna get outworked. I bet. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. 
All right, guys, round one is about to begin. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all you amazing folks in the live chat. So comment as you watch. Don't forget to smash that like button. Let's try to get to... I don't even know where we are with likes. Let's try to get to... Let's try to get to 70 likes. Let's try to get to 70 likes. I think we will make it, but I don't know the other guy. I keep a lost second round submission. Zawada isn't top notch, but he is really solid. 69. Nice. Let's get to 70, guys. Smash, smash, smash. All right. Yeah, Hoja looks like he's in great shape here. He's number fifth ranked. What are they, welterweights? Fifth rate welterweight in the division. Or middleweight. Okay, they're fighting middleweight. I was going to say, I don't think Zawadi's a little too doughy to be a welterweight. By the way, shout out to you, buddy. Thank you so much for being an exclusive member. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Round one is about to begin, ladies and gentlemen. You can't fight with anger. Keep it. Forget to control himself. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Round one in this fight. Let's, go. Let's get it on. Back in Octagon is Zawada. Looking to continue his win streak. Is Ka Jevand. You should have to just check the Discord. Four minutes and 51 seconds on the clock. David should never be three to one fave. Let's go like it, sub guys. Bring our boy to 70 likes. What's up, Volcan? Four minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Kijavand. Looking for looking for that entry on the takedown. David is great. Hope he wins, but he's got a really strong opponent. Four minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Appreciate you guys for joining. Four minutes. Kajevan in the top position here. Already controlling Zawada on the ground. Kajevan, feet planted, looking for his entry. Zawada might get back up to his feet. Kajevan, oh, Kajevan re-enters his guard in half guard. Three minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. I really wanted to watch this card. Bernie Garcia ready too. Three minutes and 28 seconds. Bernie ready to kill parlays. Looking for an arm bar is Zaweda from the ground. Th three minutes on the clock. Again, in the guard of Zaweda right now is Kajevand. And Kajevand was the underdog coming into this one at plus 375. Zaweda was a huge favorite at minus 500. Bet online, minus 450. Bovada, minus 345 on Bet US. Still in that modified half guard side control. And right knee, both knees planted is Kajevand right now, landing some right hands or left hands. That one went the distance. That one went the distance. Didn't realize Zawada was in the PFL last year. Remember him from the UFC. I predict these things getting outworked. He did, Blues. He did. She's getting out of the guard. Kajavan, dude. Kajavan's absolutely destroying right now. Outworking him. It's on DAZN or OK MMA TV. Right back up to his feet is Zawada and Kajavan with the takedown again. Kajavan now looking to get the back of Zawada. One minute and 50 seconds on the clock. Kajavan. Both them back up to their feet. Under hooks in. Zawanda pushing now. Kajavan up against the cage. He's on his feet as well. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Knees by Zawada. Good job by the ref telling them to stay busy. Paulo Kaj won. Yes, he did. One minute and 29 seconds on the clock. They separate. K 
KP, I got you. One minute and 16 seconds on the clock. Counter right hand by Kejavan, but Zawada now landed a, a nice one too. They're just scrapping. Oh, each of them land a nice left on each other. And Kejavan goes for the double leg and he gets it. Fifty seconds on the clock. Forty-four seconds. Getting back up to his feet is Zawada. Zawada with the right hand. They separate. Twenty-five seconds. Center of the cage. Zawada with a double left. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. They're in Germany right now, though. They're in Germany right now. What's up, Hank the Tank? One oh Hoja. Yeah, final ten seconds of the fight. Or final ten seconds of the first round. Oh, they each land some good shots. I've invaded the Discord. Let's go. And the final takedown. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. End of the first round, ladies and gentlemen. Hoja was more active. Got more takedowns. Was actually active with his takedowns. Trying to pass guard. Landing some shots. Outworking Zawada. Zawada did land some good shots on the feet, though, but I don't think that was enough to win the round. I got a 10-9 Hojad as well. We will see in the live scoring. Um, I'm not super high on Devin Clark personally, but he, he's a good distance fighter. All right, more M&M. More till I collapse. I can, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. Our round two is coming up here, guys. Again, smash that like button if you haven't already. Hoja Keva, uh, Kajevand is up in this fight, and he was a huge underdog coming into this one. Plus 375, plus 300, plus 225, respectively, on BetOnline Bovada and BetUS. Easy takedowns here. Yeah, all the judges have a 10-9 for Kajavan. I think Marson just outstrikes him and gets the win decision. Neither of them have like knockout power at the UFC level. But having said that, Devin Clark could just push him up against the cage and just hold him there. Yeah, but like his striking's not bad. Like it's he's got good striking technique. He just pillow hands and his takedown defense isn't anything great. So that one for me, it's like whatever. It's kind of a flip of a coin. Um, I think both of them have paths to victory. Via decision, Devin Clark is to hold him up against the cage. Uh, Marcin is to just outstrike him like points. All right, round two, by the way, guys. Let's go! Till I collapse. Oh, big right hand by Zawada. And Kid Javan lands some good shots as well. Four minutes and 20 seconds on the clock. Pushing forward is Zawada with his strikes. Counter right by Kid Javan. Kid Javan with a counter right of his own. Kajavan's keeping his hands a little too low, though. Zawada with a nice right. Zawada with a nice left. Zawada pressuring Kajavan outside that center line. Four minutes on the clock. They each land a leg kick. Center of the cage. A nice left and a right, and a right and a left by Kajavan. Kajavan's landing some good shots here, forcing Zawada up against the cage. What a fight. Kajavan looking for the takedown. Good job by Zawada evading it quickly. Kajavan's got to keep his hands up. He's got to keep his hands up, bro. Zawada's so got a good stance there, but he's tagging him every single time on the counter. Three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. <laughs> filet fish I love it. I kind of want to eat a filet fish tonight in honor of Andre Philly. Three minutes and 39 seconds on the clock. Tried to step in with the right uppercut was Kijavan and socked him right in the face was Zawada. I like Hajat's movement. His hands are too low, though, man. I hate that. His hands are too low, and he's getting cracked by that right by Zawada. And look at his nose. is already pieced up from that jab. That's what I'm saying. Like, I get you're faking with the entries, but keep your freaking hands up, bro. At the end of the day, this is still fighting. Straight left by Zawada. See, all these jabs by Zawada are, are getting through. Easy. Nice body shot by Zawada. This is a good scrap. This is a good scrap. Zawada's getting the better of him on the feet, for sure, but this round is very close. I feel like Ige's boxing, his block off, and I don't like even like Ige, but Fila's overhyped uh, even after his last fluke win. 
I just think he's just he's a brawler as well. I think Iga has better striking for sure. But I just think it's gonna be a brawl. Felipe beats nine Feliz out of ten times. Two minutes and thirty seconds on the clock. And now I'm just and now I'm just wanting some filet fish, my dude. Or some salmon. Two minutes and twenty two seconds on the clock. Outside low kick by Zawada. Zawada's doing good on in the striking department here. I'd love to see 50k actually get 50k for once. That would be nice. Kid Javon with a straight left. Yeah, it is on the DAZN app. It is on the, in North America anyways. Kid Javon looking for the takedown. Doesn't get it. Needs the body on the setback. What's up, Benson? Good to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. We do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. We're streaming UFC as well as RWS Japan later today as well. One minute and 38 seconds on the clock. CR7 Vegeta. Love your name, by the way, dude. One minute and 31 seconds on the clock. The chat has it, Emery. I've, I've posted too many times. I can't keep handing out gifts. I ain't fucking Santa Claus up in this mouth. But the chat has it, so ask them nicely. They will help you out. One minute and 21 seconds on the clock. Straight left jab by Kid Javad. Sorry, one minute now and 10 seconds. So Wade with the left of the body. Lol. <laughs> 55 seconds. Low kicks here by Kajevan. Oh, nice step in left. I mean, bro, keep your fucking hands up. I don't I don't know why freaking Hoja doesn't want to keep his hands up. Actually, I know why, but it's like it ain't working, bro. He doesn't want any sort of feints on his level changes, but still. Double left jab and a right. That was actually nice by uh, Jevon, but what's up, Stefan? Good to see you, buddy. But yeah, Zawada is is winning this fight. Kid, Jav uh, Kid Javon gets the takedown late here, final seconds of the second round. He does get the takedown, but I think Zawada has won this round. I think the judges will have this. We'll have this tied going into the third. Takedowns won the round. I don't think the takedown won the round. Not enough. Not enough control time for me. Hojat's gassing. Two down for David. I think David won this second round. Ooh. Yeah, I, I think Zawada won this round. Zawada pieced him up on the feet, dude. Hoja did land some good strikes, don't get me wrong, but Zawada definitely won it on, on the feet there, and most of that first round, or most of that second round was on the feet. I got Hojat Kajevand winning the first round easily, no discussion. David Zawada way closer because it mostly took place on the feet. Hoja didn't do much with his takedowns when he got them in the sec in late in the second round. So Zawada won that second round in my mind. I think, I think. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see in the live scoring here. What are they saying? What are they saying? I bet the takedown stole it. <laughs> we'll see how we'll see how the judges scored it here. But I got it 1-1 going into the third. We shall see. It is live scoring. So we, you guys are a little ahead of me. So if you see it, just let me know in the live chat. 2018. Oh my goodness. You guys were right. What the fuck? 2018. For Hojet Kajevan. I don't agree with that. I think the second round should go to Zav uh, Zawada. So Zawada's down two rounds. Activate A and HM were right. Yep. Damn, dude. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that. All right. Zawada needs a knockout. Z Zawada needs a knockout. And look over the takedown. Oh, oh, and a nice knee by Kajevand. But yeah, it's live scoring. So Zawada knows exactly where he stands right now. Looking for that big shot and... Kajavan gets the takedown by Zawada, looking to get right back up to his feet. Kajavan, look for the back take. Good job by Zawada getting back up to his feet. Maybe should have bet the big dog. Four minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. Yeah, there have been some crazy underdogs here tonight, guys. There have been, there've been some crazy underdogs here. Four minutes on the clock. Center, or sorry, three minutes and 50 seconds. Back to the center of the cage. Zawada, yeah, he's going to have to go full kickboxer here. Attack the legs. 
Nice left hand by Zawada. Take advantage of Kid uh, Kajevan, who keeps his hands low, and he's been keeping his hands low in the striking department all round. Oh, some big body shots here. Nice knee to the body by Zawada, but Zawada's doing... Oh, Zawada with a nice knee. Zawada with a left. Dude, Kajevan's fading. Kajavan's fading. Zawada with some shots to the body. Zawada now looking for the takedown. Dude, dude, Zawada might get this. Zawada looking for the takedown. Zawada gets the takedown. Zawada gets the takedown. Zawada looking good. He is on mount. He is on mount. This is amazing. This is amazing. Oh my goodness. Oh. He's gassing though too. Three minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Who wants it more? Who wants it more, ladies and gentlemen? Big left hand by Zawada. Who wants it more? He has to stay active here on Mount. These refs are crazy. These refs will pull you off of Mount if you ain't active, motherfucker. Let's go. Let's go. Two minutes and 55 seconds on the clock here. Zoeda could have the biggest comeback. Zoeda could have the biggest comeback. He knows he's down two rounds and he's looking for the finish. He needs the finish. He needs the finish. Here we go, Zoeda. Here we go. Get the arm triangle. Or just start landing some freaking elbows, bro. But he's gassed. He's gassed, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes and 40 seconds on the clock here. And both of these guys are gassed. But Zaweda is in full mount. He needs to what he needs to dig deep. Whatever he has left, he has to use. There's two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. If he had a if he has a little bit of gas left, if he can muster up any energy here, go for the arm triangle. Go with the elbows. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Two minutes on the clock. David should never be three to one favored. Told you. Oh my goodness. He's not going to get it. If he does more damage, he can get a 10 8. He could maybe sneak out a draw. He could maybe sneak out a draw. No, man, you got two minutes. You finish this fight. You finish this fight. God damn it. So, wait, you finish this fight, brother. Come on. Come on. One minute and 50. Sorry, one minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Come on. Let's go. Fun fact, I heard someone say today starts the lunar year, but did you know it's the year of the dragon? <laughs> Paco is pissed. Paco is pissed. You bitch-ass motherfucker. You gone, you bitch-ass motherfucker. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. Nope. Choked it. Absolute domination on top. He's going for the choke. He's going for the choke. Oh, he's going to tap him here. Let's go. The way to get it done. The way to get it done. Verbal tap, ladies and gentlemen. Verbal tap. Verbal tap. Zoeda wins, guys. Zoeda wins. Let's freaking go. The fight is over. The fight is over. The fight is over. Oh my goodness. This is insane, ladies and gentlemen. This is insane. What a comeback. What a comeback. His knee popped, dude. Look at him. Look at him. He's in such distress right now. I just saw the replay on that. That was one of the craziest things I've ever seen. What a comeback. What a comeback. Zoweda showing respect here, but his knee was popped, dude. Zoweda was about to lose. Zoweda was about to lose because Hojat was able to get control late in that one. Zoweda right at the end with like, what was it? 50 seconds left. Snags up the ankle and pops his freaking knee. Oh my goodness, ladies and gentlemen. That was crazy. Oh my God. What a comeback. What a comeback. His foot is fucked. Holy cow, the weight is a beast. The heel hook. The heel hook knee pop. Oh my goodness. This is brutal. What a good fight. Is that a tap by scream? You never know when you're watching gold until it's over. Can Zoeda wins? He was about to lose. He was down two rounds. He was about to lose that third round. And freaking he snags a heel hook with like 50 seconds left. Oh my goodness. Sorry, buddy. What a fight. Uh, standing O to both of these guys. Standing O. Standing ovation, ladies and gentlemen. This guy missed his sister's funeral. Won two rounds. Had a good third round. Looked like he was coming back at the end of that third round. 
to stamp the victory and sneaking a heel hook there was David Zawada in round three. 50 seconds left to get the win, his win back in Octagon. Hoja via scream. I think it was a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. Same day Dan Hooker lost to Islam. Zawada won. You can't scream, it will be stopped. Unbelievable. What a fight. What a fight. It was a good scrap on the feet, man. Each of them threw a hundred over a hundred punches. 110 for uh Hojat. He landed 95. Zoeda landed a hundred strikes out of 185 thrown. Kejavan got five takedowns, and each of them had a submission attempt. Zaweda's wins the fight. Respect to both of these guys. What a tremendous fight, ladies and gentlemen. Standing ovation we gave these That's guys. Beautiful Standing in the ovation. He missed his sister's funeral and his knee got destroyed. But hopefully he gets some fight of the night bonus, man, because that was insane. Perfect proof that open scoring is way better. There you go. Because if he didn't know he was down, he wouldn't have thrown everything in the kitchen sink. You see those guys we want to see winning? Did Zawada or Hot win the funeral? They are humble. Good display of respect between these guys. Bowing to each other's corners. No, it is good to see. And Zawada is right back into the rankings as Hoja Kejavand was the number 5th ranked middleweight in Octagon. Will Islam be fighting next? Uh, no, he's not fighting next. He's the one after that. So next are these guys. Yeah, both fighters give a round of applause. This was an incredible fight. Incredible fight. Seems like his leg is okay, which is good, which is good. So one more fight until Islam's fight. Heel hook with literally, what was it? Wasn't it like 50 seconds left? I know we're all watching at different times right now. Good display of respect again between these guys. Man, what a fight. You can see, you can see that uh, Hojad can't believe it. In front of his home crowd in Germany. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, I'm going to update the ticker on the bottom of the screen. Zawad is saying, I'm here to perform. I'm here to perform, ladies and gentlemen. Speaking in German right now to the home crowd. Unbelievable stuff. That That's why we love mixed martial arts, ladies and gentlemen. That's why we love mixed martial arts. Unbelievable. Good job to Zawada. In front of his home crowd, too. You got to love it. You got to love it. He wants the title shot. Dude, this one's going to be an incredible fight, guys. This one's going to be an incredible fight. We have Tom Crosby, the freaking Viking, ladies and gentlemen. Eight and three as a pro. He is two, two, and one majority. What was this draw in his last five fights? Going up against a cat who has a draw as well in KSW. Mir Solav Bros, who's 16 3 and 1 on a four fight win streak here. He's 35 years of age. He's an absolute beast. Four KOT, two submissions, 10 uh, decisions. 6 and 3 in Octagon, one draw in KSW, 6 and 0 in Gladiator Championship fighting. Split decision in his last Octagon fight. He's been kind of crushing cans as of late, but he does have some good wins on his record, so don't let him fool you. He's good at outworking you, and every now and then he will, you know, a decision will go his way but he is getting old and as of late he hasn't been fighting the best of guys whereas tom crosby also i mean the 36 and 35 respectively tom crosby the viking three kft gives three submissions two decisions three one one in cage steel making his debut in this promotion he's also been crushing cans man and crushing worse cans he's gonna get his ass kicked let's let's just call it how it is Braz is going to absolutely destroy the Viking Tom Crosby. That was insanity. That's a good one, Zawada. 
as a way to absolutely brother let me know your prediction let's see the odds for this one oh my goodness yes minus 650 for bros minus 650 tom crosby's plus 475 on bet online plus 400 on bovada plus 390 on bet usa and plus 400 on betway great job by uh, Zawada uh, Zawa here. Yeah, his brother in his corner. That is amazing. That is amazing. All right. We just highlighted these guys. Let me know your opinions in the live chat. Let me know your pick in the live chat. Vote in the poll question too. Vote in the poll question as well. I want to know your guys' opinion in the poll question. Bum, ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, bum. All right, guys. I'm just checking in on the poll question right now. Don't forget to vote on the poll question. And again, appreciate every single one of you who are joining us right now. Your boy won, guys. Your boy won 77 likes, guys. We are almost at 80 likes on the video. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ross is going to hurt this, man. Mike did cancel because of one of them gets a cut from Fresh and and he can't. <laughs> do I think Dalisa will win? I do think she will. I do think she will. Dude, 78 likes. Let's go. We're almost at. That is amazing. Um, 118 votes. Who brought more shame to their country? Akipa or Jubilee? 69% of you guys say Akipa. You guys are good sports about it. I like it. you guys are good sports about it. And again, guys, we're not going to start UFC until Octagon is done. We're, we're doing all Octagon until it's done. Then we'll start UFC. I know people are already streaming UFC. Whatever, we're riding strong with Octagon. Then we'll, we'll then we'll get the UFC stream uh, up in a little bit. I'm gonna eat something between streams, and then and then we'll get then we'll jump over to UFC. All right, guys, keep the comments coming here. Smash that like button. Eighty like? Could you imagine? Could you imagine? If we got over 80 likes on this video, it's absolutely insane. I thought I thought 40 was was asking a lot, ladies and gentlemen. I've been following Octagon for over a year now, every single card. Like we used to do it periodically on the channel. Like if you look at our lives and, and search Octagon, you'll see like every few months we do Octagon. But now whenever there's an Octagon event, we never freaking miss it, man. It's awesome. It's one of the best and fastest growing promotions on the planet. And they're moving more and more fighters to UFC. If fucking Inca... And no disrespect to the Peruvians, but if Inca can move guys to the UFC and, and them actually have success because they got some badass uh, diamonds in the rough, dude, the Czech Republic and the fighters coming through Octagon are going to do it as well. I absolutely love this. Octagon with a K. K, not a C, even though that one's a right. Octagon with a K, ladies and gentlemen. He's got the thumbs up from Don Cherry. Exactly that. Good to see you, Victor, by the way. Good to see you. Guys, let me know your predictions on who you think is going to win in this next one. Tom Crosby. Miroslav Braz. Miroslav Braz should absolutely destroy this man. I'm just going to say that. I'm just going to say that. Both of these guys have crushed cans so much so like Hank the Tank said that they should that they probably got cuts. They probably got they probably got stitches. They probably got stitches. All right guys, we're going to take a quick break here. Final break of this card, okay? Final break of this card. 80 likes. Let's go, Leo. <laughs> Likes, let's fucking go. Let's go. That shit beautiful Dude, to guys, the motherfucker. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome, man. You guys are awesome. Really appreciate you guys. We're gonna take a quick bait break here. We will be back in literally two minutes on the other side to call this fight. The featured fight. We got three more fights left on this card, ladies and gentlemen. Featured fight coming up next year. And we highlighted them. I gave my opinion. I want to hear yours. So like the video, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and let me know who you are picking for this next one or in the next two fights. Back two minutes on the other side. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. Octagon 53 Watch Party Live here on the City Life Project YouTube channel. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Love, love, love. 
da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
Is he more of a disgrace to, <laughs> to his nation than that of Jubilee in the UFC? Let me know in the live chat. Unique New York. Unique New York. You get that delicious cheese sandwich quote from Tom Green. Let me scream it to the mountaintop. Zaweda won. Buddy's getting slapped in the face before entering the cage. This is crazy, bro. This is crazy, bro. Yeah, Shane, UFC starts right now, doesn't it? We'll do UFC in a bit. Dude, he looks possessed. Braz looks possessed right now. It is a Tom Green uh, quote. Good man. Please vote in the poll question. Let's go. Yeah, dude, Dylan knows. Dylan knows. Miroslav enters like he's the Teutonic Order. Uh, Zaweda won. Three minutes till the UFC. Yeah, well, we'll start UFC. Like I said, when, when this card is done, we'll jump right over to UFC. You can watch it on DAZN or OK MMA TV. All right, let's go. Let's get this one going. We have we, we got UFC to fight. Or we got UFC to watch later. All right, round one is about to begin here. Tom the Viking Crosby, 36 years of age. Miroslav Braz, 35. Both of them have similar records. As far as uh, losses, anyways, they each have three losses. Miroslav a little bit more experienced. Miroslav's fought better, you know, better guys. Both of them are can crushers, but Tom Crosby's cans are way worse. That's just basically how, how it goes. Demon Torch was denied a bank loan. That shit beautiful than a motherfucking. All right, Tom the Viking Crosby being announced here in the center of the cage. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, we will do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and interaction with all the amazing folks in the live chat. So don't forget to keep the comments coming. Don't forget to vote in the poll question. And uh, yeah, the stream's going to keep rolling tonight. Right after this, we're going to hop over and do UFC. Right after that, we're going to hop over and do RWS Japan, ladies and gentlemen. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Back to back to back here tonight. Miroslav looks wired, dude. He looks ready to go. Hey, what's up, buddy? Thank you so much for joining. Yeah, UFC starts in one minute. Miroslav Baraz, ladies and gentlemen. He's being announced now. The arsonist has, an, has oddly shaped feet. All right. Representing the Czech Republic, baby. UFC's crap today. I something something tells me that the UFC might be a sleeper card. By the way, um, I have uh Daniel Marcos winning in the first UFC bout right. Here, here's my UFC picks. So keep me updated on that because I'm gonna be uh I'm gonna be mostly focused on on the last three fights here in Octagon. All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen. Eh. Today's a, is a meh card, but some guys fighting for their contracts. Bloodlust. Human Torch was denied a bank loan round one. Let's go! Oh, I'm looking for that big right hand is Braz. Back in the center of the cage. But yeah, UFC's not the... Oh man, my shit just froze. What the heck? What the heck? My stupid old freaking iPad. Sorry, guys. One sec. We're just doing a quick refresh here. But they were square. They were squared up in the center of the cage. Bros was looking for a big knockout. Quick. Hopefully, I didn't miss it here. Like I said, I'm just refreshing everything. Okay. Looks like we're good. Looks like we're good. Woo! Nice counter right by Crosby. Good job, both of them. Good exchanges so far. About a minute 20 in. Good overhand right by Braz. Braz landed another good one. But Crosby, he's game to throw, man. Crosby with the outside low kick, but caught by Braz. And Braz throws him to the ground here. Three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. Uh, Not really. Not really. A lot of guys just from Contender Series, a lot of guys keeping their contracts alive. Joe Piper's in the main event, though, against um, Jack Hermanson. 
Booking wise, it's statistics, but we get some good re results. Exactly. Three minutes and 26 seconds on the clock. Nice shoulder strike by Braz. Braz pushing Crosby up against the cage. Three minutes on the clock. Three minutes and three seconds. Oh, big knees by Crosby here, but Braz with some elbows on the entry as well. Two minutes and 45 seconds. Dude, for Braz being the shorter guy, his control up against the cage is beautiful. Double, you know, punch, punch, knee with that right underhook. Pushing Crosby. Can, Crosby tried to reverse there. Crosby now looking for a sweep takedown. Can't, dude. No, Bra Braz is crushing it right now. Be like Joe Piper. Marco, it's on to zone OK MMA or honestly, wherever you find UFC, you'll be able to find it, my man. Oh, nice right hand by Braz. Nice right uppercut by Braz. Left by Braz. One minute and 55 seconds on the clock. Guys, again, thank you so much for helping us get to 80 likes. That is amazing. Nice foot stomp by Braz. Irish. I ain't, no, I, ain't, I ain't no fucking monkey you could just say to, you know, dance. I ain't just going to dance for anybody. I have no idea what you're talking about, Irish. I'm watching the fight, so I'm not going to do that, dude. One minute, 30 seconds on the clock. I don't even know what you're talking about. I'm watching the fights here. If you want to share a link, share a link, brother. Uh, Daniel Morales was good. <laughs> <laughs> Only 11 significant strikes by Crosby. Oh, but just when I say that, Crosby lands a nice left and a right. They're just swaying and banging here in the pocket up against the cage. But Braz has landed way more significant strikes because of his great clinch work. Good to see you, uh, Daniel. A big shout out to all the members here. Irish Snackbox, Hank the Tank, Dylan, HM. Big shout out to Dylan. Chaykin, who has handed out memberships left, right, and center earlier. Really appreciate it, man. Look at this shit. Helping to grow the community. And JD for the $5, don five donation earlier. Really appreciate it, guys. Oh, a nice counter left, right uppercut by Crosby. But Braz just puts his hands right up and lands some big counters of his own. Dude, this is crazy, man. Nice knee by Crosby. Oh, they each throw a big right. They each swing and they miss. I think he I think this is a good step up in competition, but it'll answer a lot of questions. If he wins, it's like okay, he's a good prospect. Crosby with the Crosby with the right, but Braz with the beautiful defense. Oh, they each swing and miss with the right. Remember, I was grabbing the popcorn for this one. Oh, a nice right uppercut for Braz, and that is it for the first round. What a crazy first round, guys. What a crazy first round. Oh my goodness, dude. Crosby's bleeding. He got stalked in the mouth a few times. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yoon's Hamburg, by the way. Thank you so much for joining. Because it's illegal, buddy. I can't show the fights. That's illegal. Damn, dude. End of the first round here. End of the first round. But it's a, it's a scrap, man. It's a scrap. Still on his feet is Braz. He's, he's not even sitting down. Yeah, it looked like he did more damage, 100%. I have Miroslav Braz winning that first round, 100%. I have Miroslav Braz winning that first round, 100%. His control time and what he did up against the cage in the clinch was awesome. I'm leaning towards yes. I'm leaning towards yes. But we've seen some favorites lose. We've seen some favorites lose here tonight. And he's the big favorite at minus 800. So I do think he's going to win, but I'm scared, bro. I'm scared. Freaking Akipa lost. Can't do it, man. It's illegal. All right, round two, guys. Round two. Center of the cage. Braz is 
high guard is just amazing. He doesn't get hit much. Nice right hand by Broads. Four minutes and 45 seconds on the clock. Smash that like button, guys. Let's go. Outside low kick by Crosby. I will say, Crosby's game to fight, and he's got a good jaw because he's been taking some big punishment here. Oh, big right hand to the body by Bras. Big right hand by Bras. Clinching his Crosby, trying to get those knees going. He lost second round guillotine. He got choked out. That's why the poll question's a little... It's a little mean, but it's a little comical as well. Four minutes and 15 seconds on the clock. Favorites losing is a tradition in Octagon and Ryzen. Three minutes and 55 seconds on the clock in Braz, man. Braz was the favorite, I believe, in this one, and he's looking like it here. Yeah, he was the favorite minus 650 across all the sports betting books, and he's looking like it here. But I will say Tom Crosby's tough. Tom, Tom Crosby's tough. I need some mesh. What's up, sis? Good to see you. Oh, nice big right hand by Braz and a big right hand by Crosby. Dude, this is a great fight. This is a great fight. Straight left by Crosby, right by Crosby. I still think Braz's uh, hands just have a little bit more power in them right now. I'm so happy Zawada wins, and I'm looking forward to that Islam will win too. Let's go, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> that late Zawada win was insane, dude. What a comeback. Great to have you here, brother. Happy that you're here. We have people from all around the world in our community, so welcome. Look for the takedown is Crosby and a good stuffing of the takedown is Braz. I don't know what you're talking about, the Irish snack box. Marcos got him bloody. Let's go. I need Daniel Marcos to win. I need Daniel Marcos to win. Let me know if Marcos wins. I got him on my, like I said, here are my UFC picks. Two minutes and 52 seconds on the clock, and Crosby gets the takedown. Crosby gets the takedown. Oh, you're born in Hamburg, but I live right now in Dusseldorf. Nice, dude. Crosby's really solid. Dude, Crosby just took uh, Bros to the ground. Marcus says, need him in the head like three times. Marcus is beating him like he owes him money. Let's go. Let's go. I need him to win. I need him to win, guys. Two minutes and 26 seconds on the clock in this second round in this welterweight matchup. And Crosby in the top position here. If Crosby can stay in this top position and actually get some good shots on. He will win back this round. 1 0 clear, Marcus. Let's go. Modified half guard side control right now for Crosby, but Braz is looking to scramble out of it. Crosby staying on his back. Yeah, always Hamburg. Dude, Crosby now right into side control. Dude, Crosby got some grappling. Crosby's got some grappling. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Braz won that first round clearly, but Crosby's winning this second round. We've got a fight on our hand, ladies and gentlemen. We've got a fight on our hand in this featured fight. Oh, a knees to the body by Crosby. Crosby with some right hands. Dude, is Braz gassing here? The UFC starts right now. Dude, the UFC's on right now. The first fight's going on. Hank needs uh, Daniel Marcos to win as well. Here are my UFC picks again, guys. Oh, and, and if you want me to actually go over them, I, I do have a video that I posted on YouTube, so I'll, I'll put that in the link here as well. Crosby still in side control here. One minute on the clock. Oh, right into mount. Crosby goes right into mount. Crosby mount on Broad's. Broad's trying to scramble. Broad's trying to scramble. This is absolutely insane. Oh my goodness, Crosby has the back. Control. Here's my UFC prediction video. UFC started. Daniel Marcos looking great. Took Ramo. Let's go. I have, Mar I have Daniel Marcos to win. Mark's beating the hell out of him, man. He's down. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let me know. It could be over. Let me know if it's over. 30 or 25 seconds left in this second round here that Crosby won back. It's 1-1 one, one going into the third. 15 seconds left on the clock here again. Crosby, great round here, man. Great round here. 10 seconds in modified half guard side control again laying down uh, right elbows is Crosby. This is insane, dude. This is absolutely insane. Wow, this last round will decide it. Absolutely. Miroslav Braz won the first round with flying fucking carpets. Tom Crosby won the second round with flying fucking carpets. 
We're going, we're going one, one to three. I'm interested to see the judges scoring for this one. I'm interested to see the judges scoring for this one. Cause this is, this is live scoring. So we'll see. Marcus just needs to end this. Thank you for the UFC updates, guys. We will be jumping over to UFC here in a bit. Uh, he's fighting next, Eugene. He's fighting next. He's punching his face. Hey, now they're playing Forget About Dre. Hey, I will say Octagon, they're, they're playing the good tunes, man. They're playing the good tunes. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Really appreciate each and every one of you. That's right. Each and every one of you that I'm pointing at right now. Thank you guys so much for supporting us here. Thank you so much to all the new members. Thank you so much to Dylan for providing a bunch of new memberships. You're awesome, man. Thank you to everyone who has been liking the video here today. I cannot believe we hit 80 freaking likes on this video. That is amazing. Guys, right after this event, we will be jumping over to UFC. I'm literally gonna, just going to grab a quick snack, grab a quick coffee, and then we'll fire it up whatever fight that it's on. What It is whatever fight it's on, but we'll start it up right after this. No problem, Eugene. He's ate like three front kicks. Brutality. Oh my goodness. He's got to go down. All right. Third and final round, ladies and gentlemen. Third and final round in this featured fight. Damn, I just missed the judge's score. It's got to be 1-1. One, one. It's got to be 1-1. One, one. Activate A if you're here. I missed the live score on this one. What was it? Is it 1-1? One, one? Oh, big right hand by bros. And now bros, or now Crosby looking for the takedown again. Huge right hand by Brosh. It's 1-1. One, one. Okay, I missed it. I missed it there. I was getting excited. Four minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Someone's bleeding here. Someone's bleeding. Yeah, 19-19. Let's go. What a fight. What a fight. Oh, they're scrapping. Center of the cage. Four minutes on the clock. Dude, this is a good fight. Crosby looking for the takedown again. Good job by Brosh for denying it. Eugene's on DAZN in North America, or you can buy the pay-per-view at OK MMA TV. If neither of those work, look at the chat. Looking for a guillotine here is Brosh and Crosby. Crosby's in the top position. Brosh, he's not going to get the guillotine. Battle of the Lobos. Oh, they traded nut shots. That's not good. Crosby's really dominant on the ground. Yes, he is, dude. Yes, he is. Three minutes and 29 seconds on the clock. Crosby's now going to smother him for the rest of the round. Eunice Hamburg. In North America, you can. I'm not sure about overseas. I think Crosby will win. Crosby, man, passes into half guard easily. And bleeding from his right eyebrow is bras. So Crosby's not only done more damage this round, but he's also going to out-control him. Kicks Marcus back in the balls. What, is, what the fuck's going on in the UFC? Eye pokes Marcus. Marcus takes no time off as they touch gloves. Quilling dirty punches him. Marcus immediately kicks Quinley in the balls. They restart Quinling immediately kicks Marcus in the balls. What is going on? Marcus back-to-back -back nut shots this is crazy. This is crazy. I just need Marcus to win, though. This is crazy. Two minutes and 20 seconds on the clock here. Crosby trying to get back into the full guard of bras. Third nut shot in 40 seconds. That's nuts. Are you betting on another one now? Is there a line for another nut shot? I know some of you DJs would bet on that. Two minutes and 19 seconds on the clock. Bras, man. He's running out of gas here. He's running out of gas. He's still trying to scramble. Crosby's trying to get into mount again. No problem, Eugene. Eugene, please subscribe and like if you don't mind, brother. Show some love. Subscribe, brother. Subscribe to the channel. A jumping nut shot. Appreciate you, Eugene. Two, uh, one minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah, hopefully Marcos wins this one, guys. Hank, oh, Hank's getting fired up here, Ryzen style. Hank hasn't got this fired up since he watched Ryzen with us on New Year's. We ruined 2024 for Hank, by the way, guys. Back up to their feet. Back up to their feet. One minute and 30 seconds left. One minute and 30 seconds left. And Crosby desperately looking for the takedown. And Bros knows his only path to victory here is beating the hell out of him on the feet. Knee to the opponent to Crosby. Right uppercut by Bros. Another right uppercut by Bros. Knees in the tie clinch by Crosby. Bros pushing Crosby up against the cage. One minute left in this third and final round. It's looking like a bar fight right now. Get up. His nuts are broken. One or 55 seconds on the clock. 
savage. And these nuts went to his heart. Been there, been there. 40 seconds. Doodletop wins a thousand percent. Let's go, Marv. Let's go down here. Oh, is it going to be a no contest? Damn, dude. For all the fouls, Marcus was winning easily. 30 seconds. Body kick by Crosby. Right hand by Braz. Braz now pushing Crosby up against the cage again. Swing and a miss with the right hand by Braz. They are gassed out. That's a Crosby win. That's a cross. I think Crosby took this round. 29-28. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. What a fight, dude. Oh my goodness, dude. Crosby was a huge underdog. Plus 475, plus 400, plus 390, plus 400 across Betway, BetUS, Bovada, and Bet Online. What a fight. It was the back of his nuts, man. Now they're playing a Soldier Boy remix. Just don't kick Marcos. <laughs> All right, what's going on in the UFC fight? Are they back fighting now? Are they back fighting now? I need to, I need Daniel Marcos to win. Hank is pissed. Oh no, they haven't announced yet. I'm just saying what I think. Okay, I think that too. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on because I don't have UFC on. But Hank, the tank is pissed. Phony says says he's taking a dive. These dudes nuts are dead. He has two more minutes to recover. Look at that cut, man. Look at that cut on the left eye. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. Look at that left eye of Tom Crosby. Yeah, I hear the soldier boy now. Soldier boy. You. Duel Tough coming up next. Yes, we're just awaiting uh, this fight here. He has 90 seconds before it's over. Kulang also got his nose smashed by knee in the first round. Yeah, I thought I thought Marcos would win. What a fight here, man. Both these guys are wearing their battle wounds here. Featured fight of Octagon 53. Um, let me see. How big is the arena here today? They are in the Rudolf Weber arena, and I think it's sold out. So as a 13,000 person capacity, it looks like there's at least 10,000 people there. Quilling was losing badly. This is bullshit. Marcus just gets disqualified. But maybe he will. I don't know. Marcus all energetic. Let's go. I haven't heard it yet activated, but I'm guessing that they gave it to Bros. Oh, the split decision here in Octagon. Yeah. Miroslav Bros wins this one. Split decision. This one. So it's based out of the Czech Republic, but they do a lot of shows in Germany, and they're in Germany right now. What a poos. Didn't expect that. Miroslav win. Hank, it's just the first fight, bro. It's just the first fight. It's all good. There's there's more. There's more to come. It's over. His nuts died. Yeah, split. Yeah, Crosby won, in my opinion. Uh-oh, Hank's pissed. It'll be a no contest due to the nut shot. I'd fight not to go to distance. Damn, Hank. Well, take take a walk, Hank. Calm down. Calm down, because we're not even on the UFC stream yet. So maybe maybe by then, you know, Wu saw a little bit. Come back and hang out with us here. Could be a DQ. Leg was getting beat bad. Watch that old bag. Can they score the first two rounds since it was past halfway? Jackass style. They, they took turns hitting each other in the nuts. And Josie's so shit. No contest. Damn. Some drama already in the UFC. And here we are watching Octagon still, ladies and gentlemen. Apparently, we the casuals here on this one. But no, we have a bunch of our German fans here in the live chat who are here ready to watch their boy. They've been asking about him all night. That is right. In the co-main event of the evening, we have 
Islam Dulatov, everyone all day has been asking about this cat. Very excited to watch him here. But we also have Paleo Logos fans in the live chat as well. Look at, I mean, look at how many people are in our live chat right now. There's a fan of these fighters here today, guys. Look at how Octagon is growing here. Appreciate you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. We don't know the official scoring. I'll tell you soon. What do you think about the level of the event? You must see an event that was crazy here in Spain. It's named DWT in Barcelona. Dude, I would love to, to check out some events in Spain there. I think Octagon's pretty high level, man. I think Octagon's pretty high level. I don't think it's quite ACA or KSW level, but like it could compete with it could, could compete with Ryzen for sure. Was that the quit it, quitter's last fight on his contract? I think it was. UF who Octagon is the new go. Let's go. We just uh we just came back. They will say so. That part-time model, part-time MMA fighter Islam. No contest. Whoo! Hang saying the, the piece of shit trying to ruin my streak from Marco Seori. No contest. Like he can't walk. Stop it. Garbage card. DWA was insane. Three first one fight was like, oh, I saw that. I saw that clip on Twitter. That shit was crazy, dude. Do Latov win? Let's go. No contest, any Mark still looks so sad. Damn it, a no contest to start. That's some bad juju, dude. That's some bad juju. All right, well, you guys, I'm going to show you here. I'm going to show you here the no contest, baby. The no contest. You see that shit? You see that shit? Here it is. No contest. That's dumb. No decision. It's not a contest. Now he's crying. Marcos, you dumb piece of shit. Oh, jeez. Um, Marcus looked good though. It's the only game. Why you have to be mad? Hello, what's up, buddy? What's up, Redlick? Damn, they announcing next fight while they still got Marcus crying in the cage. Oh my god! I owe you a few gifted memberships. It appears Isha, I got you, and I'm back home. No problem, Dylan. No problem. Appreciate you, buddy. Uh, here we go. This should be a banger. Hyder versus Garcia. Yeah, I got Hyder winning this next one, guys. I got Hyder winning this next one. Locking it in. So to stop body kicking and went for a body kick immediately with that fool. You uneducated fool. I'm not impressed by your performance. No chance against Eckerlin. Marcus is beating the dog out of him. Still want to see uh, Chirklin versus Jungworth, even though I'm pretty sure Eckerlin would win. But yo, don't miss money with the no contest in a bet. Marcus will do nothing in the UFC. Paulo Costa, Bahrain. Uh, he had a 10-8 and a 10-9. He got robbed. Uh, he should be mad. Oof. The chat is buzzing right now, and I have no idea what's going on here. I have no idea what's going on here. All right. Co-main event of the evening, which should be the main event of the evening. Let's be perfectly honest, ladies and gentlemen. At Octagon 53, we have Islam Dulatov up against John Paleologos out of Greece. Man, these Greek fighters are tough as nails. He's 36 years of age, 20 wins, 12 losses. He's on a two-fight win streak right now. 11 KO TKOs, 5 submissions, 2 decisions, 2 disqualifications. So he does like to finish his opponents. 4-1 and one in Cage Survivor, 1-2 and two in Octagon, 1-2 and two in King of the Cage, and 3-0 and oh in European Fight League. Beat a 14 and 7 guy and a 14 and 12 guy in his last two fights. So meh. Before that was on a three fight losing streak. He lost to Juracek. He lost to Eckerlin. He lost to Urholin. So decent opponents, don't get me wrong, but it seems like the guys that he's only beating at this stage in his career are, aren't, aren't too good. Let's be perfectly honest. Looking at his opponent, the prospects coming up here. Out of Dusseldorf, Germany, 9 and 1, the Ripper Islam Dulatov. This guy is huge. They say he's 6'6". Six, six. I think he's more 6'4". Big rangy 145-er. Five KO TKOs, four submissions, zero decision. He finishes every single one of his opponents. That's your beautiful That's little motherfucker. Three and one in GMC. Spoke a couple boxing fights as well. The thing is, he doesn't have the best opponents either. He has been the five and two guy, so credit to him there. Will Chope, I mean, come on. Um, 13 7, okay, better. 9 and 5, okay, better. And then here, I'm not really gonna judge him when he's you know making his fifth professional fight. He beat the guys he was supposed to beat on the way up, let's be perfectly honest. And lost in his first fights, so already knows how to lose. Um, lost in his first amateur fight, too. Funny enough, where he went four and one. Oh man, 
Look, the Greek fighter is tough. The Greek fighter is tough, but I'm going Dulatov here. I'm going Dulatov, locking it in. Dulatov is the minus 800 favorite on Bet Online, minus 750 favorite on Bovada, minus 835 on Bet US, and minus 500 on Betway. I mean, he is the biggest favorite of this card, if I am not mistaken, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know who you are picking in the live chat. We know Samuel's picking. We know who uh, Younes is picking. I'm so excited for the dual top and the Greek guy. Uh, Jorge, we know who he's excited for. Let's go, John. Shit happens in MMA. Uh, bro, I need your best commentary right now. I can't watch. All right, I will give it to you 100%. They're just showing the, the cold open. Well, Eckerlin versus Miroslav is the next fight. Yeah, saw that. 87 likes, guys. Let's try to get to 100. Let's try to get to 100. We are so close. About 13 away from 100. Let's freaking go. He looked good and then repeatedly pushed, pulls a bash shot. He deserved a loss. Guys, thank you all so much for joining. Really appreciate you guys. Akipa lost. Akipa lost. No, Samuel, I can't show it. That's illegal, buddy. That's illegal. Can't. It's illegal to show it. I keep a loss. Trusik, uh, Trusik fought already, buddy, and he won. Martin, he won. He won, dude. A hundred likes, and we bring back that JL army. Oh no! Emotional damage. That irked JL more than it even irked me. I'm gonna say that much. Um, oh, he's welterweight, sir. What did I say he was before? Did I say he was bantamweight? Jeez, my bad. Sorry, welterweight. I know. Apparently, I think he's more 6'4 than 6'6, but he is huge. Duels up taller than Kennedy uh, Nijichuku. Oh, I know Irish will join the JL army. JL Irish is your biggest fan. He loves you. Dulatov revenge. Let's go, Samuel. Let's go. Again, they're showing the cold open right now. We have Dulatov up against John Pileologos out of Greece. He's 36 years of age. He's making his walk to the cage right now. He's the number eighth ranked welterweight in the division. 11 KOT, give five submissions, two decisions, two disqualifications. Has good wins in smaller promotions. Just as of late, it's just not beating guys of any high level. And Dulatov starting to creep up into kind of the same tier of guys that the Greek emperor is beating right now. So Dulatov has a couple good wins on his resume. He's beating the guys he's supposed to have beaten at the lower level. Let's see if he can do it against a step up in competition. A guy on a win streak. Been there, done that. The number ninth ranked fighter, I should say. Uh, the Greek emperor, Paleologos. I'm only watching your stream of the UFC, though. Fair enough, Hank. Fair enough. Uh, it's on DAZN in North America, dude. Hank's, I'm calm now. 1-1 one, one against German fighters. Octagon really seeing a free market in Germany. Yeah, dude. Well, it's good. They're doing a couple of good shows in Germany uh, coming up here as well. Let's do this, Greece. Duladov will make it. JL no doubt require a tank in his, his infantry. Absolutely. All right. Making his way into the cage right now is the Greek emperor, Paleologos. Islam Dulatov is about to make his walk after this. And you got to imagine that the Greek crowd, or sorry, the, the German crowd is going to go insane. They're going to go absolutely insane for their boy. <laughs> Dude, for uh for 36 years of age, he's in damn good shape. All right, here we go. Here we go. The Ripper Islam Dulatov is making his walk out now, ladies and gentlemen. The lights dim red. Looks like he has a mask on too. Or maybe it's just a bandana. I have to zone Germany. Let's go. It should be on there. It's on to zone in North America. Uh, he's got a okay. So he has, he has a bandana over his over his face right now. A meal with a knockout. What? Let's go! I picked a meal to win. Let's go. Uh, walking out, walking out pretty quickly right now 
is Islam the Ripper Dulatov. He's got a bandana over his nose and mouth. Here we go, guys. Like I said, I'm one no contest and one right. Shit, I'm supposed to send this to my buddy. He always asks for my UFC picks. Sorry, one sec, guys. I got to take a picture here for my buddy. But walking out right now is Dulatov. The crowd's going crazy, Tony. Hey, guys, that no contest arena parlay or what might be a dumb question? Hyped. Oh, knocked down. Sorry, knocked down, not KO. Sorry, sorry. Bum, ba, dum, bum, bum. All right. I told my buddy I'd take a picture of my picks for him, so <laughs> I totally forgot. Everyone is on their feet in the arena right now, guys. He said, I'm stronger, I'm hungrier, and I'm going to come in here and take his head off. All right. I just had to send my UFC picks to my buddy. I totally forgot. I totally forgot because Octagon's still on here, ladies and gentlemen. And we have 86 people here. You guys are amazing. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Let's get to 100 likes. Let's get to 100 likes. Let's go. Garcia getting cut to along with Key. Emil straight bullying him. Ruined the fight. Only grapple. Emil almost had him finish. Decided to go to the back. Straight bullying him and then they're banging. Nutshot, come on. Beautiful arm triangle into the choke. Submission on. Let's go, baby. All right. We have our co-main event starting here. Octagon 53, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, bro. Got out of a rear naked choke with one arm. He escaped. Co-main event here live on Octagon 53, ladies and gentlemen. And like you said, we have... Pale Logos against Dulatov. Dulatov in front of his home crowd in Germany, and the crowd's going crazy for him. The chat's going crazy for him. I'm going crazy as he's my pick. Locked it in. Crazy UFC fight. Glad you guys are watching it. Right after this event, we will jump over to UFC. Now, my lady grilling burgers and the air fryer and french fries. Nice, dude. A hundred people watching right now. Let's go. Let's go guys. Thank you to everybody who's tuning in for Octagon 53 right now. If you're new to the channel, we do live play-by-play -play commentary, reaction, and most importantly, live interaction with all you folks in the live chat. So get your comments in the live chat right now. Read the chat. Read the chat. Islam is fighting right now. He's about to start right now, guys. He's about to start right now. Tony's going for Dulatov. Apparently, these guys can't defend on their backs. Baba, read the chat, dude. Read the chat. All right. Dulatov is being announced in the cage, ladies and gentlemen. Only three rounds in this co-main event. Only three rounds in this co-main event. Scomplers, scroll up. Uh, the fight hasn't started yet. The fight hasn't started yet. Garcia again, big broad. No finishes on the UFC card. Come on. Dual Tev is starting right now, dude. The fight's starting right now. They're just announcing them in the cage. All right, guys. They're going back to their corner. Fight's about to begin. What's up, performance? I I think Dulatov, dude, but let's go. All right, that's it, guys. You can see it. I'm not sharing it anymore. We're going for it. Round one. Let's get it on. Fight has begun. Both of them standing center of the cage. Islam looks good. They're wired. Four minutes and 49 seconds on the clock. Oh, four minutes and 42 seconds on the clock. Oh, man. Dulatov looks so good on the feet. Nice shot by Dulatov. Already hurt is Paleologos. Paleologos already bleeding, it looks like. Oh, a big right hand by Dulatov. Four minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. German crowd, no respect. Big right hand to the body again. Dude, Dulatov is destroying this guy. Dulatov left, right. Timeout? Why is it a timeout? 
Why is it a timeout? Dulatov is destroying this man on the feet. He lost. He lost. Dulatov is awesome. Dulatov punched his balls. Oh, it did hit his balls, but it was because it hit the arm and ricocheted. Oh, and then he landed a big right hand. Timeout because he hit him in the balls and then landed a right hand. Pause. All right, there's a pause right now, guys. There's a pause right now. All of a sudden, everyone's getting hit in the nuts. This is crazy. Another nut shots. Hank the Tank's favorite. Zawada won. Yes, Zawada won. 50 seconds left in the fight that he was losing. He got a heel hook. All right, four minutes on the clock here. Islam Dulatov and the Greek Emperor Paleologos. Paleologos just got punched in the balls, and then he took a shot to the face there. So there's a pause right now. He's taking some time to recover. No, no, November is over. Exactly that. Nutshot right now. What's up, Commander Keen? Not on YouTube, buddy. Privat, read the chat, dude. I already gave it to you guys. Emil, finish him. Nice. All right. We're just waiting for the fight to come back on here. This Pale Logos got punched in the nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Emil with the standing KO. Let's go. Let's go. I already did, Farouk. It's not my fault that you didn't grab it. Farouk, I gave it to you and you refused to... I gave you a present. I put it in your hand and you decided to just throw it in the garbage, buddy. You, you didn't use it. That's not my fault. Steve Jobs, I gave it to you guys. It's not my fault that you guys didn't, you didn't grab it, dude. Alright, we're still looking at the... Link here. So looking at the link. I mean, you guys didn't look at the link last time. This is it. I'm not doing it again, dude. Because you guys seriously are, are bland. There you go. Ready, set, go. That's it. I'm not doing it again. A million unit, but fighting a bantamweight. What an unlucky start. Time for Islam to pull a Marcos. Um, I'm. I just don't. I don't play video games. Steve Jobs, Farouk, I got you, boys. I got you. Garcia again, cut. Damn, poor guy. Just had a tough matchup. All right, guys. Fight is finally back on here. Fight is finally back on. All right, we're back. We're back. Let's get it. Four minutes on the clock. High kick, but Paleologos. Oh, and a left hand by Dulatov drops him. Dulatov landing big shots here in the top. It is all over. Oh, he's still alive here. How did he How did he survive that? I thought the ref was going in there to end it, but oh, another left hand by Dulatov diving in for a takedown, but not being able to get it. it is Paleologos. Paleologos on the bottom position. Dulatov. Dulatov now defending an armbar. Dulatov now defending an armbar here. Dulatov is out of it. Dulatov is out of it. Paleologos desperately going for a takedown again. Oh my goodness. Oh, another big shot by Dulatov. Dulatov drops him again, dude. Dulatov has some nasty strikes. Dulatov has some nasty strikes, ladies and gentlemen. Pale Lagos is on the ground here. Dulatov in the full guard. Three minutes and 19 seconds on the clock here. Pale Lagos desperately looking for one of the limbs to grab an arm. Pale Lagos tried to get back up to his feet, but then Dulatov landed a big right hand on him as he was trying to get back up to his feet. Back on his back is Pale Lagos. Three minutes on the clock here. Three minutes on the clock here. Pale Lagos desperately just trying to grab a limb, trying to do something on Dulatov. Desperately looking for an arm bar here, but Dulatov keeps getting out of these submissions and just keeps landing shots on the side of Pale Lagos' head, controlling him now like he's his big brother. He is bullying him right now, ladies and gentlemen. Pale Lagos. Back up on his feet and just gets tagged with the right hand by Dulatov. Two minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. Dulatov with the left and right. Dulatov with the right. Pale Lagos is throwing a knee there, but he's got nothing. Dulatov just took two sh muffin shots by Pale Lagos. Pale Lagos desperately trying to go for a takedown again, and Dulatov stuffing the takedown. This is crazy. This is crazy. That is that is illegal, is it not? That is illegal. Pale Lagos just grabbed the gloves of Dulatov to drag him to the ground, but whatever. Scrambling here is Dulatov, not allowing Pale Lagos to get back up to his feet. 
Dulatov gets back up to his feet. That was some that was some bitch ass shit from Paleolegos, ladies and gentlemen. That was some bitch ass shit from Paleolegos. Grabbed his gloves to throw him back down. In the full guard of Pali Lagos right now is Dulatov. Woman in 45 seconds on the clock here. This is crazy. This is crazy. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. Five more likes till 100. Five more likes till 100. Let's freaking go, guys. Smash that like button. Dulatov still in the full guard of Pali Lagos. One minute and 25 seconds on the clock here. These Octagon refs have not been on their game. Look for an armbar again. Look for an armbar again. Up kick by Paleolegos. Dulatov is good, bro. Dulatov is good. He's looking damn good. It's time for this Greek to get made into yogurt. One minute on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. He's looking good. He's looking good. Unbelievable right now. 45 seconds. Dulatov might be gassed here. We shall see. We shall see. Again, guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Palialegos looking for the takedown. Dulatov doing a good job of stuffing it here. Oh my goodness. Palio Lagos is still in this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Ten seconds. Oh, left elbow by Palio Lagos. Five seconds left in this first round. Oh, Dulatov again with a knee to the body. Right hand by Dulatov. Another knee. Oh, it's over. It's over. It's over. Dulatov wins with one second left. Dulatov wins with one second left. Dulatov wins. One second left. Knee to the face. Knocks him out. Dulatov wins. Dulatov wins. Dulatov wins. Dulatov wins. Dulatov wins. Dulatov wins. One second on the clock, ladies and gentlemen. That shit was crazy. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That shit was wild, dude. That shit was wild. Are you kidding me? He absolutely beat up this man. He beat up this man, dude. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. One second left. Knee to the face after doing so much damage. That was insane. That was absolutely insane. A hundred likes. Let's go. Likes. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen. This kid is for real. This kid is for real. Oh my God. I'm freaking out as you guys can see right now. That was amazing. What a fight. What a performance by the young Islam Dulatov. He pieced the fuck up, man. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Fixed fight. I don't think it was a fixed fight. I think it was just a very good performance. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Man, that was so much damage. Oh my god, he won. I want this guy to get the jump knee into the shadow room. You called it. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Knee to the face. Bye-bye, King. What's up, Commander Keen? Thank you so much for joining, buddy. Zawada won, yes. Oh my goodness. What a crazy fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a crazy fight. One second left on the clock, guys. One freaking second left. Unbelievable. Yo, someone keep me updated on what's going on in the UFC fight with Bogdan Guskov because we have one more fight here on Octagon to cover. Imagine getting beat up by a model. Dude, he has some damn good striking. Like, it wasn't just because he was fighting a guy lower level than him. That's not what it was about at all. Like, his striking was beautiful. I keep a loss, Commander Keen. Islam 
I don't know if he's UFC champ material yet, but he he's a good prospect for sure. Look at the eyes. Look at the eyes of Paleologos. They are the, his right eye in particular particular is swollen. He won. Gustavo, he won. Oh my goodness. With one second left in the freaking third or in the second round, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go, HM Lowell. Oh my goodness. Look at the freaking monkey mascot here, man. Getting handsy with everyone. He does not give a fook. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. What a fight. All my fellow Germans glazing in Islam to be champ. Never, ever. <laughs> hey, they're just pumped that their boy won. They're just pumped that their boy won. Let's go. Let's go. Islam just won Gustavo. Just beat the hell out of this guy. Sorry, it was one minute left in, or one second left in the first round. One second left in the first round. He beat the hell out of him. Yes, and he won. Or right, he's just being interviewed in the cage now. That was the most one-sided fight on the card, maybe. I mean, he was the minus 800 favorite. He was the minus 800 favorite. All right, we have one more card here. Germany stand up. Germany against France, ladies and gentlemen. We have Tigress, Katharina, Dalista against Eva Durce. Durce, eight and five as a pro. She's on a three fight win streak. Uh, three and two in her last five fights. Looking for the title, getting the title shot here. Uh, zero KO, TKO, two submissions, six decisions. She's two and one in WWFC. Being eight and four, got six and two and seven and four. Honestly, not the worst wins there, but all gone to decision. Dalista, 10 and three as a pro, five and owner last five fights, 32 years of age. I think she's going to absolutely destroy her. She is the minus 650 favorite, okay? Out of Germany. One KO, TKO, two submissions, seven decisions, zero, one in Bellator, three and one in NFC, and four and O oh in Octagon. Beat a five and one gal, seven and three gal, three and O oh and seven and five. Honestly, all good wins there. All good wins there. And she's beaten her before as this is a rematch. She's beat her before as this is a rematch. I, I think Dalista is going to absolutely wipe the floor against Eva Dorte. That is, that is my pick. I see more charisma in a morgue than on this octagon mic. Sub three rounds, says Timmy. Yes, sir. Guys, thank you so much for joining. Man, this guy has a big following. We had two over 200 people in the live chat watching. That was unbelievable. That was unbelievable. Crazy. Crazy. What a great card, guys. This anytime Octagon goes to Germany, anytime Octagon goes to Germany, it's a good card, man. Anytime Octagon goes to Germany, it's a good card. I I'm I'm telling you that. I'm telling you that. Unbelievable. All right. I'm just gonna make a note on uh, on the YouTube community tab here for everyone that we will be doing UFC, but we're gonna start it after Octagon because we can't stop now. We can't stop now. Even though this fight probably isn't the best title fight to put on this card, <laughs> we're gonna we're, we're gonna watch it anyways. We're gonna watch it anyways. Again, appreciate every single one of you tuning in live. If you're on the Save Light Project YouTube channel, you all are amazing. I appreciate you all. Again, don't forget to smash that like button. We hit over a hundred likes, ladies and gentlemen. We hit over a hundred likes. I cannot believe it. We had 40 likes on BFL. We had 40 likes on freaking LFA. And we had 100 on Octagon. So thank you, guys. All right. One more fight on the card here. The only title fight. I'm just making a note here on Twitter or on um, YouTube so you guys know to just keep checking in after this card for the UFC stream. All right, I just made a post 
to everybody. There we go. There we go. Okay. Turn our, turning our attention back to you guys again. Dalitza out of freaking Germany. Minus 650 on Bet Online. Minus 550 on Bovada. Minus 525 on Bet US. And minus 335 on Betway. Ava Durthe plus 475 on Bet Online. Plus 350 on Bovada. Plus 315 on Bet USA. And plus 225 on Betway. I do think the German fighter is just so much better. She's just so much better. Better striker. More well rounded. Uh, Islam did win. He did. Hank, yeah, maybe at the Super Bowl. That's what someone said. Islam won. Yes, Islam won, and he absolutely destroyed, dude. Uh,. Yeah, I've been sleeping on the German talent. Plus, you got like three people in here avidly watching the UFC card. It's awesome, dude. Marcus almost ruined everything. Time to get 74% win percentage on Tapology. Let's go delete say. Here we go, man. So, yeah, the, the, this is the champion versus the number one contender here. Three fight win streak. One of those in Octagon. And Katrina has been just defending her win streak over and over again here. Five and on in the last five fights, like we said. Uh, TKO with one second left in the first round. Islam won. TKO. Evil Anthony Smith scrapping. Yeah, he is. He, he, dude, I like Bogdan Guskov, man. I like Bogdan Guskov. I think he's a good scrapper. I think he's going to win this one. Let me know if he wins. Delizze is a finisher. Guskov looks like an Anthony Smith with stage four cancer. He's my pick. He's He was fun to watch on the regional. Whether it was against a, a good fighter or a bad fighter, he beat them all up. It's octagon, so you never know. Yeah, hopefully we see a finish in this one. Hopefully we see a finish. <laughs> guys again smash that like button if you haven't already i know we hit over 100 let's see let's see how high we can get haha <laughs> i know some of you will literally be trying that tonight or right now yeah goose cover thing is gonna take it but um is far it's a good back and forth i speak too soon goose cup put him out he did he put him out did he did he knock him out i knew it i knew it i knew he'd knock out i knew he'd knock him out Check it out it's on the prediction video. I said he'd knock him out. I said it here. Better striker KO win, baby. Check the motherfucking tape. Check the tape. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Zach Puaga does not belong in the UFC. He's an LFA fighter at best. Screw you, Puaga. Goddamn Bogdan. I knew it. He shouted in his face after a knockout. Yikes. <gasps> Let's go, baby. Let's go. That I bet it was beautiful. beautiful. I bet it was tremendous. Ate them big shots for breakfast. Put him to bed. That was wild. Let's go, Guskov. I knew he was going to win. Feedback to Del uh, Delatov. He's awesome, man. He had a great fight. Killer. Let's go, baby. What accuracy. Let's go. Let's go. I knew Gus. I just knew that, like... <laughs> Guskov just wasn't ready. He he wasn't ready to be given the Yuri Prohaska treatment, okay? Like, they, they gave him Ozdemir too soon. Like, he's better than, like, the Bukaskas. He's better than the Puagas. Puago, however you, however you say his name. Um, But he's, he's not, like, Ozdemir, that's throwing him in the deep water. I watched that fight. It was absolutely amazing. Islam Dulatov smash him. Yes, he did. Thank you so much for joining tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. Don't forget to like. I'm glad I didn't leave. Fucking cash it. Let's go. Yeah, like he just didn't follow up shots. He just yelled. Ref took a sweet time getting there. Oh, no. Colonel JL. The JL army is back, ladies and gentlemen. They played ping pong with his head on the way down. The JL army is back. Puggers ass. Evil Anthony Smith versus real Anthony Smith for multiverse fight. Let's go. Let's go. Bogdan Guskov round one knockout plus 350. That was easy money. For anybody who didn't get him round one knockout, what are you doing with your life? That's easy money. That's easy money. That's the only bet that I placed on UFC here today. Let's fucking go. Let's go. Let's go. We're eating good tonight. We're eating gas station food tonight, ladies and gentlemen. More quick trip. Let's go. That shit beautiful than a motherfucker. Oh, let's go. 
I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, I'm so pumped on that one. Let's fucking go. JL Army is back in action, taking all the L's. Who's got too sloppy to bet that, in my opinion? I knew it, dude. Zach Paga sucks. Against any higher level, I ain't doing that, but this one was easy money. Gas station sushi, let's go. Upgrade and deluxe microwave burrito, nice. That's what we need for sure. I've subscribed already to you, bro. Let's go, dude. Thank you so That's much. That's beautiful than a motherfucker. All right, entering the cage right now, ladies and gentlemen. In this main or in this main event of the evening, is Katrina Dalitsta here? All you Germans who've been supporting us in this live chat here today, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining and still here, still here supporting your own. I love it. I love it. Main event for the title. It's five rounds. It's five rounds. Hopefully we don't need it. Let's see Germany getting another knockout here, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know your picks in the live chat. I would love to see Abus versus Islam. Thank you so much for liking the video too. Appreciate you. Brody and Slip with the co -main. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I got that parlayed with Robert Brishek, round one KO. Never going to happen. They're best friends. I was in Islam, both from the same city. You know it. Katharina will win. I think so, too. I think so, too. <laughs> Let me know your picks, guys. I want to lock them in. Let me know your picks. Final fight of the card. Main event of the evening. And then right after this, just keep your eye out. Keep refreshing the YouTube channel or click uh, the, the bell for notifications because I will be doing and jumping over to the UFC right after this. And still, I should have took that SIG striking under. What's significant striking under? All right, here we go. 32-year-old Dalitza Tigress, the champion out of Germany, up against Ava Durthe, who's 36 years of age. Dalitza is a cat, uh, is a lot cast that sheet. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Last fight on the card. Title fight. Straw weight title fight here. The champion right now is out of Germany. The challenger is out of France. We know who's going to win here. The Ger German Germany's going to stomp all over France here. Islam won. Islam won. First round TKO. One second left in the round. Got three in a decision. Maybe late TKO. I hope for a TKO, but I think it's going to be a decision as well. What an event, ladies and gentlemen. What a tremendous event. Again, big shout out to every single one of you who are hanging out with us here in the live chat here today. You guys are awesome. Appreciate you all. Smash that like button if you haven't already, guys. Smash that like button if you haven't already. Ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload because we will be back right after this. I'm literally just going to grab a snack, grab another coffee, and then we're jumping right on for UFC as we are a few fights into the UFC, guys. We are a few fights in. I'm pretty much counting that Daniel Marcus won as a win because that one was easy money as well. In Europe, it's two on the zone. Let's go. What's up, Goku? Goku's now doing BJJ. That's crazy. Drunk in JL. Oh, my goodness. I love it. In Austria, let's go. The JL Army is back, ladies and gentlemen. The JL Army is back. All right. Fighters are being announced in the cage. Zawada won. Yes, Zawada won. Main event, courtesy shit ain't going to happen. I know. It's just... On all these awesome streams, great BFL card, great LFA card. Great ACA. ACA was okay. The main event on every single one of them sucked. The main event for every single one of them sucks. Nostalgia. Marcos is a loss no matter how you slice it. I didn't have any money on that one. So I... At least it's not a loss loss. I don't get to tick it as an X on my page here. How's Jeremiah Wells looking? Has he come out yet? I need him to win. I need him to win. I'm scared for that one. I think that one's a very close fight. We need more jails, folks. Enlist in the army. Hank's still thinking of that. Yeah, Zawada won. All right, here we go. The German fighter being announced here in the cage. The champion out of Germany in front of her home crowd. Over 10,000 people, ladies and gentlemen, are live in attendance for Octagon 53 at the Rudolf Weber Arena. Islam won. Islam won. Nothing but proud. Pick perfectionists. He won 65. He won.
All right, round one, ladies and gentlemen, in this title fight. Let's get it on. In the main event of the evening, already pressuring Dorothy outside that center line. Nice left hand by Delitza. Four minutes and 25 seconds on the clock. Delitza controlling the middle. They each land a right hand. No problem, Henrik. Good footwork here by Delitza. Delitza with the right or left hand. Dorothy doesn't look too bad here. Bilal, Bilal, you spelt his name wrong. Bilal fan. I don't remember this Bilal. I remember Bilal. Four minutes on the clock. Three minutes and 50 seconds. <laughs> AK is pissed. Three minutes and 43 seconds on the clock. Continuing to walk her down is Delitza. Delitza and Dorothy are fighting in the main event of the evening here, ladies and gentlemen. Rematch here as it's been, what, four fights? Four wins ago for Delitza? Nerd. Three minutes and nine seconds on the clock. Sorry, AK is impressed. Three minutes on the clock. Come on, Delitza. Two minutes and 53 seconds on the clock here. It's been mostly Delitza controlling... The ring here, keeping Dorothy outside that center line, ducking under any of those big left shots that Dorothy's throwing. Halfway through this first round. Not too much. Honestly, Dorothy's having a hard time finding her distance. Two minutes on the clock. Delitza controlling things here. Double right jab and a left hook. No, I don't think so. Th I don't think so, Hank. Dorothy can't find her range, in my opinion. Nice left by Delitza. And when, and when they do enter the pocket together, Delitza is getting the better of her. Nice front kick by Delitza. Max Griffin about to get it on with Jeremiah Wells at welterweight fight night. Let's go. Yeah, I have Jeremiah Wells winning that one. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock here. One minute and 28 seconds. Let's go, Wells. Right hand to the body by Dor Dorothy's just having a hard time finding her range, guys. Dorothy's just having a hard time finding her range. Delitza, pure control. Causing Dorothy to, to move side to side here. There we go. Dorothy, one right hand to the body. Wills, don't look his age. I got Wells also. You should in the chat, silent or silent as statues for this one. 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah, no, they both look good for being almost 40. 30, oh no, 25 seconds left on the clock here in this final part of the first round. Uh, Dulatov won. He won. All the Germans probably left. I know they're not supporting their girl. They're not supporting Delitza. They clinch up against the cage now. Final 10 seconds. Delitza landing some nice knees to the body. Hey, Jorge's still here. 
Nice takedown by Delitza, securing this round, and that's it. Yeah, he won in the first round, buddy. That's it for the first round in this one. Easy first round victory for the German, for the champion, Delitze. Or Delitzda. Was there any Greek in this for that fight? There was a there was a couple. There was a couple. Could have been three finishes in a row in that UFC card, but it wasn't for that nutshot BS. Let's hope Jeremiah Wells gets a finish for us, Hank the Tank. All right, end of the first round here. The champion looking good so far. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat. And if you guys haven't already, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications so you never miss an upload, so you never miss a live stream. Again, appreciate every single one of you joining us here. Dorothy had some nice shots, okay? But every judge is giving a 10-9 to the champion in this one. Dorothy had some nice shots, just not enough. At the end of the day, just not enough. All right, round two coming up here. Again, big shout out to all you guys joining us live on the channel. Appreciate you guys. Round two, final fight here on this card. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Islam won. Stop it, Activita. Islam did win. He did win. Pacing on your show has been good with having 14 fights. That's good. Yeah, Islam did win. Yes. Activate is uh he's, he's trolling he's trolling. All right, four minutes and thirty six seconds on the clock here. And again, taking away the space is Delitza, man. She's doing a very good job. Four minutes and fifteen seconds on the clock here. Man, Dorothy's walking into that those left shots of Delizze now. And Delizze is constantly, constantly making her circle the cage outside that center line over and over and over again. Nice left hand there by Delizze. Delizze going in for the clincher to try to drag Dorothy to the ground. Nice knee to the body by Delizze. She's looking good, man. She's looking good. Just seems more well-rounded as far as controlling the octagon here. Or I guess not octagon, the, the cage circle. She's got, she got a better read on the range, too. Even, even though she's a little bit shorter, Delitza, she's got the underhooks here up against the cage. Three minutes on the clock. What's up, Haka? I'm going to say that every time someone asks. Oh, brother. Pack some power in those punches, Delitze. Controlling the octagon with a K. Yes. <laughs> Two minutes and 45 seconds left in this second round, guys. Do, 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 do. Not much here is going on, guys. Delitza trying to drag Dorothy to the ground. But no elbows here. She she is she's landing some knees. I'll say that. She's landing some knees. And Delitza, I mean, in tremendous shape here. She has she has no problem going the distance as we saw both of them. Delitza only has one knockout on her career. Good job by the ref telling them to, uh, you know, let's go, let's go. Telling them to be active here, which is good. I like that. All right, referee asked him one more time. He's probably going to separate them to here. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Yeah, let's go separate him, ref. Mine as well. Oh, and trying to spin out of it was Dorothy. They each land some knees. One minute and 30 seconds on the clock. One minute and 15 seconds. They separate, finally. 
Dalitza is dominant, but nothing interesting happened so far. Hope there's a black on the UFC card event cancel. I hope. I hope not. I, I want to stream that one. Mickey Flash pulled job to the final fight and moved to UFC. Only kidding. Uh, Dalitza is looking good, man. Dalitza is looking good. She's looking for a choke now. Oh, a nice knee. Nice knee by Dalitza. Dorothy now using that stupid rule where she puts her hand down, but beautiful knee as Dalitza pulled her neck down in the clinch. You think not much is going on? Wells and Griffin are literally just circling. Way too much rugging and running and hugging from the French. I got these, these Z German winning. How's it going? She's looking good. I'm getting a win for this one. Absolutely. <laughs> 29 seconds on the clock. Well, I hope I hope Wells is uh I hope Wells wins the fight. 21 or 20 seconds left in this strawweight title fight here. Delides is winning in every area. When they're striking, Delides is winning up against the cage. She's getting more control time, and she's not gonna tire out first. She's not gonna tire out first. She's in tremendous shape, too. They separate final seconds of the second round. That's it for the second round, guys. This one's going five, I imagine. This one's going five. That's it for round two, ladies and gentlemen. Going into round three here in just a moment. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Buckman, Wells, and Griffin don't deserve show pay even right now. It's probably going to be the most boring fight this event. Probably, but I kind of figured that. I kind of figured that. Do you think Ava can win? Uh, so right now, I don't. Right now, I don't. I'm not going to lie. Valerian for me, I don't think she's going to win round. She lost two rounds. She's only going to slow down. Her best way to win is boxing, and Dalidza is outboxing her, and Dalidza is doing so much more up against the cage. Keep the comments coming, guys. Absolutely love it. Appreciate all the support on this channel. If you haven't already, smash that like button as we are well over 100 likes, which I think is the most likes we've ever gotten on an Octagon stream. So, Really appreciate all the support you guys are showing the channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you. A thousand times thank you. Seriously. This is crazy. This is crazy how many people have showed up for this one. I, it, it's awesome, guys. So, again, really appreciate you. Really appreciate you. All right. Third round coming up here, guys. Third round here coming up. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, too. Definitely want to hear from you guys. All right, round three. She hasn't won yet, but she's looked good in the two rounds. Dominant, still fighting. I'd rather look at abstract painting for 15 minutes than watch Wells versus Griffin. Thank you, thank you. Merci beaucoup. Je parle français, actually. And Delitza, four minutes and 30 seconds on the clock. You're just pushing Dorothy up against the cage. Tough to call first round for Wells. I'll take it, I'll take it. Someone who has wells on my picks, I'll take it. Again, Delizze going back to what was bringing her success early. And now they separate. Four minutes on the clock. Center of the cage. Let's see if Dorothy can land some big shots here. She needs to because she's getting outworked so far. Inside low kick by Delizze. Delizze just so light on her feet. Nice right hand by Dorothy. Three minutes and 52 seconds on the clock. Someone just yelled head movement. Step in. Nice shot there by Delizze. Oh, Dorothy now is actually stepping in. Delizze, uh, Dorothy now starting to control a little bit more of the cage. I like it. I like it. Nice right hand by Dorothy. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Dorothy making the most of this time not clinched up. Three minutes on the clock here. Yeah, Dorothy looking... Con the, the ref or the, the announcer just said, I was just going to say that Dorothy looks a lot more confident here. Oh, Dorothy utilizing her reach nicely. Yeah, for the first moments in the fight here, for the first time so far in this fight here, Dorothy's actually looking good. What do you guys think in the live chat? You're one of Eva's friends? No way. Well, she's looking good right now, Valerie. Valerian. She's looking good right now. I got Wells round two. I wanted to win, but it's not like this. 
Uh, she hasn't won yet. They're fighting right now, dude. They're fighting right now. Round three. Leads a 2 0. Inside leg kick by Dorothy. Yeah, Dorothy's winning back this round. Dorothy's winning back this round. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, going for the right single leg was Dorothy. Doesn't get it. Delizze tried to land a right hand on her way out. I think Delizze was up two rounds going into this one, but Dorothy's making a case that she could win this third round here. They go into the first of champ the first of two championship rounds next, guys. One minute and 40 seconds on the clock. Nice low kick by Delizze. One minute and 25 seconds. Oh, going for the body kick there was Delizze. Dorothy tried to grab it and take her to the ground. Unsuccessful. They're still on their feet, still center of the cage. One minute and 15 seconds on the clock. Oh, an inside low kick by Dorothy and Delizze dropped to the feet or dropped to, yeah, Dropped from her feet. Dropped to the ground. I don't know if it was just because of a trip. If she like slipped up there. If it was just a mix of slipping up and you know that freaking hurt. 50 seconds left on the clock here guys. 50 seconds left on the clock. Don't mess with Dalitza. Wells tag Griffin. Come on Dalitza. Don't shit the bed. Nice come on Eve. Like Lewis and Ganu. Minute into round and we have five strikes thrown. And there's, there's still more in this strawweight women's fight than in that one. 30 seconds on the clock. Delizze still has a uh, 72 significant strikes to 41 by Dorothy. 24 seconds on the clock. Nice knee and right elbow by Delizze. Dulatov already fought and he won. Dulatov already fought and he won. Nice left by Dorothy. Front kick by Dorothy. Nice left by Dalidze, man. And that is it for the third round. We're going into championship rounds. We're going into championship rounds. This round's going to the French. Yeah, I think so too. I think Dorothy wins this round. I think Dalidze won the first and second. Don't screw this up for me, I swear. Let me know your thoughts in the live chat, guys. We got the fourth round coming up next. Fourth round coming up next year in this title fight. All right, they're just, yeah, fourth round coming up next. They're quickly just getting looked at by their corner here. They got one more. They got one minute. Damn, guys. So not the most exciting title fight here, but at least they're mostly scrapping. At least they're mostly trying to scrap anyway, so I'll take that. I'll take that. I will take that. Again, big shout out to every single one of you who's been joining us throughout this entire day of fights. That's right. We've been watching Octagon for over five hours now, I'm pretty sure. Just about five hours. So appreciate you guys. Do it again. Confident. Delizze needs to step up now. Yeah, Delizze needs to fight with that confidence that she was showing in the first round on the feet. Because she was looking good on the feet in the fourth round. Or sorry, in the, in the second and first round. All right, guys. Fourth round here. First round. As we enter the championship rounds. Number four, let's get it on. Frankie, she is still fighting. Jesus. Exclamation mark. Four minutes and 42 seconds on the clock here, guys. In this fourth round, front kick attempt there by Delitza. Another close one, but probably second goes to Wells again. Legit says at the bottom of the screen what round it is, guys. Four minutes and 26 seconds. Oh, and here we go. Nice right hand by Delizza. Nice right hand by Delizza. Dorothy looking for the takedown. Second is a Wells round for me. 2-0, maybe 1-1. Knees. Throw knees. They separate. Three minutes and 55 seconds. Outside low kick by Delizze. Swing and a miss. Two 
Three minutes and 44 seconds on the clock. Yeah, Dalidze, she's she had the range down in the first and, and timing down in the first and second round, but it seems in this one, oh, just when I say that, she lands a nice left and a right. Nice right by Dorothy. Nice left hand by Dorothy. Three minutes and 10 seconds on the clock, guys. Three minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Three minutes left in this fourth round. We got one more round after this in this title fight, guys. Better round for Dalidze here. Back to controlling that cage, keeping Dorothy outside that center line. She's the one who's initiating the strike. So, oh, and just when I say that, Dorothy with a nice right hand. Beautiful right hand by Dorothy. Ooh, she tagged her too. She didn't like that. Two months and 30 seconds on the clock. Bilal, Bilal. I don't know who Bilal is. Come on, Eva, and thank you for your live. Oh, thank you, Valerie Forney. Thank you. Round two, Wells. What are these punches? Bilal is my religion. Bilal is the only Bilal I know here. Two minutes and 12 seconds on the clock. Two minutes left, ladies and gentlemen. Two minutes left in this fourth round. Another close round here. I think Delize has done a little bit more, but Dorothy has landed the bigger shots. Oh, but see, that's the thing. Delize and her counters will land like a good three punch combo, but the one shot by Dorothy has like a little bit more power to it. I don't know, guys. What do you think? What do you think? Front kick by Delice just just missed. Or sorry, front kick by Dorothy just missed Delice. One minute on the clock. Delice more dominant slightly, in my opinion, this round. Was that is that the proper spelling? My bad. <laughs> Looking for a takedown here, Dorothy. Fifty five seconds left on the clock. One more round after this, guys. One more round. Oh, and getting tripped up there is Delitza and Dorothy in the top position. Good shot. Oh, on her back is Delitza at the end of this round. 33 seconds on the clock here. 20 seconds. Back up to her feet is Delitza. The German fans are cheering on their gal. This might be 2-2 going into the fifth round. Deletes, I think, slightly more active here, but Dorothy has landed some good shots. And there wasn't any grappling going on in this one. Dorothy, oh, the late takedown by Dorothy. She doesn't do anything with it, though. Deletes are right back up to her feet. Damn, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the fourth round. We're going into the fifth. By the way, I got the UFC stream up for those who want to go and like it. We will hop over there after this one. Open scoring, so I guess we'll see. I keep forgetting it's open scoring, so we will see. We will see if Dorothy took that round or not, guys. We will see if Dorothy took that round again. Again, smash that like button. Wells and Griffins are afraid to fight for combined strikes. Crazy. Katharina is very strong, but I still hope my friend will win. Valerian for me. She's putting on a good fight. She's putting on a good fight. This could be tied going in the fifth. Seriously, though, it's Bilal on most sites. I just found curious. Can these corners shut the fuck up? Yo, what's up, Shane? Damn fucking close round. Phew. Up again. All right, I'm interested to see how the judges are scoring this one. Guys, let me know if Wells wins or not, too, by the way. Let me know if uh, Wells wins or not. Jeremiah Wells. Both win. <laughs> Fifth and final round coming up here, guys. 
Where are the scores? Yeah, where are the scores, says the broadcast. I want to know as well. Fifth round. Most boring fight of the year. 38, 38, 39, 37, 38, 30. Only one judge gave that round to the champion. So two judges have it tied. Two judges have it tied in this fifth round, ladies and gentlemen. Delizia on top of Dorothy. Delizia quickly going for the takedown. She has to she has to get some control time here and show the judges that at least. As that control time in the first two rounds up against Cage, that doesn't matter anymore. I'm ashamed to have my money on that. Wells is minus 300 in third round betting. Wells fight just finished. Probably going to be Wells. Stand by for confirmation. Dalize doing the right thing here and going right away for the takedown, getting in top position. She is in modified half guard side control right now. Four minutes and 10 seconds on the clock. Oh, maybe looking for an arm triangle. Dalize might be looking for an arm triangle. She can get that right leg over. Or that left leg over. She maybe set it up. Three minutes and 50 seconds on the clock. I've got 29, 28 Wells. Think he might get a split. Hey, as long as he wins and I can keep my streak going, I'm happy. Pretty sure Delize will win. Yeah, three minutes and 40 seconds on the clock. She might set up a choke here. She, she, she might be able to set up a arm triangle choke here. And the ref, what a savage. Telling them to work. Telling them to work. Three minutes and 22 seconds on the clock. No problem, Hank. That's the game. I know how Katharina is very strong. She is. She is. It's been a good fight. It's been a good fight. Her leg's trapped, though. Yep. Her leg's is trapped. That left leg is trapped by Dalitza. Dorothy doing a good job on the defense here. The ref's going to stand him up. The ref's going to stand him up here. Guys, smash that like button if you haven't already. Oh, did she get into mount? No, her leg's still trapped. Both are unable to knock each other out. Yep. Humans in 46 seconds. 29, 28 max split. Oh my God. Robbery. Damn, that sucks. Damn it. Well, there's my first loss on the card, guys. There's my first loss on the card. You can see there's the X. There it is. Damn, that sucks. Do not be, uh, not be proud of that. Unbelievable. Two minutes and 22 seconds on the clock here. Trying to get into side control is Dalitze. Punches, come on. Now looking to attack the neck is Dalitze. Two minutes and 10 seconds on the ground. But hey, the good thing for Dalitze, she's been controlling every second of this fifth and final round. Two judges had it tied. One judge had it up for Dalitze. So this is the round she had to make no mistake that she was going to win. Side control right now and looking to take the back. Side control looking to take the back. One minute and 57 seconds. A woman in 40 seconds on the clock, I should say. Delizze, Dorothy, fifth and final round for the featherweight title, for the strawweight title. Maybe boot out of the octagon if this was a crowd. One minute and 36 seconds on the clock. Looking for the back take. Looking for the back take. Delizze. Looking to get that right hook in. Looking to get that right hook in. Look at that shit was in the apex. 13,000 people here for octagon. Not a big deal. <laughs> Frio, that was the worst fight I've ever watched and kind of glad Griffin won because Wells was being a hoe. Hope Dana's pissed. Damn it, Colin, don't say that. Don't say that. I had Wells winning. I had Wells winning, brother. For, for, for your boy Isha's sake, we needed Wells to win a boring fight there while manhandling her. Yes, Dalidze. I'm just kidding, Colin. Uh, Dalidze winning this third round. Is the fight over, Katharina? Winner loses. The fight is still going on, Franca. I am literally talking to you. I'm literally calling the fight live play by play. 40 seconds on the clock. He needs to fight to win, brother. I'm not even watching it, Colin. Just for my uh, prediction's sake, I wanted him to win. I really don't care at the end of the day. Over one and a half, over two and a half rounds on this one. Let's go. <laughs> the next seconds. Yeah, there's no way she's not gonna she's gonna knock her out. There's 33, there's 30 seconds on the clock. Be proud of Dorothy Val. She put up a good fight. 24 seconds on the clock here. Deletes it with a good game plan in this third round. Just smother her. Don't allow her any room to work, and that's exactly what she did. Five, four, three, two, one. And that is it for the fight, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the fight. 
no knockout, and I del- I believe and still Dalidza will win this one. Over two and, a half, two and a half rounds on the Clark fight also. Nice, dude. I am Hank. I know for ages I saw her, uh, each step she did to be there. Hey, she got the title shot. Stand up, baby. Most boring fight says Jorge Miller. She's going to win the title. She's going to retain the title. She's going to retain the title. Most boring fight. Okay, guys. Um, The UFC stream is up. We will hop on it. Um, After this, I'm going to make it just a quick snack, and then we'll hop on UFC. So uh, don't forget to join us there in just a little bit here. I'll, I'll, I'll give it to you guys in the live chat here. 113 likes, 341 votes. Who brought more shame to their country? And she'll jubilee or see had a keeper. I think that was one of the better polls we've had here. Absolutely insane. Almost at 8,000 subscribers as well, guys. So thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all. Again, I'm just going to fire up the UFC stream link for you guys here in the live chat. So if you want to go and like that, go ahead. I see that people have already started to like it. I see people have already started to comment in it. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much again. Probably We'll probably start in like half an hour there. Guys, just have a quick snack. No problem, Deanna. No problem. The whole event is over. Lads, check the Discord. Yes, she's my queen. Horrible matchmaking. Yeah, uh, Islam won, dude. Islam won. 74%. Let's go. 144 strikes landed for Dalidze. 117 for Dorothy. 112 significant strikes for uh, for Dalidze. 69 for Dorothy. One takedown for Dalidze. No submission attempts. And uh, more control time for Delice as well. Hey, merci beaucoup, Derrien. Thank you guys so much for joining again. We're just awaiting the official decision. Once we hear it, we'll sign off here. I'm going to quick do, do a quick stretch, grab another coffee, grab a quick snack, and then we'll be back on for UFC in like 25 minutes. All right, we're listening in. And still, <laughs> Dalidze wins. Unanimous decision. GG, guys. I'm going to sign off quickly. I'll be back in 25 minutes for UFC. Keep me updated. Keep me updated. Talk in the live chat there. I will chime in as well, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you to Dylan for handing out all these memberships. Guys, smash that like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. UFC next. Here's the link. It's in the live chat. You all are amazing. I appreciate you. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all the donations that JD and Dylan dished out. This was an awesome card. Go Pratchneo. We will see you guys on the next one. Like and subscribe, guys. We'll see you at UFC. Peace. Yeah. Yeah.